Welcome to day three, I think. This game seems really loud. Hold on. Because it was really loud. Um, I forget how far we are. I think we are, like, we just started Purple Wristband. Um, so we should be nearing the completion of the game. I don't think we're going to get it done today or anything like that. But uh, at least the uh, the event should be done pretty soon. We are just over halfway. We've only played the game two days. So uh, I don't know if it's going to be uh, as long as uh, of a part as it normally is. I started pretty late today. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what we can do uh, today. AEW was fun. Yeah, I had a, I had more of a fun time. We stayed for Ring of Honor, too. Ring of Honor was fun at the end because, like, we were just yelling stuff. Um, the group around us was pretty loud, too. So, like, encouraged us to act like buffoons, but, like, in a good way. Perfect. Which is... I'm bummed about Skelly because that's I was holding up the uh, let's go Chibata sign the entire time. But uh, after that, I was like, oh, it's kind of a dick move. I'm going to hold it down lower. And then that's when the sign started making it on the TV. It was a very hot crowd. Well, I mean, C4 Wrestling is pretty big in, in where I live. And Evil Udo's from here and like... It turns out there's like a, a decent wrestling scene here. The officials won't let yes. you this event unless you select a different car. Yes, I did, Isra. Alright, so I I actually do not have anything eligible. You lied to me. Especially because he like like I I looked at it, I was like, look at his neck, and then he did the promo, and I was like, look at his neck, and then he did the uh what's there coffee stains on this controller? How did that even happen? Oi. Oi. I'm upset about that. Let me know what you need. The loving embrace of another. Well, I mean, they technically are, and I think there is like an auto upgrade feature, but yeah. it's like I figured this they'd be RDB. Heads for over 50 years. I guess I should have listened to that, whatever. Um do we have a barn find that's in the sixties? Okay. Mark Briscoe. I he, I had to... The, there was me, Will, um, a kid, and the kid's mom. And I didn't want to barge through all three of them to try to go for a high five from Mark Briscoe. So I just pointed at him and pointed at my tooth, but I had my fake tooth in. I almost wanted to take it out and, like, do this, but I was holding my sign, and I was like, oh, no, that would be gross. So I just took a selfie. Um, search. Oh, good. There is no option for you. Hello, Roberta. Let's go to the car, car people. Maybe, uh, I put way too much thought in this, but like, I don't know. I'm bored. Well, I'm not bored, but I was like, you know what I mean? Long Dennis won by doing absolutely nothing at all. He got chance timed all of his stars and only got one legit, and I think he ended it with six. Uh, search. Uh, there is nothing by year. No, that would be funny, but no. Um, hmm. So we need something that's in the 60s, right? Let's go Denmark. Dude, it was a bloodbath. 73. Done everything. I mean, to be... I never had a problem with it as a kid, but we'll see what happens, I guess. Oh, Corvette would count. Or, I'm an idiot. Camaro. A Corvette, too. Stingray would be neat. I kind of want to do uh, Camaro, though. Almost like a Trans Am type, type thing. 
could do a challenge or charger, but wide. Last, yeah, I know what you mean. Last time I streamed. I was watching a wrestle yesterday. Could spend 10 million credits if we had it. Uh, well, it's good to know, Saturn, because if it doesn't pop up, it's fine. My oh my god, this would actually be hilarious. The Camaro would have been the cool idea. This will work. Was this DLC in this game? Um, no, it was DLC in 4, I think. It was like free update DLC is what I meant. Design creator, such a weird. Oh, it doesn't change the whatever. It's fine. Got wood on stream. I mean, look where the camera cuts off, Kara. You never know. I'd be sitting here at full mass and you'd have no idea. Well, let's fix her up. So we're in the unique, unique position of normally if it's like a muscle car, you just kind of get it to handle. Or if it's like a, a little like a British sports car or something. Oh my God. Could... That's really funny. <laughs> Uh, should be fine. I was like, can we do a square? No, we cannot do a square setup. That would be too easy. Perfect. I wanted to, I wanted to look like someone just wanted to get into autocross, but all they had was a country squire. And before Tank Catapult, someone's like, what do you mean all they had? This is the peak of American engineering. Oh, that looks fire, actually. Is it a... No! I'm a luggage rack. It's not a decision I want to make. No! Right. It's A-class, so we can get some pretty uh, serious stuff going here. Luggage works is down for us. Something, something, my butt. Well, that would just certainly make life easier. I was like, oh, I'll just upgrade what we have, but I think we are going to have to go the engine swap route, if I had to guess. Which is annoying, because I'm pretty sure this game, you have to switch it. Nope. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Now, can we do... Can we keep it N.A.? Okay, good start. Big cams. Alright, we're at like 550. 
a 500 horsepower station wagon. Okay, it's fully... Oh, hold on, if it stays... Oh, I was like, if it stays 569, I'm going to leave it. I'll take that as a... Uh, as a sign. Good evening, Ringo. Yeah, yesterday was fun. I've never been to a live wrestling event before, so like to see we did they did a little bit of Ring of Honor before and a little bit of Ring of Honor after. But my first like AEW match, like my first like big match was Brian and Shibata. That's wild. I felt privileged. Alright, I thought a 265 would be plenty of tire. It seems like a 265 was not plenty of tire. I, I did get to hear the bastard. Honestly, like, I, Isra, I didn't want to go because I expected it to be, like, a B show. You know what I mean? Like, cause I, because of the streamathon and everything, I stopped watching. Um, and Collision was always, like, less things were happening. It was more just like, hey, here's some matches. Um, and I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm really glad I went. I had a lot of fun. I had more fun watching um, a uh, Ring of Honor at the end too. I was tired, I was ready to go, but I just kept yelling random things like to heckle the wrestlers. Like there was a, I guess I won't spoil it in case you want to watch Ring of Honor, but there was a, like a match at the end. I kept yelling, "Oh, you sit when you pee." At the beginning of Ring of Honor, Smart Mark was coming out like that lawyer dude. And I was like, you wear a fucking schmedium. And he turns and he looks at me. I'm like, put the hamburger meat away. Nobody wants to see that shit. And then his rest, his, like, one of, like the wrestlers he was uh, managing for did something. So he turned around like, what about now? I'm like, you still look like a fucking goof. <laughs> Everyone around me is laughing. I'm like, they make just for men, bud. You're not a silver fox. <laughs> it's just talking mad shit. It was really fun. I got to be a Call of Duty kid again for like wow. a few so hours. Really gonna try racing at this level? I'm going to attempt it. That's so funny. I didn't like that. I love how it's like... Oh, there is a Cooper here. Okay. I was like, it's GT, GT. I forget what other wrestler I yelled out eats pizza with a fork and knife. Like, I just kept yelling out non nondescript insults. There was a guy in the front row of the sign that said Julia Fart and Saturday Night's All Right for Farting, and I've never laughed that hard in my life. Excuse me. So, I think the AI does scale, at least to a point. Because I was winning, like, maybe just because these cars handle so much better, but... Didcock. Don't vagina. I don't even know what DLSS is. Not a clue what that means. Oh, uh, was it... Was it Brian Knight that our whole row just kept saying, why are his pants that high? Maybe he shouldn't be wearing his pants that high. And throughout the match, his pants started to slide down, like, right back to his waist. And we're like, Brian, pull your pants up! Brian, that's the source of your power, Brian! I wanted to write a sign with American Dwagon on it, but I ran out of ink on my marker. So I got just... Let's go Chibata, like Chibata bun, and then I put Long Dennis section on the other side. Brian Keith, yeah, because he's like, the whole bit, like, 
He's the bounty hunter, you know what I mean? So he's wearing like really high waisted pants. But as throughout the throughout the fight, like his pants were right here, but throughout the fight, his pants started slowly like slipping down to where they're supposed to be. So and as his pants slipped down, he started doing worse and getting beat up more. So I kept just yelling like, man, it's your pants. Dude, so Joe, we weren't sitting anywhere near the stage and I could still feel the heat from the flames. Like in the pyro and shit? It was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm coming back. I'm coming back from a pee break. And I forget whose entrance it was that had Pyro. Oh, maybe Lance Archer's. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. Twice. The first one, I was like, wow, that was loud. And then I looked to the stage knowing there was more coming, and it still scared me. If I've ever needed to prove I have feline energies, I knew the thing was going to happen, and it scared me anyway. For a person who constantly yells, I get jump scared by loud noises a lot. I, uh, we got to, I think we made some kids night that was sitting next to us too. There was a, like I said, there was a kid and his mom and the kid sitting next to us had like developmental disabilities. So me and Will were just like yelling shit like that you would at a wrestling show. And I don't think I, he could speak like he was verbal, but just didn't know what to yell. So whenever we would yell, he'd just go, yeah. <laughs> And at the end of the night, like, his, his mom said, like, it was nice meeting you guys. I was like, I didn't know we did anything. I just drank beer and insulted people who make more money than me. So, I, I and I think it was their first show they were, they were at, too. And his favorite wrestler was Claudio. And I didn't know Claudio was going to be on the card, so that was awesome. He popped off. Two dudes next to me, too, kept making ciabatta bun jokes. Like, out of the way! I'm a better Ford than you. I didn't want to retry that race four times. DC base part of your shot. Yeah, I, I really... My other sign I wanted to do, but I thought it would be in bad taste, was Julia Hart would fix me. And then I figured that'd be kind of rude, so I didn't do that. Hey, I'm, I'm not saying I need her to fix me. I'm just saying she would. The decision is all hers after that. She can make that choice herself. She's an independent woman. Is Lee Johnson big shoddy? <laughs> I may have said the funniest thing I've ever said in my whole life last night. I yelled more like big shitty when the crowd was really quiet. <laughs> I don't know if he's a face. I don't know if he's a heel. I saw Big Shot and my brain went, hey, hey, Big Shitty. And that was it. I didn't, I, didn't really, I didn't really think about it more than that. Heel? Good. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say much because I don't know if it was a, a Ring of Honor match or not. You know, I don't know if anybody here actually watches Ring of Honor. Is the fucking dingling mean I don't have a car for this? That's absolutely what it fucking means. I love my life. Uh, Yokohama Pro Tune. Oh, oh, we gotta have something equal. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I'm gonna ask you a question, Ringo. I don't think I need. Or I'm not gonna say something. I don't think I need to validate a lot of your opinions. I don't know if you, why you frame these like questions. I'm not mad. It sounds like I'm pissed off. I'm upset about some other shit. It's not you. Um, but like. Everything you, you always frame everything like a question. Like I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't watch. I don't watch that sport. I that's you're asking the wrong person. Oh, that e. Yeah, if you want to, like I, I've said this before. If you want to consult chat, that's awesome. I don't want you to think like I'm. I'm personally just ignoring you. I just don't want to 
rain on your parade. My NASCAR friends on Twitter seem to have had fun today. I really did not pay it that much attention. Every time I opened Twitter, people were like, tires. I was like, okay, cool. I have some, uh, some other shit going on. NASCAR. I mean, not the NASCAR disco, though. Surely, that's not. <laughs> I wouldn't go there. You're not allowed to enter that car into this event. You need well, to select another. Well, this is the one I have. Hang on, I don't think we're going to be able to get away with, like... Oh my, she's got the Suchia suit. Isn't that the Suchia suit? It really looks like the Suchia suit. Yeah, I don't I mean, I don't want to seem like I'm getting on your case or anything. Like, I don't want to. Yeah, like, no. Well, I'm not surprised. Any any Discord I've ever been that's it been in that's that size is usually just a lawless wasteland. Or it's so over moderated it's not fun to be in. Like, you see the word poop and you get banned. Corporate discords are kind of gross. I mean, I, I, the amount of iRacing streams I've seen you fart around in, I'm surprised you haven't found somewhere that's like has an active NASCAR community. Oh yeah, there was some local there was some local wrestlers on Ring of Honor as, as a job or talent. I mean, I would assume so because there's some dude I've never heard of before that was like 130 pounds, looked like a stick, and everybody in the crowd was losing their fucking mind. I was like, this has to be a local guy. It turns out it was a local guy. I may actually watch Honor Club next week just to see if any of the nonsense we were screaming makes it into the edit. Oh, I said JD Drake sits when he pees. <laughs> Which is such a funny thing to say because I regularly sit when I pee. Because I'm on my fucking phone for 20 minutes. That hilarious. Welcome to like indie wrestling. There was a couple very silly matches last night, too, that were just funny. Like, the TV shit was all pretty, like, serious and, like, for the most part. Um, and then a lot of the Ring of Honor stuff was, like, silly. Oh, yeah, uh, Taya Valkyrie was on the show last night, and I said, Why do you look like ketchup and mustard? Because she's got, like, bright yellow hair, and she was wearing a bright red fucking, uh, like, latex cape jacket thing. I was like, why do you look like a hot dog? <laughs> I respect the commitment to the bit. Yeah. Yeah. Everything Ring of Honor was like very Ring of Honor. I was kind of just expecting people to get the, the, the bejesus beaten out of them and it just not what happened. Um, what the fuck? There was a lot of women's matches on Ring of Honor last night, actually. Like a lot of women's matches. I, I'll probably continue talking about my AEW experience last night. 
Um, but just as a closing thought, if you've ever had the idea of going to see live wrestling and you're interested in wrestling, you will have fun. Whether you just want to sit there in silence and like cheer a little bit and clap a little bit and just kind of enjoy the experience, or you want to be rowdy and obnoxious and, and be a re- like a atypical, stereotypical wrestling fan, either way, you'll have fun. It was really nice, like, as somebody who grew up getting made fun of for liking wrestling, which is weird, but, you know, kids will make fun of kids for literally anything. Um, What's up, Lucan? Heads up of all the shitter. Did you have lots of fiber, Tom? That blood on it. You know? I think I would have went to another toilet. I think I just would have shit my pants. Or toilet paper, that works too. <clears throat> Make a little, like, seat within a seat. What is over here? Juggernauts. Is it just A-Class? Must be sedan. Well, I hope I have something, because I'm just going to drive over there and hope the best. It is stacked. I, I'm actually stoked over that I quit match. I was really, like, um, indifferent about the whole thing, Isra. Because the card was still not all the way announced. The only thing I think I was bummed out about is the pack match was very meh. And then the uh, uh, Angela Parker match got canceled. Well, I don't know if it was canceled, but it didn't end up happening. I'm going to go get that sign up there before I forget. Yeah, I figured they would replace him with uh, with somebody like just as good, and then it was a it was a squash match, and I was kind of sad. I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense, but I thought they just like whipped somebody out in the eleventh hour. That was sick. That's just not what happened. NXT will die. <sighs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, even if it has to go on the network only. It'll be fine. Oh, that's a sedan. We take those. Sweet. Netflix is getting raw. <laughs> Porn. <laughs> Raw in it. Hmm. I guess there's no point telling us who you are. Yeah, not not what that I've ever paid to watch WWE in my entire life since I moved out of my mom's, but that Lexus is gorgeous. Oh yeah. I was like, what? It's all Evos. What the fuck are you talking about? It's literally the Lexus I passed immediately. It was the beige. I love that color on the right car. Toyotas and like champagne-y, goldy beige just look really nice. Man, 
the like the dirt stages in this game are really fun too. High stakes. So I haven't played it since I was a kid, but I really enjoyed it as a kid. So let me know how you like it. Is there a reason you just wanted a Need for Speed PS1 game? Like, were you just like into, into playing PS1 stuff? It's like me and Ryan played it a little bit. I hope I still have the VOD saved because I'm going to start posting those. Me and Ryan played it a little bit for uh, for traction a couple of years, or months ago, years ago, whatever. And it was so janky, but it was so fun. Top 10, here you come. Okay. Yeah, I thought because you said you were emulating, I was really confused. I thought you had a you had a PS1, and that's all you had, or something. But if it's just like I don't know, I want to experience PS1 games. That's valid. That's a BMW. I'm an idiot. There's a Lexus in first. F197. I think that's the one that I have lying around, but I'm not sure. Did cock. I'm, I'm glad. I pointed. I was like, just, I'm just I just went did cock. Hee <laughs> hee. And then that was it. Thanks for riding that train with me, T-Bone. No, I got stuck on the wall. Speaking of rallying, by the way, if everything goes according to plan, uh, we are doing the EA Creator Series tomorrow for WRC. I, uh, I only got all the information at 5 o'clock today, so hopefully it all goes through. What's up, Beardo? Congrats, man. I saw on Discord you got your car running. Yeah, I got I got all the information sent to me at like six o'clock today. So I gotta still like re finish reading it, but I registered, I put my name in, I picked my car. Uh I don't know what rally it is, which and I should know because it gave us the like the names of the stages. Uh but it's WRC cars from ninety seven to two thousand whatever uh and i picked the zara because i everyone else was going with the subaru you're still going through like in my own time i was t-bone and then one of my friends i told one of my friends i was doing it and she was like oh we should watch them together i was like all right cool and then just never went back to it because i didn't want to watch any without her <clears throat> to be fair i watched a ton during the streamathon that was like my brain worm i started it like not like the early 90s and made it all the way to like 2010 Good year, more like bad month. Get your hand off my penis! One second. One of my friends is going through some shit too, so I'm like messaging her back and stuff. What's up, Robotoast? fucking e thing. I couldn't get out of bed today, man. Alright, where am I? Rally Rush. Uh, it's a Valley Rush. I can read. And it's just B-Class. Perfect. The, the pros and cons of buying a comfortable bed is that I have a comfortable bed, but now I'd never want to get out of that comfortable bed. 
I washed my weighted blanket, so I'm using like an old duvet, like not an old duvet, but like the duvet that came with the mattress. It's very cozy in the winter, but very hot. So I figured I would just be so hot in the morning, I wouldn't want to stay in bed. Uh, no, I just stick my leg out and continue sleeping. Honestly, Thunder, on the days where the brain chemical doesn't work, that's not a bad thing. The amount of times I'd stay in bed all day because I was sad and then just like my back would hurt for like a week. Not that it's healthy to stay in bed all day, but... Patience, patch, thief, like I've ever seen. I needed to build something that was A-class from the 60s, and I was going to make a Camaro, because I was like, oh, this it would be like a little Trans Am build. It'll be cool. Saw this and went, no. I, I want I want National Lampoon's family vacation to make it like autocross car. This game's fun. Uh... Oh, I need to do something with the FD soon. Uh, I will take... What has the better speed stat? I'll take the Corrado. I've been the Corrado in a while. I love revving up the Bugatti. I'm warning you. Ooh. This is a race for grown-ups. Because I don't want to see cheers when I whip your ass. Well, Haley, I pee my pants on a regular basis. Dora, whenever somebody asks, like, what's your dream car? Because it comes up, like, once a month. I pretty, I'm, I'm sure I give different answers every time. Hi, by the way. Uh, but uh, do you watch any Mighty Car Mods at all? Or did you, at least? Because the car I'm re referencing to is not new. Oh, we're getting worked here. I do not. All right. So I forget what generation... Of, it's Super Gramps. I forget what generation of Legacy it is, but it's in gray on, like, uh, five-spoke, deep dish, black wheels with chrome lip. Um, like, I've always wanted a Legacy wagon. Or, uh, I don't know what they call them in Australia. The Liberty. That's the one. Um, oi, oi, oi! Ow. Fourth gen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love something that's, like, somewhat Please. quick, but, like, super practical and not a truck. Good job, Carl. Proud of you. version of Horizon. So I'm playing on an Xbox One. It's a, like, a launch model Xbox One. It's not a Series X or anything cool. Um, so it's just, like, slightly better textures and, like, graphical quality than an Xbox One. Not by much. Or Xbox 360, sorry. The difference is minimal. Um, but it was, it was easier to do it this way as well. Because I already have my Xbox One plugged in to play uh, Burnout Paradise. And uh, I didn't have to delete a game save or anything. I'm trying to get... It got too hot. Pushing 100C. Um, I'm assuming you've done this, Ringo, but maybe Google... Uh, maybe Google what temps are comfortable for that CPU. Because some CPUs, like, they get to 80C, and they're like, no. Some can, are very comfortable at 100. I've always liked the wagon. I like the idea of car camping. I love road trips. I love going to visit places. I love traveling. Like, um, I want to go visit my girlfriend in Charlotte. 
and uh, it's a 12-hour drive, which if I was 20 years old, I would just do in one shot. I remember I drove to Atlanta and back. Well, not and back, but I drove to Atlanta and drove back from Atlanta in one shot. It's with, like, piss breaks and food stops. It's, like, 20 hours. Um, so, like, me, I, as a 30-year-old, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to fold the seats down in the back of my, my Hyundai. Um, I'm going to buy, like, a foam mattress topper and an air mattress and just sleep in the back seat somewhere. Uh, and get, like, some magnets and put some curtains up and, like... I love the idea of just being able to, like, I don't want to live out of a car, but being able to travel out of one would be super cool. I, I, I like, would never be able to commit to it, but the people who've turned, like, Sprinter vans into basically mobile apartments, that's so rad. One of my friends has, like, uh, a whole, like, VR setup in her van and... Yeah, Ringo, that's why I'm going to try and, like, fix it. Uh, I was driving back from Atlanta one year. This wasn't the year that I did it the whole way. And um, I dropped my friend off in southern Pennsylvania. And I was... How far away was I from the border? Um, good night, Saturn. Have a good day at work tomorrow. Thanks for... I'm sorry I started late. I appreciate you, friend. Thanks for being here. Yay. Yeah, 100 is pretty serious, though. Because it's the boiling point, too. But I, I think some Intel CPUs are, like, comfortable. Yeah, she's got, like, a, like her... I don't know if she's got an Oculus or whatever she's got. Or um, uh, the Steam one. The, the Index. But she's got, like, a VR setup and a music production like mini studio it's all in the back of her like sprinter van not like a minivan you know what i mean like a like a delivery van type thing like the dodge vans or their mercedes vans it's the same thing just a different emblem um i'd love one of those but i don't want to commit to like actually living in one that's too much i have too many hobbies i've got i have too many things 5G or local. I think she's got Starlink, but don't quote me on that. I think it depends where she's parked and shit, too. Like, are you getting close to Darius yet? I don't know, to be honest. I've just started the purple wristband. It gets real moist. Yeah. My issue was, like, I'm small, right? So I think I stopped. Uh, at the New York border, so it's probably like five hours away from my house, four hours away from my house. Um, and I figured I was small enough to just lay in the back seat. No. So, like, there's, like, the seat goes like this, obviously, right? Like, with humps to, like, hold you into the seat. Uh, and, um, there's the seatbelt, like, clickers that are sticking up. Um, and the thing is really thin, so you have, you can't, I roll around a lot in my sleep, you can't roll around. Um, and on top, again, on top of that, I, I'm small, I'm like 5'5", five five, but I was still like crunched over. So like, that sucked. I slept for maybe two hours, my back hurt. But I need a musk at the same time. I've had people tell me to get Starlink and I live in a house, which is funny. Like, in a house in the city. I'm not in the middle of nowhere. You have arrived. You're almost at the summit. A gold wristband is just around the corner. It says I'm only 50% done the game, though, which is, like, a mild concern. But I guess there's a lot of, uh, like, little things to do. I haven't done any of the PR stuff and... From what I've heard, like, yes, it's a Musk product, but it's a good Musk product, unfortunately.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Imagine the press I'm gonna get knocking out the people's favorite. Dude, I just noticed now that her suit is basically Keiji Tsuchiya's old green suit. It's If it's not a direct one-to-one -one replica, it's pretty close. Like, even the sponsor, uh, like, patches are in a similar position. I'm so dumb. Or unobservant's a better word. Oh, Culbertson on the wall! We're all on the wall! Yeah, and, like, even if you don't want to go with Starlink, I mean, I'm not American. I don't know what businesses or corporations do, like, satellite internet. But there has to be other options. It's not like, like Starling came along was like, here's the idea. But from what I've heard, it is just good internet. Uh, I watch a camping YouTuber called Camping with Steve who keeps uh, Starlink in his car at all times when he travels. And Man, when you know it, small wheelbase, difficult. There we go. I'll make sure tonight if I remember to get all the creator series stuff set up because it is an open club. They basically just stream us for 30 minutes. Or not 30 minutes, but they stream our POVs. But anybody can run in the club. And uh, from what I looked on the entry list, there's some pretty serious people there. I think the big one is a secret, so I can't tell you that. But like, I know who Dirk Chocolate is. I think it's a lot of people from the uh, F1 games. There is somebody that I remember. Um, there's somebody I remember from uh, WRC stuff and like EA stuff. But I don't remember the name off the top of my head. But there's like a name that looked familiar. There's a couple names I've never seen before. And there's a couple names that I... Alex! You will never fucking guess this person. It is, they are now into sim racing and racing, but they never were before. Uh, my one hint to you is Minecraft. And I was like, I didn't know this dude was still alive. It's, it's actually Timo. I don't know why you get... I, I hate that. I, I hate... I hate the human condition. So I'm like, I can't tell you, but I'll give you a hit. And then everyone just starts to guess. Like, no! That's still telling you, you dummies. If you figure it out, and I'm like, yep, you figured it out. That's still me telling you, and I still get in trouble. It's not Tobuscus, but, like, that era. Like, I, I have not heard of this dude. In, I used to be super into, like, Minecraft videos and Let's Plays. Like, every kid, I guess. Well, like, lots of kids at the time. That was our, that was our like, Fortnite. That was our Roblox, you know? So, I didn't even play it. I just watched people do, like, playthroughs and whatever. But this dude was huge in the scene at the time, and I, I kind of just lost interest. And I saw his name on the on the list and went, oh my god, what what? Right, I'm try this again. I have a feeling that Audi might be a, a little bit too quick for the old pug. Doesn't help they parked a house in front of me. Ow. 
Is there is there other games like that that have been around for ages but are only like kind of popping off? Not now, but like popped off years after their release. And like not from mods, like from user created content, I mean. So like NASCAR 2003, I don't think I would count. Because a lot of that, the reason people still play that is mods. AC, AC would be mods as well. User-created content is stuff that's, like, it's still in the base game. Like, you don't need to download anything extra. Second Life has always just been there, for, in my experience. Like, I have, a, um, I have a friend of mine that I, every time I tell her about VR chat, she tells me about stuff she's doing in Second Life. And it sounds like it's just been around... In a, in a solid capacity for a long time. It's like have a hotel for adults, you know? And then I have some friends that are like, I, that I play VR chat with that are like, I used to be in a second life and then got into this. And... Revolt? Yeah, that's... Okay. Let me rephrase what my question. Either, even though, like, the, these are cool, like, like good suggestions. Roblox was a game that I think that nobody really gave a shit about, and then all of a sudden a ton of people gave a shit about. And it wasn't from mods. It wasn't from, like, stuff that people were making to mod the game. It was, like, I guess Roblox is kind of a doesn't count with that, but it was user-created stuff. It was stuff that you could, like, do in the video game. Uh, like, Gmod, I think, has got to be up there. For like, oh, this is cool, and then all of a sudden, like, trouble in Terrace Town and stuff. And if you think about it, isn't Roblox just, like, a worse Gmod? Well, worse is in, like, graphics, but I guess there's more shit that you can do in Roblox. What are we talking about? That Roblox came out, like, in 2006, but has only started popping off recently. Um, and if there's another game of that, like, similar vein that really kind of was just doing nothing. And then popped off randomly, not because of mods or anything, but... Just because, like, either user-created content or, like, an update came out or... Mm. Yeah, I guess Beam would work. I'll take that. I think Beam was always kind of big, and then, like, the game became more than, haha, I crashed the car into a wall and got big, big. Siege, actually. Yeah, it wasn't Siege. Like, nobody gave a shit about Siege when it came out. Uh, gave a shit about Siege when it came out, and then now it's got, like, a super dedicated following. Like, no, weirdo, but yes. Not technically what I was asking, but I'll, I'll, I'll lump that in. Not even a huge comeback. But, like... I don't know. I guess that could go. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm being too restrictive. It doesn't matter. There's a Fortnite size hole in the room. I was going to bring Fortnite up. I said um, Minecraft was our generation's Fortnite and then stopped myself and said, no, I think it was more of our generation's Roblox. Because um, I'm doing the EA WRC Creator Cup tomorrow at 3. Um, and there's a somebody who will be racing with us whose name I haven't seen or heard of in years. 
that was huge in the Minecraft scene at the time. And I can't tell you who it is. I'm not sure if they've announced who it is yet. But... Like, I never really played Minecraft much as a kid, but I still watched all the Let's Plays and the, the, the group playthroughs. Obviously, I watched Minecraft every Friday on, uh, on Achievement Hunter or Let's Play. I forget, like, where it came out first. All right, I'm going to get a little physical. I gotta check Facebook. There's a... They're doing a meetup. I think in April. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, man. I watched a video on that game last night. They have fucked that game up. Wow. That's weird. I've still never seen the first one. Everybody I know that's seen that movie, like, loves it, but I've just never, like, sat down. Didn't turn out to be a pedo. Apparently not. I don't think they... St I think they might still do Minecraft. I'm not sure. I would argue they are one of, if not the biggest names in Minecraft content creators. Maybe not the biggest, but up there 100%. Like, I saw their name on this form and went, holy shit, is that who I think it is? Yeah, if you guess it, I can't tell you. I, I will get in actual trouble. But... Yeah, we're doing EA WRC tomorrow. I gotta make sure I have the game updated. I gotta, like, they sent me my info packet at 5 p.m. today. And the race is tomorrow. But it's gonna be cool. Like, they're doing, uh, they're broadcasting our webcams through, like, Zoom. We're gonna go set off at, like, I think 30 or 45 second intervals. Um, so you'll be able to watch all of us, like, individually. It's gonna be neat. It's a really neat idea. Can I just say this? No, no speaking in this chat. Only nonsense, no thought. Bingus, hello. How are you, Milo? What's up, takedown? Oh, oh. I'm gaming. Are you actually playing a video game or are you just being a homo? Both are possible. You want? I fucking ugh. I'm upset with you. Fallout three. Why does Fallout three have a record number of players today? Did like a mod come out for Fallout three or something? So are you going to eat it by yourself? That's what I'm having for dinner. I was supposed to have pizzas last night, but I got home at midnight from the wrestle and went, I'm not cooking. I'm going to try this one more time before I switch cards. With not being able to crash Ruby Barrier. I see why they did it, but it's way more fun this way. Like, it makes sense. I would never it'd be silly to ask them to go back to this, but having curated roads means they can put more effort into the roads because the players are actually going to use them. Like, even if I'm just going to another race, uh, I am going to beeline it and go through the, the forest and shit. Like, I don't know. I like the way Test Drive did it where you could free roam, but they never really used it. It was just there. So if you wanted to go, like, exploring you could and sometimes there was like collectibles and stuff in the in the in the forest or in the trees but it wasn't part of the racing experience like i cannot stand cross cross country was cool for 15 minutes and then you realize like a lot of the jumps are wacky and like 
It doesn't feel like there's a lot of tracks don't have the rhythm to them. And like a good flow to them. Looking forward to Solar Crown. I was, but uh, with how games have been releasing lately, I'm like, I don't say losing hope because I was never the biggest Test Drive fan, to be honest, but um, their initial, I wish I remembered where I saw this like video, like this Deb Diary or something when the game was announced, sounded like they were going to do like the Horizon thing and make it really easy for you to unlock stuff and like, like, no, that's not what the people want. Give the kids a decent single-player progression. And then I just kind of stopped hearing about it. Like, granted, I'm not seeking out information on it, but... I would love a very fun game that is open-world, silly, where I can make cars do stupid things that is not Forza Horizon. Or, like, exactly like Forza Horizon. I'm actually bummed that I didn't play Motorfest this weekend. I wish I had more time. I know it's very Horizon-esque, but apparently the driving physics are really fun, so I want to try it. But I never got around to it. it between this and Burnout, I needed to do some sort of LP today. I don't like having three games on the go, and then there's a bunch of other stuff I want to do, and whenever, whenever a game out of these three gets done, I got to do Forza Motorsport 2, which, golly gee, that's going to take a while. Tom, it's not, it was never, I don't think it was ever bad. I think it was just like, the the, what, the only reason I don't like the crew 2 is because the, I liked the crew 1 a lot, but it needed work. It was definitely like the first entry in a franchise. And then they took everything that they had built and pooped on it. I was like, okay, like, like, it, there's still a story, and it's still, like, not about a, a, a festival, and, like, it still feels different. But, yeah, it would be nice if the map was a bit more fleshed out, and, like, they changed this and worked on that. And they're like, what about boats? And I'm like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, 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 oh. But I've heard, like, decent things about Motorfest. Again, it just, like, seems too similar to the uh to the formula to really get me like out of my chair and wanting to sc go play it really tempting to be horizon i can't tell you i'm gonna change my batteries i can't tell you who told me this uh but i was told by somebody who uh worked at ubisoft that they openly were just like, what's Forza doing? Let's do that. Like, it was not tongue-in-cheek. It was not, like, a secret. Like, that was openly what they were doing. And I don't know. I think if you, like, try and, and ride the coattails off any franchise, whether that's movies, music, whatever, you're not going to make as much money and be as successful as if you just did your own thing. Where did all my fucking batteries go? Yeah, it was just like like people were like it's literally Horizon again. We'd be like, no, no, uh. -uh. But like I've heard from a reputable source. I'm trying to act cool. Well, that was my whole issue with the crew too. Like the crew one was still like a cringe. You know, you're a cop, street racer, revenge. Like, that's not like that story's never been told before, but at least they tried. Compared to, like, other games of that era that were just like, hey, car. You know, at least they tried to have a story. And I'm very, like, I'd rather a schlocky story than, you know what, Harper? I want to win this race. Haley, I'm not interested. I'd rather a schlocky story than none at all. You know what I mean? I'd rather you try and it be, like, cheesy than you try and it and it's nothing. The amount of racing games that are all-time classics that have, like, just the thinnest veil of a story. Holy shit. Call me Kennedy the way she acted with my job. Cody, I saw Call Me Kennedy and went, oh, no, what does the rest of this message say? We're okay. It, we're all right. Thank you for the year, my dude. How are you? Good. Good evening. 
Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot this thing is a rally car, but not... Not in this video game, it's not. Yeah, and I'm, like I said, I've heard great things about Motorfest. It's just like, as somebody who's not interested in the current... Uh... Uh, the current open wheel racing or open world racing game formula it's not enough for me to like sit on the edge of my seat and go oh my god yeah Tom that's how I thought that was going yeah yeah well that, I mean that's the reason I was mad at too though like I sure did. I do this for a living. I sure. Let's me too. Again. Just you and me. Weird way to say that you're poor, Haley. Um, but uh, I would have loved to have seen like the the world expanded into. I don't know. I obviously didn't finish the game. I played the demo and like screwed. I have the crew. Never played it. Uh, I bought it with the intention of playing it and then went eh. Yeah, but like, 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 that's what I mean, Takedown. I'd much rather, like, the generic. My brother fell in with the wrong crowd, and now I have to save him. Oh no, he's dead. I must avenge him. It's like, that's not a story that's not been told before. Like, it seems like almost Need for Speed payback levels, but that's fine. Like, I'm okay with that. Give me a reason to care, even if it's, like, a bad reason to care, and I will care. Aw, oh, man. Why can't those. That'd be so cool to have a drivable, like, shitbox Corolla. Um, so that's why, like, I was upset with two, but three at least addressed that to a degree. And was like, all right, we're not going to use the same world anymore. We'll have a smaller world with more things in it. And, like, but I don't know. I feel like ha having the entire U.S. was, like, your big get. Like, that was your big, like, killer app. You know what I mean? And one was great, but definitely I wanted it to be more filled out, even if it had to be a smaller map. Because it seems like it was just highway, and then you'd get to a city, and it was like three blocks of just buildings. And I go back and think of games like Midnight Club 3 that were still pretty, like, rough around the edges um, in terms of quality, but still had landmarks and buildings and stuff that you'd recognize from the city that made it feel like you were in the city. So I was hoping all they had to do for Crew 2 was, like, give our main character another reason to go out and do some shit. Um, and uh, take the map that you already have and just, like, build build up the cities more and add detail, and you're done. Completed game. And they were like, yeah, so all those things that the community kind of wanted us to do, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do instead is planes and boats. Which, like, honestly is sick. Like, out of context, sick. Like, if they had just, like, if another company had just announced they are making a racing game that had open world planes, boats, and cars that you could switch into at almost any time, that's hype. But... It reminds me of, like, Horizon 1 having a little bit of a story and progression and whatever, and then it's going, slowly going, eh. Now it's just a sandbox. But that was slow over, like, three or two or three games. The crew did it immediately. They already pay me $50,000 just to unzip this race suit. When I win this championship, it'll be $1 million with just a smile. I will, oh, I, I, hey, if anyone's got 50 grand, I have a race suit. Which, I don't know, Thunder, it still has its fans. Like, I use Weirdo as an example, but I know there was people that played the Crew 2 and still play the Crew Motorfest very regularly. And, like, have fun with it, and the customization is super cool, and, like, again, the idea that you could just, like, oh, no, there's an event across the map, and you could just turn into a plane is sick, but it takes the kind of, like, semi-groundedness of the Crew 1 and completely poops it out the window. And makes it another like, hee 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 hee, so fun. 
it was different, and then it wasn't different anymore, is my point. I like when the car goes smile. I like when the Milo goes smile. What do you need a crowbar for? Whose house are you breaking into? The new MX versus ATV is still getting updates, though. I get, I, when I had Facebook on my phone, I'd get ads for it all the time. Oh god, oh god, oh god, stop. Yeah, we mentioned it a lot, Isra. I think it's just because a lot of, a lot of AAA companies now, if somebody pitches a racing game to them, they're gonna be like, well, that's not gonna make any money. Which is kind of the state of, like, AAA gaming as a whole. I am hoping and praying that we're, like, on the cusp of a video game bubble. I mean, like, everyone's losing their jobs, so we kind of are. Honestly, honestly, I was just going to say cute girls with weapons. That's kind of all you really needed to say, but you had an actual reason. There's... Sure. Too. I gotta play that game eventually. This summer, I'm gonna give it a whirl if it goes on sale again. I think I'm like detached from Unleashed One enough now to where I will have lots of fun with Unleashed Two. So I heard they were it was better, but like similar. True, true, very true. One of my favorite things to do, I think it was an Offer of Fury Four, was the like point-to-point -point rallies through whole countries that kind of felt like you were doing mini Dakars. So I get in a trophy truck. It was like Motorstorm before Motorstorm almost, but point-to-point. -point. Well, I, I think Ringo had said it earlier. A lot of, like, the best-reviewed games and most popular games from the last year are single-player experiences that released in a really good state. And, like... I know, like, AAA gaming has not always been the, uh, the, where the best video games are. But it seems like recently, it's almost like a foregone conclusion that if a game comes from, like, Activision or Ubisoft, that it's just gonna be shit. Even some of the best current year racing games are from small studios in the grand scheme of things. Like, iRacing's not a big studio when you compare it to, like, Codemasters or um, uh, the EA as a whole or uh, Ubisoft. Like, they're still a smaller company. And I get that, like, sim racing is way more niche. But even when iRacing fucks shit up, they're like, our bad, we're going to fix it. It may take them eight years, but they'll get to it, and they post dev posts like, hey, we're working on it. Don't think we forgot. A lot of times, other 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 companies will fuck stuff up and just be like, never talk about it. And never mention it, and like, I don't know. I don't want to sit on this topic too much, because I talk, feel like every time I play Horizon, I just start whining. I, For my own reasons, I kind of don't want to be super negative today. I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way, that like most of the games I'm playing now are from Xbox 360 or older, and I'm having a great time. I literally have a callus on my thumb, my right thumb, from playing Gran Turismo 3 too much. What's up, Bravo? I'm good, man. Well, I'm here. Hope you're well. And that like, Gran Turismo 3 isn't even the best Gran Turismo game, like... It's literally just drive car. Like, there's no story. There's, like, the progression's really good. Like, way better than I remember. And then the late game is just, like, hope you love doing races, because that's what you're going to be doing for the next 30 hours. And I've, I've been having a great time. Like, I almost played GT again today, just because it's fun. Namco Museum. 
What is uh what is on that collection? I have a couple midway ones. I lied. I think I only have one. I don't know when, but I think I do want to play through Ferrari 355 Challenge on stream. Which should be like a stream, because I don't think there's a lot to that game. You know what, Roberta? I'll openly say I sleep on Wreckfest. I feel like Wreckfest would be a lot of fun if it's like one in the morning and you got nothing to do and just want to jump on uh, like some sort of server and have, get some good casual races in. Prop, I plugged in my uh, my GT my G27 a couple years ago, and my I, the game save I had access to was on the last championship, and I just did the last ten races with the Chaparral, whatever the hell. And besides, like my shifter and stuff not working, which is fair enough, it was pretty good. It felt like a modern game. Like it didn't feel like a like it felt like a modern like sim game. Like, when I... I, I want to see if I... When I in inevitably play through GT4, if I'm going to find a way to get my wheel to work. Uh, and, like, maybe get a folding rig or, like, just some sort of table that I can sit at. So I really don't want to unplug and, like, take my wheel off the rig and put it back. That's why I'm not using a wheel for GT3. God damn it. Pac-Man, Galaga... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Dreamcast, Dreamcast. I think that's the definitive edition of that game, but... Uh, Roberta, but either way, it's the Sega game on the Sega console, and I've never played through anything on the Dreamcast before. Streaming or otherwise. I've played games on the Dreamcast before. I didn't want to hit you there. GT4 on an emulator that's set up correctly without any sort of, like, adjustments still looks great. Like, no 4K, no texture editing, like, just setting up the emulator properly, that's it. That's the one I have, Roberta. I got stoked because to play Rush the Rock, and it's, like, a terrible port. It's a horrible port. Triple A result. Keep it up. I did these. There are only eight gold wristbands, and one of them is yours. Come pick it up from me at Ray Central. You know what? I know they got claimed by the voices. Off road challenge. Is that the midway racing game like the intro song is bad and it's got the toyota on the front it was uh for the 64 i think on the home console Might, is that the one i'm thinking of i used to play that all the time in the arcade but i have like a genuine big attachment like a big nostalgia for that game Turn around when it is i might be going on ebay tonight i could use a little bit of retail therapy hello um but uh, I used to race go-karts, and then right next to the go-kart track, uh, right next to the karting track was a bus station. And the bus station had Area 51, some other game, and Off-Road Challenge. So after our finals were done, we had to wait for the entire event to be over to do, like, the podium and stuff. So we'd run over to the bus station, get, like, puts in or, like, a burger or, like, hot dogs or something and just pump quarters into off-road challenge in our racing suits, because we were racing next door, which is really funny, um, and see how who can get the most free plays. Like, I have so many vivid memories from that game, and the soundtrack, which, in retrospect, wasn't even that good. <laughs> Hydro Thunder's a good port, yeah. Do I have anything that'll work? for this event but you have one in your garage that is if you want to enter i do the dj's cheering me on it's, come on new guy that's me i'm the new guy i 
I want to play Watch 2049 one day. It scares me, though. The game is, like, because the handling's good, I'm worse at it. Yeah, Off-Road Challenge and Cruise and Exotica are like my two next N64 games that I want to get. Because then I'd complete my cruising collection. I think I would have every cruising game at that point. Uh, and then Off-Road Challenge is literally just because I remember playing it so much as a kid. I think that's why I love Rush, too, because like I played a lot of Rush the Rock um, at our local arcade. It's called Ruckers. And I remember they had the best pizza. Not because it was, like, good, but because it had, like, no calories in it. So you could crush a whole pizza as, like, an eight-year-old and be like, wow, and not be bloated for, like, a week. I used to love, whenever one of my friends were having to do birthday parties at Rutgers, I was like, we're fucking having a good time, boys. They'd all play, like, fighting games and stuff, and I'd just be sitting in the corner playing Rush over and over and over again. So I was like, I think one of the only racing games they had. Like, but you're not going to get any tickets. I was like, fuck the tickets. I have like half the fastest laps on this shit. Oh, we're loose. Still loose. I thought this said Orton and Cock, and I... Unfortunate. Sega's an ass car game. Like Daytona USA? Honestly, I think I'll always be a Midway kid, but Sega, Sega, I think, objectively had the best games of that era, of that style. Between, like, Daytona, Scud Race, Ferrari, technically F-Zero. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you were talking about Daytona. I was like, man. Like, if you were in an arcade and you saw... Uh, there was, like, an indie game that they made that slapped, too. Sega Rally. These races are all winnable with the cars I'm showing up with. They're just like, you have to have a good run. The one based off of cart? I don't remember. I think the one I'm talking about was a Sega game. I don't remember. I think it was just called Indy 500, but I don't remember. There was a arcade. We used to go to Toronto for a vacation when we were kids. Like, well, I mean, like, I was maybe eight or ten years old. Um, so we'd go to Toronto for the weekend and go to, like, uh, Canada's Wonderland and um, just kind of, like, bum around because it's the biggest city in the country or one of the biggest cities in the country. So that was cool. Um, so I kind of... We'd go to the Palladium, and there was, like, eight of these machines set up side by side and you would, they would just take eight people from being in line and there was a commentator that would commentate the races and shit. What's up, Burns? It was really fun, man. As an eight-year-old, or like, I'll say I was ten. As a ten-year-old, imagine like dunking on a bunch of twenty and thirty-year-olds at a racing game and having somebody have to commentate the entire time on a microphone out loud. Like, that was, like, my, I think that's where I begun my puberty process. I went home with my first boner that day. Um, so I got into a machine that either had the force feedback broken or like turned all the way down because I was a child, right? Um, and this grown adult, I don't know how old this person was, but in my mind, they were like 30. They could have been like 18. I don't remember. Just talking shit the entire time to a, to a baby. I was like, okay, dude, we'll see. Because I think I'd won like the last two attempts I went up or did really well or something. And I fucking waxed the field. They were all crashing constantly and, like, not doing really well. And I literally just got to the front and pulled away. Uh, and again, commentator the entire time. Oh, card number three. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, this is fine. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. And the guy came up to me after to talk shit. 
He's like, yeah, well, your machine was just, like, easier to drive. I was like, okay. And my parents are like, you are making fun of a 10-year-old? Do you, do you do hard drugs? He's like, no, uh, you don't understand. It's like, D I didn't say anything to you. you. You came up to me and started talking shit to me, and I was just excited to do the race car. Uh, I think it was car... No, it wasn't car fury. I think it was Indy 500. That was fun as hell, man. That was, I think, the first time as a kid I really got really competitive. I think I was already racing carts at the time, but it was more like I was stoked just to be there. Not, like, I don't think I was particularly, like, cared that I was doing well or not doing well. I was just like, oh, my God, I get to drive a race car. Why were you stuck? Up, there's more races with your name on them. Oh, I have done, like, none of these. I forgot. Um, where am I? Uh, there's a race over here. The Chevy. I hate that. I've never played that. We have, like, some cool arcade games, but not all of them. I've not seen a Mario Kart arcade machine out in the wild yet. I, uh... This is such a boomer, like, kids today take, but I feel so bad for kids today. Have you been to an arcade in the recent years with, like, new arcade games? It sucks. It's the worst, dude. Yeah, that's right. Like, at the movie theater I used to work at, they had the professional gamer working in the arcade. Shocker. But, um, excuse me. Oh, all the games we had there, other than like Terminator Salvation, a Hydro Thunder game that was not Hydro Thunder at all. I, it, I, it could, I think it was a raw thrills game. So it could have been like a spiritual successor. I don't remember. It was always broken. Uh, Cruise and Blast. In like air hockey. It was all just games that are uh, mobile games ported to arcade machines. Like our most popular game was basically Flappy Bird. Like, yes, is that fun to play when I'm sweating buckets on the toilet after eating too much macaroni last night? Yeah, sure. Why not? At an arcade? A place of fun and whimsy? Again, I could just be like old man yells a cloud, but I feel so bad. I have so many good memories in arcades as a kid, and we didn't even have that many. Like, we had one that was mid at best. I love Hydro Thunder. Hydro, Hydro Thunder is what happens when me and me and your woman, me, your laid. You can't end this event in that car. You need to select another God one from oh, I don't know if I can buy cars at Outpost, but boy howdy, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't pay attention to any of those menus. I just said garage, probably. <laughs> it's not not at all what I wanted to do. Change car, PR stunts, garage. Yes, I do have to fucking go back to the... Underground's arcade... I played that once, and the, the machine was the... Oh, no, I played it once at a bowling alley, too. And it's literally just underground. It's very fun. Auto show. What was it, Chad? A-class? All right, I want to go with something like wacky, but not stupid. You? 
you. Why not? I was like, a Corvette or a new Camaro is the obvious choice here, but... You come in cool color? Yeah, I like this, like, faded blue. got a lot of power you know I'm gonna take a risk I'm gonna go I'm gonna go full on with the grip on horizon to be fair it's an older one and it was part of the uh, the streamathon deal just you wait when this is done I'm playing a uh, motorsport 2 which is gonna take me eight and a half million years I've made a, a, a tactical blunder but my Motorsport 2 save got grenaded somehow, so it's like I'm kind of stoked to go through it again for the first time since I was but a wee lad. All right, so we're on Racing Slicks, and they are as big as they get. I feel like it's got enough power out of the gate, or like a reasonable amount of power. But we were also getting gapped pretty bad on that other race. And the transmission's gonna... Yeah. Because it actually have gears that function now. Yeah, I went back to... I went back to play it for some reason on stream. And then all of my cars were gone. And it's like, I've played it on stream before. Out, out of its prime. And like, went back and just looked at my game saves. And looked at my cars that I used to have. And I was like, oh, that was a fun little memory. And then, uh, I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Uh, all of a sudden, it's went poof, and then I, it broke, and everything's gone. It made me very sad. Hey. Wrong, bu hey. Wrong button. But we'll figure it out. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that GT3 is done first. I may wait till GT3 is done. I... I the idea of having two very long, like, track-based motorsport-style games going at the same time concerns me. I feel like I'm going to get bored very quick. Oi! If this is a, uh, a dirt road, I'm going to be... In trouble. This was a good call. I think it's going to drive good. It feels good. So, a wing may have not have been the worst idea, but we'll be alright. So this sucks. Not surprised. Exclamation mark Forza, by the way. You're not in trouble or anything. But I'm, I'm doing my best to try and not have every stream that I do of this game or any game just be me complaining about how everything sucks over and over and over and over again. A few people on my screen. Boy, howdy. I don't know how many tabs you have open, then. What's up, Allie? <laughs> Just yours. Telling fibs on the internet again, I see. You're stuck on console too, right? There's not a whole lot of other options. Where have you been? I'm here. I went to a wrestle last night. That was fun.
I saw some dude's oh God, penis. So sweet. You're joining us in this yeah, I don't know who that guy was. I think it was just a jobber. Uh, but And it was a Ring of Honor match. And the guy's trunks were so tight, I just could see his fucking dick flapping around. It was not Griff Garrison. It was the Griff Garrison match, but it was not Griff Garrison. Because he was in red trunks. They were wrestling Griff and the other guy. And I like and I and I exhausted everything in my head to try and tell myself, no, Keenan, that is not some dude's dick that you're staring at. I tweeted a video, and the guy's just wearing plain all black trunks, so it's not like it was a weird shadow or anything. Uh, his trunks were also way tighter than anybody else's trunks that were there that, that night. And I saw him do like a flip, and you could see it in the video where his cock jiggles, like backwards and forwards. And you can physically see the, like, like, I think in the video, I'm like, oh my God, he has ragdoll physics. Like, I went back and watched it just to see if I was being funny. No. Pingus. Like, everybody in my row was just cry laughing because I was sitting there having a conniption going, am I staring at a dude's dick right now? Gay bars on the other side of town. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> Actually, there's two on the other side of town. I've been to one several times. I've not been to the other one. They got, uh, they got rid of our karaoke bar, so this was the other karaoke bar in the same part of town. And now I do not go there because a lot of people that I used to be friends with that aren't friends with me anymore go there. And I'm like, well, I'll just be nice and avoid it. I do not trust those people to be civil. Yeah. I'm, uh, I gotta wait for like a free two or three days, Kitty, and then do my taxes. Which isn't that big of a deal, but I basically have to print out every invoice I sent for the last year, uh, every Amazon invoice of, like, anything that I bought for the stream, uh, eBay, everything. Print all of those out, staple them together, scan them into one PDF, uh, and then send those off to my accountant. But if, uh, if the tax lady says I don't owe a bunch of money this year, which I might, but I think we'll probably be okay. But I have no idea. I think I'm making, I'm building a new, new computer. My gaming computer is like fine, but it's, ne it's starting to show age now. Like I always had some weird CPU issue where it just like stopped working almost for like half a second. And it's not like while playing games or anything. It's just happens intermittently, randomly at all times and it probably just needs a windows reinstall but if i want to reinstall windows and like get all my programs and stuff back and go through all that trouble i might as well build a whole new computer and get some more modern stuff get on ddr5 you know the new gig yeah i it's another reason i'd like just put a big ton of that streamathon money away just in case i think i'll be okay but because a lot of that was PayPal, and I think they normally don't bother me when it's PayPal. My friend's also like an investment banker, so I think I can probably talk to him about it. But as long as I don't, I've owed like a couple hundred dollars once. That was it. But I've always, like, I'd rather be ready and then not owe anything and then. Because I'm self-employed, I normally don't get a lot of money back on my taxes. So I figure if I put money away, then don't need to spend it on my taxes. Um, that's basically like getting a tax return in my mind. Fast car, by the way. Some sort of downforce and we'd be set, but that's not fun. Something something NASCAR.
of Bristol. Yeah, apparently. I saw a lot of activity on the Twitter machine today. The drivers are starting to talk about you. Way to go, racer boy. There are only eight gold wristbands, and one of them is yours. Come pick it up from me at Race Central. That shit tanks the PC, but too, I fully build this one because I didn't technically build this one I have now. Dual PC seems like a really good idea, and like I'm not trying to discourage you from doing it, but it's a lot of hoops to jump through. As somebody who's on a dual PC setup, it took me about a year to get to where I wanted everything to be. Because um, depending on how you have it set up, like if you want voice chat and games and whatever, and uh, like I was just using voice meter. So when I was done streaming, I could turn my PC off, my streaming PC off and then use my gaming computer as the like um, main thing. Uh, that was a huge pain in the ass. Um, then I went out and spent the money and got like an XLR board. And now that has come with its own issues where I listened back to a couple clips the other day and it seems very quiet, but there's no way to just boost everything. I'd have to turn all the little, all the little things up individually and like also expensive. Like that was the main problem. Um, but it has helped quality a lot. Like even with console games and shit. Cause I can run this PC to basically 80% for everything and not have to worry about like any sort of drop, anything at all, which is nice. But with how like good computers are now at optimizing and and whatnot i almost don't know i think two pcs is as necessary as it used to be like especially if you just know what you want and build your computer accordingly i think you're all right Like AV1 and stuff, and having GPU encoding, and not being stuck to CPU encoding, and I'm just grabbing this, discovering this road while we're here. Something's behind that house, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's like it's like anything. Anytime I've ever like made a big purchase for this, oh, I guess not. Anytime I've ever made a big purchase for the stream or like invested in something. It just does not work for the first, like, little bit. Or, like, there's a lot of things to iron out or, like, little issues. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Well, that's what I mean. Like, why not just ditch your computer that you have right now and just spend a little bit more and get one that'll both stream and play video game? Unless you're planning on doing like stuff in 4K, I think you'll be all right. You're smart. Your own research is the best research. Yeah, yeah. That's another reason why I want to upgrade too. I want to build a new gaming computer, sell the one I have for like hopefully about a thousand dollars, and then spend that money on getting the streaming computer on uh, DDR5 hardware. Just so, like, if I ever want to just upgrade it down the line, I can. I, I, I'd be really sad to see this CPU, uh, the G, this computer go for less than a less than a thousand. I'd be really bummed. Cause I spent a thousand dollars on the graphics card alone, and I honestly think all it needs is like new window, like Windows 11. Uh, and then have all of its drivers and, like, uh, all of the motherboard stuff up to date. Am I going the right way? Nope! I don't know why it, it reset my GP, uh, GPU. Or, yep, I'm dead. GPS is what I meant to say. Nobody's shitting anymore. Let's see. Welcome to my life, buddy! The voices kept me in bed today, to be fair. In 400 yards. I had a bad dream at like 2 p.m. I went, I'm going back to bed and didn't get out of bed till about 10 minutes before the stream started. Is it gaming capable? Is what gaming capable? My current computer? I, it's like I said, it's, 
Well, I'll wait for you to answer the question before I elaborate. Oh yeah, it's uh, 32 gigs of uh, 3200 megahertz RAM, Ryzen 5 3600, uh, GTX 1080. Um, it's got some pretty decent storage. It would need a M.2 drive, I think, because uh, it's on a like an old style, like a 2.5 SSD, and then there's a big H, uh, like a traditional hard drive. I built it right around where the prices for that, that those kinds of hard drives went down, so I didn't bother. Um, uh, just a 3600, not a 3600X. I built, like, bought parts for my gaming computer, so I just or my streaming computer. So I just got a, I got a Ryzen 5, and then I was talking to some people about it, and they said, well, I think your 2700X would actually be better for the streaming computer than the gaming computer. So take the uh, the the CPUs and switch them. So my gaming computer has a Ryzen 5 3600 in it and my streaming computer has a Ryzen 7 2700X, I think. There's a PC part list down there. Zach, I did that with my first computer and like do what you want, you're an adult, you can make your own decisions, but I regretted it because I ended up paying taxes and shipping on everything, like every part. The officials won't let you into this event unless you I feel like I overpaid card. when I did that the first time. But your judgment is better than my judgment. I'm not saying that sarcastically. I just I did that once and then looked at the receipts and went, this doesn't make any fucking sense. And then looked at it and I was like, oh cool, I paid shipping and fees on this and paid shipping and fees on every single part. I feel like if I would have bought everything together, I probably could have saved some money, but To go out of the yeah, Cole, I'd probably have to buy a case for it and put it in a new case. I don't think anybody's going to either. Either I have to get a Dremel and like clean it up. But I kind of want to keep that. Uh, what do you call it? Keep that. Uh, USB hub anyway. So if I just take all the parts out, put all the new parts in the old case put all the old parts in the new case. That makes sense in my head. Did you enjoy scrolling back? Cisco, so my very legal source to watch wrestling last night was not available. But I went and watched all the YouTube video clips and we are so in every single fucking shot. Like, I wasn't even looking, and I see the long dentist sign. I was like, oh, my God. I was trying so hard. I'm, I'm upset that the one match you couldn't see me, I had the let's go Chibata sign. Shipping's going to be a ball ache. I mean, make you can make a parts list and then just, like, start saving money. I think that's how I built my current gaming computer is I would take cash out and put it in a drawer. And then as soon as I had enough cash, I went into the store and bought everything in one shot. But I only had the thought because, like, we both don't live in America. Oh, and Will's, Will's fucking Taz was great. And I'm like, I picked him up from the bus station. We're on the way. And I was like, dude, Taz is going to see it. He goes, you know Taz doesn't commentate for a collision, right? I was like, so you painted a Taz sign. Yeah. And Taz doesn't even commentate on the show. He's like, nope. And I almost had to pull over. I was laughing so hard. Spending a lot of money makes me want to throw up in my own mouth. So, like... I don't even want to make a parts list yet. I can't. I just want to wait until uh, tax season and see how tax season goes and then go from there. I don't plan on playing anything outside of 1080p... Uh, I don't want to do anything 4K or anything crazy. Um, so I don't think I'm going to have to spend, like, giga money. And I've seen pre builts that have parts lists that are, like, pretty decent that are in my price range of about 2500 Canadian. Which is still a lot of money, but I thought if I wanted, like, for the PC that I wanted, I thought I'd be, like, three or 4000 But it seems like low twos to mid twos is probably going to be realistically what I'll be spending. Him. Yes. 
Yes. Especially now, he doesn't need to be on every show. Having like a play-by-play -play that's that's consistent for the night and then switching out color, I think is a really good idea. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. So you get the, yeah. But like I, where I grew up, Zach, like we didn't have a, gro like a grocery store. Yeah, we just fucking foraged on berries and pine cones, idiot. We didn't have a computer store, so I had to order everything. And that's what fucked me. Obviously, you pay tax, you pay tax, but, like, paying one delivery fee would have probably saved me $100, $200 versus paying delivery fee on every part individually. If that's the way you got to do it, that's the way you got to do it, but it's just something to keep in mind type thing. I want to rain on your parade. Roberta, like, like I thought we'd be, like, in decent seats. Because, like, the cheapest seats there, I think, were, like, $60 when we started looking. And then the most expensive ones, like, on the floor right in front of us were $20 more than what we had. And Will's like, we should sit on the floor. I'm like, man, I'm old. I don't want to stand up the whole time. And I'm, I know our luck. Some fucking six-foot-five fridge of a man is going to sit in front of us. And we won't be able to see shit. So, like, yeah, I think Tank had said something on this on, uh, on Twitter last night that, like, as soon as Stream saw the Long Dennis sign, you guys all popped off. I'm bummed we didn't have floor seats because they were letting people in floor seats get up and, like, go to the railing, especially at the end. Like, being able to shake Edge's hand and take a selfie would have been sweet. Or Adam Copeland, sorry. Uh, I mean, we probably could have ran down there, but I didn't want to chance it. More upset that uh, because of Ring of Honor, I missed Taco Bell closing. The only thing that was open was Golden Arches. Very sad. They, yeah, they did, they did Ring of... They, no, they did Ring of Honor before and then Ring of Honor after. So for, we got there at 6. From 6 to 7, there was nothing. So, like, if you wanted to go buy merch or, like, food. And I've never been to a big arena before. There being, like, full-size bars and restaurants in the arena. Wild. Bananas. Like, like that was wild. So, like, I grabbed... Me and Will grabbed a couple of drinks and hung out. I managed to stave off the I really want a hamburger right now cravings. They did an hour or so of Ring of Honor, the two-hour collision t show, and then another hour or so of Ring of Honor tapings after. It was on this? It, yeah. You know, Zach, especially with, like, little things, I'm willing to just, like, um, I'm assuming it was playing, and if it's not, then, well, I've already changed the radio station. I'm all, like, if someone ends up being kind of, kind of poopy, I'm not going to be, like, that much to avoid it, but that dude from that band did about the worst possible thing anyone's ever done in the entertainment industry. He's a top five scumbag, so. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, no. I used to love their music too. Like, even in like, in their genre, I thought they were like pretty solid. Like, not underrated, not overrated. Like, enough people knew about them, but not they weren't like to the top of their genre. I loved their music, man. Last Train Home, Shinobi vs. Dragon Ninja, uh, Rooftops, and then ugh. it is. I, I, I have a hard time in general separating the art from the artist, and I know some people can do it, and like, I'm willing to hear the argument out. I can't do it with that one. I can't, I can't, I cannot. Even covers, like, even covers, I'm like, this, I, this reminds me too much of that, and then my brain immediately thinks of that, and my skin crawls. Turn around when it is safe to do so. 
Like, Dead Mouse is a dick. I love his music. I think he's kind of, like, I'd love to meet him face to face and see if he's actually as much of an asshole as the internet says he is. But he's done so much shit on the internet, just being an asshole for no reason. Like, I, I think it was one of his, uh, there's like a rapper or something that was a big fan of his, and then he came into Dead Mouse's stream once, and Dead Mouse has heard of him and just made fun of him the entire time. And then he released a rap saying, why are you such a dick? Like, why were you just mean to me for no reason? Like, you don't know me. I don't know you. I don't understand why you were just, like, making fun of me to your chat for no reason at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the same, though, Isra. You're not even Isra. You're Roberta. I don't know where that came from. Isra's here, too. In the U.S. He's in jail. So, yeah, I guess. He got banned from chat in real life. He's in giga prison, man. Like, the worst fucking... Oh, dead... No? He's doing a show at Red Rocks, like, either now or very soon. They're, he's doing a 20th anniversary tour. Dead Mouse from Toronto. Absolutely not. That's why uh, I think she, I don't know if he's from Toronto, but one of his first albums had the Oshawa connection on it. Yeah, he was one of the first like big artists to do Twitch streaming and like would stream his studio process and like play video games like. And then he went to Mixer for a while and I think he's back on Twitch now. Mr. paid him how much? Uh, Microsoft was already a sponsor of his. Uh, for his live show stuff. He used Surface Pros for a lot of his, like, live visuals and, like, live music stuff. So I think, it, I don't think they paid him, but, you know, like, it wasn't like a, like a paid streamer deal. I think he was already in cahoots. And also, I don't know, like, Mixer was not a bad website. I had some friends that stream. Ali, I don't know. Ali's still here. Ali streamed on Mixer all the time. It was not a bad website. Just fucking nobody used it. So nobody went there. They had some features that, like, Twitch ended up using. I think bits were on, like, the idea of bits were on Mixer before Twitch. I could be wrong on that one, but... Mixer's low latency was huge. Like, we're spoiled now, but Twitch delay used to be anywhere on desktop. Used to be anywhere from, like, instant... Uh, or Twitch used to be, like, if you, on a good day, you'd have, like, five or seven seconds of delay. On a bad day, it'd be, like, 20 seconds. Like, it was rough. Mixer was anywhere between instant and, like, five seconds. It was, it was actually a really good platform for a lot of stuff. It just was, like, quirky. Like, if they, if they would have just accepted their, their, like, number two space in the market and kind of just played to their strengths, we would still have Mixer today. And it would, with how fucking much Twitch tries to shoot, how often Twitch tries to shoot itself in the foot, I think Mixer would be a genuine contender in today's streaming climate. Because the only contender is the green website, and yeesh. They're not even trying anymore. Uh, I don't know if anybody follows Moist Critical, but allegedly somebody on the green website streamed them having sexual relations with a lady of the evening in front of a child and only got banned for a day. Like, people are just broadcasting actual crimes on that website. Yeah! Y yeah! Yeah! And, I mean, the purple website's not doing great either with this beast basically being OnlyFans light now. Like, they're not getting... Like, I don't, I'm not mad at the people doing it. You're not getting banned. People are watching it. People are buying into your shit. Get your bag. You know what I mean? But I think Mixer legitimately would be in a really good place if they had lived long enough to get here. What's up, Larry, by the way? 
I watched I watched the one video where he talked about that and then mentioned a bunch of other things that like K word green web that's not like a dirty word, I just feel like when I say the green website, it's funnier and you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about kick. There are only eight gold wristbands and one of them is um, come pick it up from me at Ray Central. Tom. Buddy. I don't know about this one, Chief. I don't remember the name of the of the creator. If you go watch uh, Charlie's video, there's more information on it. Um, but he mentions a bunch of other shit that's happened. Of like, there's a streamer there now that got banned for two days. Uh, that threatened to like dox and murder a child. Um. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Uh, there's another kick streamer that apparently just goes out and that gets into street fights with random people. Like the worst human beings are on that website. So if that's our alter our our alternative to this website, Twitch isn't going anywhere anytime soon. That's what I mean. If Mixer like Mixer was just corporate enough to not have these fucking lunatics on their website, but also was a small enough website. I know who it was owned by, it was a Microsoft website, I'm not an idiot. But the the sense of like community and stuff was still there. Check marks are high. You're not allowed to enter that car into this event. You need YouTube could own. <sighs> and they would basically, I think, take down need to make another website. Like live streaming is such a big thing. I don't know if like VOD content and live content can happily coexist at good levels on the same site. That could be a bad take. Hello! That guy ran out and was like, oh my okay, camera. But like, re like, Twitch has VOD content. It just sucks. And there's like no discoverability for it. You don't get it in your recommendeds. Uh, unless it's a stream you already follow. It's like a stream you missed. They focus on live content. I'm so excited to be racing you. I mean like a whole other brand, Tom. I'm gonna get knocking out the people's favorite. Like even if they just renamed YouTube Gaming to like Citrus or like some other random name. And it was owned by YouTube and run by YouTube, but it wasn't YouTube. I think more people would buy into it. But besides, like, better quality options, like, I don't know. I feel like especially people who go watch sub 500 concurrent viewer streamers, you guys are here for, like, chat, right? Either talking in chat, talking to the streamer via, st via chat, Like, that's your main reason you're here, right? YouTube, that's why YouTube streaming is ass. They still have one of the worst chats of any of the big competitors. Like, even as a mod, like, I can't, like, I don't have half the tools. It would be cool to have everything in one, one place, though. Like, your shorts content your long form content and your streams all in one place so people don't need to go to twitch and then go back to youtube then go to tiktok like it's all right there yeah but like and i love jimmy don't get me wrong he's a homie but his chats are so fast and chaotic that the chats aren't really like part of the stream anymore they can be And to be fair, like, like Twitch, Tom, to your point, I don't think, like, it's shit they'll never do. But Twitch doesn't need to do much to get back comfortable as the number one. Get rid of a lot of the fucking cam girl shit. Right? And again, it's not their fault. Like, they're being allowed to do it. I'm not saying, like, this is unfair. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a, a, an incel about it. But it is a predominantly video game streaming website there's no reason again I got this through Charlie but I see it in my fucking recommendeds all the time 
of like speed dating and it's some girl sitting there half naked with a camera pointed at her actual asshole. Like that's not what Twitch is. That's like chatterbait light. And again, if they're if they're getting views and they're getting subscriptions and they're getting money, all the power to them, it's they're playing the system. You know what I mean? I'm not hating the player here. I'm hating the game. This should be against TOS. And first of all, people shouldn't buy into this shit in the first place because it's garbage content, but women half naked. Like, you know you are on the internet, right? If you want to see a woman's actual asshole, it would not take that long. I get it, Mitch. I do, but it's sad. <laughs> it's, it's sad. Again, I'm not, I'm not against... Chroma keyed her ass in a Fortnite gameplay. Tom. Tom. The, the person I'm referencing played Valorant. Her camera was maybe about as big as mine on her, uh, like her video game was about as big as this camera. And then the rest of the screen is filled up with a webcam of the, her front and she's in a bikini. And the bigger camera was an actual webcam pointed directly at her asshole. Like you could see the stretch marks of where she poops. And it was fine. No ban, nothing. I think it's a C3 now. Oh, no, no. No, no, I think it is a C3. I'm going to stand by it. Okay, I'll be wrong. That's fine. I thought the Stingray was a C3. Oh, no, it's the one that looks like the Vigilante 8 car. Can Twitch do anything at this point? I don't... S Cisco, they, they make so much money off these people, I don't think they want to. A lot of their bigger streamers are now on other platforms. The crowd are loving you. So they got to make money somehow. And, I mean, like I said, like, if Twitch is letting them do it, then let them do it. You know what I mean? Um, but a lot of these streamers have like tens of thousands of viewers and people are, they don't read chat unless you pay money. So people are constantly subscribing to get messages in and, and gifting subs and trying to get the, uh, the streamer's attention because if I just gift 10 more subs, maybe she'll love me. Like, so Twitch, as from a business perspective, probably doesn't really want to do anything about it. Um, it just is what it is. Uh, that's what I mean. If they got rid of that, and I don't mean ban every streamer that wears a low cut top, right? Like people used to say five years ago, oh, if you just got big tits, like you win Twitch. All you need to do is be a woman. 10 years ago, five years ago, it was literally just girls wearing tops they'd wore to work that day. And yeah, maybe the webcam screen was a bit bigger than it needed to be, but whatever. It was still well within PG-13. It's not well within PG-13 anymore. Like, if I, me as a 30-year-old man had that on my laptop screen when my mom walked in, I'd be embarrassed. Like, it's... They were pushing it, like, years ago. I don't even know what to call it anymore. That's very true, Tom. I, uh, I can easily be bought and sold. Yeah, yeah. You remember when people like Casey Tron just whips her tits out? Casey Tron's like vanilla at this point. Cisco Scaramuza. Honestly, Kitty, you could rebroadcast some Twitch streams on, uh, on Chatterbait now, and they probably would still do numbers. I already love you, silly. What do you mean? When our, when our production schedule slows down a bit, I want to come out there for a weekend. I want to be like a Thursday to Monday thing. Holy shit. I love you too, Cisco. Also, thanks, Zach, for the prime. Welcome back, by the way. I hope you're doing well, man. Holy shit. Um... So, I'll wait till we have holy shit of the way out of this. But if you got a gift sub from Vert Scars, make sure you give him a big thank you. Uh, I have, unfortunately, I'm stupid. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it doesn't show me on the individual name. Holy shit! Vunix, Fabio Ponta, Dodge, a set of numbers. Naughty Eeyore, Gamerhead Geisha, or Gearhead Geisha. Holy shit! Jackness. Oh, I can't read. Jack M13. I think, or 613. Gareth Allen Holy TV. Shit. Oh, wow. I don't know who that is. Mr. Atune expected. Zuba and Milo. Give, uh, give Cisco a big old thank you. Holy I mean, or don't. Shit. It'd be probably pretty cool if you did. Oh, uh, <laughs> meet. We started a meet chant last night, too. Where uh, Claudio versus, uh, I don't know if you came over on the mics, but Claudio versus uh, uh, Lance Archer, when they started, like, larrying each other, we just, meet! That was us. We did that. Holy shit. And there we go. Hiya. Thanks for the subs, everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks for keeping the lights on here. So yeah, we've talked about what they need to do with the TOS. And I, it's not going to go away, you know? That car is an eligible um, but at least we'll get the worst offenders off. Um, and then pay their streamers better. There's no reason a rinky-dink company in comparison to Amazon pays out 90% to the, to the streamer. And Twitch says, best I can do is 50. Especially people like me, a 25% increase in income for doing nothing is world-changing amounts of money. We've done the math on stream before of, like, what I make now versus what I would make on average if they had changed it to, like, 60-40. That's really about it. And, like, technical stuff on the back end, like, lower late, like more consistency, lower latency. Um... Higher than 1080p streaming, supporting higher bit rates. But it's from what I understand, they're like already working on that. Oops, all GTRs. That's a wall. Ow. Something's in a GTR. I mean, it's a Nissan only event and S Class. Why was I going for a pass there? But like, there wouldn't be much they need to do. You know what I mean? It's tough. It's a lot of shit they probably won't ever do. But those are Twitch's biggest criticisms. It's like you can afford to pay your streamers more, or and it doesn't need to be like ninety ten. Like that's crazy. Um, but better deals for streamers, uh, more, less ads, or better options for less ads. The advertising on this website is like, we thought YouTube was bad? Holy moly, this, it's borderline predatory here. Um, because I mean, I'm sure they still have big streamers on this site, like big top 1% people. But a lot of them have moved to YouTube now or the green website. So it's like the way I see it is like you have to build it like a hockey team now or you can't just like rely on the same big, big sticky, stream. Sticky. Ayo. Thank you, T-Bone, for the 323. Hopefully you're not too sticky. Or they should just start an F1 team. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Like, make the ads skippable, or, like, there's, so there's got to be something you can do. Ow. Good evening. I was going to call you Horny Donkey, but I take it back. I'll, I'll go back to not EOR. I'll try not to be smart about that. 
Kitty, I, I, I've explained it at nauseum, but like I have my ads turned down as much as I can to get rid of pre-rolls, because I think pre-rolls are so much worse. Oh, I remember what I was saying now. You know, like if a hockey team has like a, like a, a really strong core, like Sidney Crosby, fucking uh, Malkin, whatever, like top, super good top players. Ad blocks don't work perfectly anymore either. They're constantly updating the site to like the ad blocks not work. Like I have an ad blocker and still get ads on Twitch. Um, it's better, but it's not a like a perfect solution. Uh, Twitch Turbo obviously would solve everything, but then you're paying the site directly and not supporting any Turn streamer, when it is safe which is fine, so. I guess. But um, Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh. Yeah, I mean, like, I've also been using Adblocker Plus for, like, my whole life and have had months where I don't see a Twitch ad. And then all of a sudden, they're just everywhere. And then they go away again, and then they come back. Like, that goes there. I'm alive. I'm existing. How are you? How was your Sunday? Saturday. Oh, yeah, there was some drunk dude there last night that whenever the crowd would get quiet, would just go, Saturday! And that's it. And then everyone else would start the Saturday chant. So if you ever hear just, Saturday! Know that I saw that guy drink at least five rum and cokes in like 45 minutes. He was on another planet. He was having a great time. Clip <laughs> both. At one point he goes, Saturday! And then I went, it's Thursday, actually, if you think about it. And I don't know if you could hear it. I think the ROH, like, m more random nonsense got yelled out, but they're probably going to edit it all out. Because the crowd, especially after, the crowd was dead. Like, everyone's ready for bed. The whole row behind me was like, are they going to be done soon? It's like 1130. I'm exhausted. Is this the right turn I needed to take? Nope. But I can improvise. Oh, what? What? Oh, 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 oh! Turn around when it is. We're good. Everything's fine. Dude, on Wednesday in Toronto, they're doing Dar uh, Dynamite and then Rampage live right after. I'm like, that crowd's going to have eight people in it. People people stayed right after Collision for like the first couple of matches of Ring of Honor, but they were all kind of like simple matches and like didn't do anything really all that cool. Like it was just it was very clear, like just like a Ring of Honor taping. Like there was no story. There was no nothing. It was just like they two dudes came out, did a wrestle and then left. By like the third match, half the people who stayed were left. We're gone. Yeah, apparently that's what I saw on Twitter today. Was Rampage is going live right after Dynamite. But just to finish my points and get my thought out of my head, Twitch has lost a lot of its top level talent. So instead of relying on the top level talent that's been here forever, I think it's time to like focus on the little guy, and I'm, I'm really biased in this. I'll keep it 100. Keep it one scundo. Uh, but, like, you have to rebuild your 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 pillars now, right? So investing in, like, new people, I think, would be more worth it than just trying to push the same top 1% in your face over and over and over and over and over again. Your car isn't eligible for this event, but you have one in your garage that is. If you want to end Fuck is a scundo? Don't question it. It's me. It's like hockey talk, but 
Dude, I've only ever heard it once. I think it's Zoomer Hockey Talk. Ooh, Scar is a good good shout. Is she in the Jag? Good wow. luck. You're really gonna try racing at this level? Yes. That's so funny. Is it though? I'm not laughing. Nope, we couldn't hear the commentators. At the end of the uh, at the end of the uh, the event, Tony got up and said some stuff and said that Bryce was smelly, and that was basically it. I love how the first thing that anybody says when they come in the stream today is like that guy got cock in his name, and then that's it. Unironically, very funny. That's a di that's WWE. Logan Paul was not there. Especially with everything going on with the dub right now, I don't think I would have paid for a ticket to go see them. Pingus. Edge was there. Because he's in the other company now. Uh, wrestler called Evil Una because he's from uh, Gatno, which is across the bridge. So basic, his hometown, but not really, but kind of. No, AEW is like their direct competition. The Luchador. Yeah, 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 the guy that got eaten at Gwar, and that was mentioned several times. The crowd kept yelling, how was your Gwar, how was the Gwar concert? He's a nice dude. Yeah, consider it like and like <laughs> they cut they come back from commercial at one point pop. I was watching his back on YouTube. They slow pan uh the camera like welcome back to AEW Collision and there's a sign that's taking up a quarter of the screen and the sign says Nick Khan and Triple H new and that's it said something else, but that was it. I was like, "Oh, you got to tell me that that was on wasn't on purpose." There was some really good signs in the crowd last night. Julia Fart was really good. Saturday nights are the same guy had the same sign that said Saturday nights are right for farting. What did they know? Uh, you know what, Rob? I think you should just you should just Google it. Personally, I think you should just uh, look into what uh, Vince McMahon and the WWE have been up to lately. And and. You're like, oh no, it's that thing. No, it's it's worse. After Mikey, I don't even know what you're talking about. That's the most dude, every fight that the Pauls are in now is fixed. At least Logan's not trying to hide it. It's just an excuse to make money. Yeah, you know, you know that company, like that WWE, that's known for a lot of really bad business practices. This is like the worst thing that I remember, at least in my lifetime. So, like, cause that that includes the screw job, the uh, the steroid scandal, everything. Like this, the the more I read about this, the worse it gets. So I've stopped reading about it. It's really bad. No, T-Bone, like, yes. But the amount of people... I don't want to spend too long talking about this because it's gross. It's just disgusting. But the amount of people who knew and were complacent and the amount of damage that's in the wake, it was not... It was not like a Bill Clinton scenario, you know what I mean? Where it was like one person in the office, not a big deal. Well, big, well, big deal, but like... It was one person fricking around in the office and the wife found out about it and you know, it's like went from like Playboy tomfoolery to holy shit, this is actually gross. 
Goodbye. Thank you, Gareth, for the follow. Appreciate it, man. I was curious as to who randomly added me on Discord the other day, and I found out. I did some. I did research. Turns out I have found out. On that topic, I'm going to keep saying it. Uh, I'll get commands and stuff done for tomorrow, but uh, we are doing the EA Creator Cup tomorrow. Or Creator Challenge, Creator Series. That's the one. For uh, EA WRC with some really cool people. I love the game. I, I'm going to get bodied, but it's going to be a blast. I'm super stoked. There's some names that you recognize, and some names that you might not, and there's some names that... I saw on the entry list that I could never expect doing anything racing related. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Can they announce anyone? I'm not sure, so I'm not saying anything. I've signed enough NDAs to know. I was told some things, but I don't know if the, if the public knows about it right now. So I'm just going to say... I'm just gonna, not going to say anything. But yeah, it's, it seems like it's going to be pretty sweet. They're going to have us all on, like, Zoom. Uh, and they're starting... We're starting our stages, like, 30 seconds apart. Kind of like real WRC so they can go through and follow somebody's run through a stage and then cut to somebody else and it's fun. It's going to be sweet. Uh, what am I doing here? I need a Bentley. That's the one. I set my GPS to fast travel there. I'm not smart. There's only the one, right? Yeah. I will not be doing either of those two things. <laughs> Is there any cool colors? Ew, I, I, man. I was going to go with British Racing Green because that's just the thing, but I love, like, champagne on cars like this. Yeah, I mean, they just have it, like, all in one place in the newer games, which is fine, but it makes the it makes the main festival area feel a lot smaller. Like, this is huge. You see the stage with all the fire going. And... I'm curious. Like, we're not even, like, look. Because there's only one festival hub, look how rad that looks. You're like, oh my god, I really am pulling into something, like, super sick. The new ones feel, like, smaller, because there's s multiple small ones, and then, like, one big one in the middle that's slightly larger. Please work. You know, that worked more than I expected it to, to be fair. Somebody's CD skipping. I was like, oh, it'll go away when the game saves, right? Right? <laughs> I'm vacuuming my room. I have a feeling that it's not going to load. I have a sneaking suspicion it's not going to load.
I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna put you out of your misery. Dennis did not even win. It was a bloodbath. Yeah, because a downloaded game never crashes. Ever. That never happens. That's that's never happened ever. All right, this is normal. Okay. How was it? Luigi got one star on his own and then four just by chance times that he had nothing to do with. No, I think the disc is just like a purchase check. Because it, I remember, I was like, oh, I have the disc. I don't really have to worry about pre-game installs or whatever. Hey, oh, sweet. Up. Your wristband is still waiting at Race Central. Come pick it up. And then um, it installed the whole game, and I had to install, like, an update for the console and a bunch of other updates. Very cool that this is a new-style Xbox controller, and it works with the older Xbox One, by the way. Very neat. Something I never expected somebody like Microsoft to do, but... My name is Spanky. My name is Soapy Bong Water. Actually. Uh, I don't think I'm streaming next Friday, by the way. I'm doing a DJ, so instead of trying to get a stream in and then, like, panicking and not having enough time, I think I might just be like, you know what? I streamed for three months straight, and I've been doing, uh, I still got two weeks of the six to eight hour, let's say. What's up, Cal? Thank you for the reset. Holy Not streaming? Good. Here's my, thanks for the prime. Merci beaucoup. All uh, right, this is a moon. Tires may have been a good idea. But I got a DJ to do on Friday, and it's at my it's for my friend, and I really want to like put my whole back into it. So I might just take it as a day off, and then if Saturday doesn't happen, you all know why. I uh, wanted to spend like a whole day looking for new music and like really put a lot of effort into it and I just have not had the time. So I at least want to take a day and sit again. I I'd rather take a day and do it versus uh, especially because we're streaming Monday as well. And that'll start at three. So I don't know how long the creator series is going to go. I actually do know how long it's going to go. It's on the sheet they gave me, but I did not read it yet. Um, Kill! It's very funny. Um, but I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. We'll probably do something. Gran Turismo, Burnout. Burnout's very close to being done. I just have to, like, put the work in now. God damn it. Something. And then no stream on Tuesday. Yes, yeah, so I'll take Friday and maybe Saturday. Perhaps. Schedule soon, TM. I think that was, like, the only part of the streamathon I was really getting upset with was, like, stuff would come up. And I either couldn't go or, like, had to make it work somehow instead, instead of just being like, hey, something came up this day. I'm going to take the day off. Sorry. Um... But I'll see you guys around. Like being able to have a little flexibility, it was like no. But I mean, that was kind of the point, right? Mild torture. 
Well, it was mild torture after I stopped rubber banding myself on the wrist and drinking hot sauce three times a day. Excuse me. I'm in a Bentley. I don't have to stop for those. Yeah, all the handling upgrades and then ignoring tires. Not... Not my best move. I should have went with tires and floppy suspension, I think. I'm going to go for a big dive. Oh! Well. That didn't work. My eyes were bigger than my brakes. How old is this game now? 12 years? That's crazy. 12 years in the fall, I think. Okay. That wasn't necessarily put me in the dirt, but that was a that was unfortunate block. I may need a clip bar break. I'm starving. I eat, usually if I eat like a big dinner, I don't get hungry the next day until dinner time. Not today. Ow. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 contact model. I love this game. That was sarcasm. Can I cheese this? I feel like I'm... Oh, I'm first in popularity now. Neat. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm driving well, but doing worse than the race before. Excuse me, did cock. I can get, I can get Cliff. Cliff did cock sounds like a porn name. Whoever at Playground came up with that giggled the entire time when they wrote that. I could have got the exit if I wasn't on the dirt. I don't, I don't want to, like, just bowl the AI out of the way, but I feel like I don't have enough time to get to the front. The no tires was a terrible idea. What's the real number of staff? Then they must have had a rough time in high school. What happened? They make pills for that now. time oh my god please
swoos. Another quick swoos. All right, this is still going to be difficult, but at least I have a chance now. Engine breaking, my beloved. I still lost time in that corner. Harper, I need you to absolutely cock up these last three corners. Or Haley. I think I got this. And only a little bit of chicanery. It was just a small corner cut, that's all. She didn't get the proper pace notes. The no tires thing was not my best move. Or scrubs. I forgot that I'm in that. I'm I'm stoked I finally got to um uh, sign up for it. I will say the picture that I used for spanking Baba Ganoush on Scrubs go uh the Scrub series is a photo of me that I don't know if it's never been on the internet, but it's not been on the internet in a long time. I feel like I posted it on the internet, but it's, it's not something I'm, it's funny. It's ancient. Agent of speed. Oh, that's a... I think that's the 177. The, Mer the Mercedes. Aston Martin one? Turn around when it is safe to do so. But what if it's never safe to do so? What if I'm constantly just waiting to turn around? The beat didn't wait to turn around, lady. Is it just me or is this engine, like, incredibly loud compared to everything else in the game? Did DT have to pick or was it randomized? I... Scrub series is one of the reasons I... That's a wall. It's one of the... Squandle, squim tumbly, and squim 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 Let's try that again in English. You're all picking even better. Uh, Scrub series is one of the reasons why I, cha I, I champion Los so much. Like, he should be way bigger than he actually is. Like, in the community, everybody knows who he is, but he should be, like, a huge content creator. The amount of work he puts into stuff, the like, cool ideas he puts together, even if they're like pretty easy on paper, it's still shit that like nobody's doing. And if they're doing, they're not doing it to the level he's doing it to. Just needs to stop changing his fucking username every six weeks. Yeah, but like he's it's he's having fun with it, which just makes it even better. Like it's it's stuff that he knows how to do and like it's just like you know it'd be really silly and then does it and it's it is really silly, but like unironically also good. It, it, it's it, it I I'm speaking from like the the window here, but it seems like he has a lot of troubles like sticking to some projects sometimes. Cause he's always just coming up with new ideas for shit. Not a bad problem to have. I love that dude, though. I remember I watched him play FIFA for, like, an hour, and I have negative interest in, in football. If somebody can make you watch something that you're, like, the topic you're not interested in, but they make it interesting, that's a winner right there. Shout out to Losonomics on Twitch. I think he does still does YouTube shorts content and YouTube stuff, so also go follow his YouTube, but... I fucking... You son of a... That's not where I set the thing, damn it! Yeah, that's it. Okay. Is there any roads I can discover on the way there? Nar.
Are those real names? Or are you just making things up, Mister? I thought you were, I wasn't sure if you were memeing or not, because I wouldn't know the difference anyway. It almost sounds like AI generated UK football team names. It is the Aston Martin one. Helicopter. I don't know, the only this is gonna be very Canadian to me, but the only like sports ball thing I keep up with, even remotely, is hockey, and even then I don't really keep up with it. I'll watch like the highlights. Um, from like certain YouTube channels, they'll do like a week in review of the NHL, and that's it. Like, I don't know who's on what team for the most part. I don't know what teams are doing well. I check the stats every once in a while. Well, I also grew up watching hockey. Like, my, uh, I was in two different homes, like two different living situations, and my one side loves the Maple Leafs, and my other side loves the Canadian Canadiens, so. And like, arguably one of the fastest sports, like big sports, is la okay, so. What's up, Long Gun Section? What's up, Nick? Good evening. Yeah, how the pilot's cracked. He's trying to catch Jams Bund right now, the famous British spy. Day. S sad piece of sad arrow lore. I usually violently celebrate St. Patrick's Day every year. Uh, that's a little premature, but I'm gonna try. Um, like my main background is Italian, but the name Keenan is Irish, which is enough for me to drink Jameson and listen to Dropkick Murphys. Uh, but because it's on a Sunday, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm not in the mood. There you go. Scally! I love this stream. I love this stream. <laughs> stream. But I don't know. It's on a Sunday. I don't really feel like getting super drunk on a Sunday night when I got stuff to do tomorrow. I've been eating today. I was gonna have a couple beers on stream, but I was like, eh. Hey, what's up? Your wristband is still waiting at Race Central. Come pick it up. Football with wrestling. It's just not a sport I'll ever get into. It's right? it just doesn't do anything for me. I'm like not a sports person in general. I don't watch football. I don't watch like football. I don't watch. Um, baseball. I watch hockey because it's literally part of my chemical makeup. That's basically it. And even then, I don't watch hockey. I just watch the highlights. I don't watch full games until it's playoff season. And even then, I don't really watch play uh, playoff hockey. But the Mets, baby. Love the Mets. All right, baby. Sorry, I Open forgot up, about the Mets. the Mets. Go Mets. My apologies. Coke, if I'm going to count this out. Close enough. 
I'll take any any excuse to get like knock I beers back and listen to like Irish punk music, but uh, I wasn't. I, I realized last night when I was uh, at McDonald's at 12:30 at night, and there was a bunch because it's right by the college, and there's Ubers pulling up with like kids wearing all green and like flashing fucking necklaces and shit. I'm also of the stupid. Um, I needed to go to the. Wait, no, 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 This is what I'm supposed to be. I'm dumb. Let me know what you need. Change car is what I was looking for. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day. Am I gonna do anything tomorrow? I'm like, Ugh. probably not. Well, we've got some choices. It's like, I got that thing tomorrow and I don't want to be late for... How many, how many St. Patrick's Days have I just sat here by myself knocking beers back? That's kind of sad. I don't think I want to do that today. And it's Sunday. Where am I going to go on a Sunday? Hmm. Let's see what's for sale in like the high S, low R3. I've got all this money. I'm gonna do something with it. I always thought Rock and Roll McDonald's was pro McDonald's. It is not pro McDonald's whatsoever. I, I finally stopped and listened to the lyrics and was like, oh. Set up at the brakes at the wrong time. Oh, there is R1 in this game. Okay. I don't know when up that high. I, I don't know when I'm buying one of these, but the answer to that question is soon. Okay. Strong contender out of the gate. Another strong... Oh, I can't afford it. Uh... Enzo would be cool. Sesto would take all of my money. Huayra? How much? No! It's DLC. That's offensive. ACR, this would be kind of cool. So, oh, the Goompert. I was like, is there a Zonda? I want a Zonda. There is that I need from the season pass that apparently I never bought. Hmm. I'm going to look at high S and see what's there. I don't really want to modify this too much. I I see. This is now made the choice. I already thought. I thought I knew what I wanted to do. That has now made my choice slightly more difficult. Fort Scud would be cool too. All right, we're going too far back. How's the AW? I had way more fun than I thought I was gonna have. I knew I was gonna have fun, but I like I thought I was just gonna sit there and watch the wrestling and go yay. No, I had a blast, dude. Like, way more fun than I thought. I'm going to get a Gumpert. It's got a goofy name. It's kind of ugly, but in the cool-looking way. Yeah, I said it at the top of the stream. If you have any interest in wrestling at all, and you've never went to go see live wrestling, and you're, like, nervous about it, just go. It was really fun. Uh, we sat in a row with uh, two dudes on our right that, like, were pretty, like, big wrestling fans. And then uh, someone's mom and their kid to our right, our left. And kind of had the whole... Every kind of wrestling fan I would want to hang out with. Someone who still believes it, you know what I mean? So I tried to not talk about, like, booking and stuff as much. 
And that was that was the thing too. Is like nobody was running around saying Santa Claus wasn't real. Like if there was kids or people who still believed. Like well, nobody would ruin it for them, and it was really neat. Um, like there was a kid behind me. I forget what one match it was, but was like, no, he's gonna lose. No, no, that's not. No, I, and like upset about it. Like it was. I don't say cute, but. Reminded me of me when I was younger, because I absolutely believed wrestling was real until I was like 10. And then I saw a video of John Cena throwing a punch, missing the punch by about a foot, and the other eye going, Ugh, like 10 seconds later. And I was like, ah, turns out they were right. It was weird not having commentary, but they had like a mic on the ref, so you could hear the wrestlers like yelling at each other and... Um... Um, sorry, I'm lost. Right here, I'll be good. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. And then I thought I would just sit there and go like, but some people behind us were like yelling and like chirping the bad guys and getting into it. And then like everybody around that person gets into it and then you start yelling and then you get other people into it. It's uh, infectious. Did you see the cornet side last night, Cisco? That dude had prime real estate. I'm gonna like wiggle around in here for a second because these are all roads I need to discover. Uh, it's a fun place to drift if I remember. I don't have a, this is not really a drift car per se, but. Hello. We only have 20 of those left. This reminds me of the, the Top Gear challenge where they took, like, sedans around a business park. Oh, yeah, we used to drift here, which is, like, almost like a skid pad layout. It's like all those Polish, uh, like the Drift Masters rounds, where they're like really simple layouts, but. Recalculating route. In 200 yards. You know, I said that two had the better map, and I'd have to go back and play two. But this one's pretty good too. In 400 yards, turn right. Oh, my bad. Turn right. Two was Rally. Uh, no. Two was the one in Europe that was like Southern Europe. So Southern Italy, Southern France. It was like Monaco, but not really. I think the main, the main place was Nice, which is just outside of Monaco. But it had like a little bit of everything and the cars, like the physics were better, which is why I liked it, but. Um, but the more I play this, the more I'm used to how the cars drive. Like, like I said, it's weird not having that much rumble through the controller when things happen. But once you get used to it, it's not that bad at all. I think I was just being a child about it. A bone rattling redeem. So me, when I do this, I'm glad I did not buy the Celine. I was going to get, I was going to get, I was like, I saw the S7 and went, I want one real bad. I want one real bad, but it's, I think it's the OP car from this era, so I'm not going to buy it. No, it turns out I'm about to get it. Well, not about to get it if this takes me a couple tries. But we shall see. I thought that was a mustard bottle. I was like, what? Nope. 
No. I I don't think the the Bugattis were ever that good in terms of like meta because they were so heavy and handled so bad. And And if I recall, somebody who like actually gave a shit can probably vibe check me on this. I don't know. But I think all wheel drive was the opposite of what it is now. Is it like sent your PI through the roof so you didn't really want to all wheel drive swap stuff? Not that you could in this game, but. So everything all wheel drive like just understeered, drove worse. Unless you were on off doing off road, and there's not a whole lot of off road in this game. So I think the Bugatti was like fastest in a straight line, but because it handled so shit, I think the S7 was the best car in the game. See what I mean, though? Like, I'm now in a race car. I'm now in a supercar. It's taken 15 or 20 in-game hours or so. And it feels like I've earned it, first of all. I, I tried. It feels like I've earned it, first of all. Secondly, the roads are actually still fun to drive on. That's a big problem with, new, with not even just Forza, but newer games being built around the, like, the end game cars, and then you have to drive, like, I can't fucking stand. That's, that took an embarrassing amount of time. Uh, I don't like newer games, like, uh, it's not newer, but Hot Pursuit, the newer Hot Pursuit game. With, with end game cars, that game does come alive. When you just start out single player, driving, like, an RX-8 on these roads would be boring as shit. But because I'm doing 190, it makes these roads a lot more fun. So you put the slow cars on the slower parts of the map and have the fast cars do these connecting roads that are actually fun to do at 180, 190 miles an hour. Oh. My wing! Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Give me... I like pennies. Do me a favor. Let's keep this between ourselves, huh? I'm literally, I'm literally broadcasting it on the internet right now, Haley. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Haley will be with hey, you. I'm turning to the right. I am turning to the right. What do you? I'm joking. <laughs> What's up, Rachel? But that's what I mean. Like, 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 for a lot of the A class stuff, you have like this is obviously like a little racetrack. Um, this is like another version of that little racetrack. Um, there's like uh point to points. It, it the map seems because you can't just drive everywhere. It seems so much more thought out. That could just be placebo, but it very much just seems like they they, they knew what they were doing, and like even the, these little dirt roads, right, are a lot of fun. But there's so many games now that the, even the starter cars, which are like way faster than the starter cars in this game, um, Coda is tomorrow. But they just did Bristol. What? Is there like a holiday or something? Okay, so it, I, it just feels well balanced. Because you can always take like a... Go to restart tomorrow. I probably will not be playing iRacing all week. I don't think I'm going to have the time. We're doing a, a WRC tomorrow. That's going to be fun. And I'm taking Friday off to, to do a DJ thing.
like, I, I feel bad, because it's, I'm in a weird, like, catch-22 with, with the sim, I guess, where I do want to do stuff on iRacing more often, but I feel like to do what I want to do with iRacing, doing the Sebring 12, uh, that was this weekend in iRacing. Oh, no, 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 I'm done, I'm done, it was the real one. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I actively said I did not want to do it. It didn't. It went really bad last year, and uh, especially with the threat of rain, I have no interest in doing it this year. To everybody who's gonna do it this year, I wish you nothing but the best of luck. But I'm, I'm, I'm good. Um, but like, I, I want to do more i racing. But I want to do more i racing to the point of like, I want to be competitive in the stuff I want to do. And to do that, I would have to stream it three, four, five times a week. And I'm not a, I'm not a main game kind of person. That's, uh, I did that with Forza and it drove me insane. Um, so like I do love iRacing and want to do more of it and involve myself in more of the community, but I just don't want to commit to it that much. Like jumping on to do officials one day a week, I will get bopped and I'll get upset about it. And I feel bad because I have like opportunities to commentate for iRacing and like do stuff within the iRacing community and I feel like I don't represent the community as well as I could but it's not that I don't like iRacing it's just I don't want that to be the only thing that I do I've done that before and it drove me crazy I will however make an exception the week the the weekly challenges is the pro 2 truck at Gilles Villeneuve in Montreal. That will be a major, because that, that's going official. That will be an exception. Amazing work. This gold wristband means you're one of the the week before, it's the Legends cars, like the little ones at Sonoma. There's going to be a bang or two weeks. Six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, sixteen races. All right, we're on the last tier. I feel like there's so much, like little to do, but so much to do at the same time. Another thing too, like this is strictly like uh, uh, I think it would get better the more I did it. More people now, like I did i racing rain basically the whole week. And I don't know if it's because everybody was streaming Rain at, at the same time. So people went to, like, their favorite iRacing streamers. But I had more success streaming Gran Turismo 3 than I have with iRacing. Like, more people watch me do, like, wacky or silly old old games. we only done 7% of progression. What the hell? I guess I've done none of the street races. And I don't know. We'll see. Um... But the viewership and, like, the activity in chat seem to be way better when I'm doing anything that isn't iRacing. I enjoy it. I have fun playing it. I have fun watching it. Like, some of my favorite streamers, like Rudy, um, Brennan. I, uh, Ryan's getting back into it now, maybe. Um, all, that's what they do. And I love their channels. I love watching their shit. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's not meant for me. I Again, I just feel bad. See, Matt, like, I, I get to work on stuff like, uh... It's not even GT3 specifically. Like, I'm just using that as an excuse. Like, I'll get more people hanging out with me doing, a, like, a speed run than IR. I also don't do, like, popular stuff in iRacing, though, to be fair. Like, I don't do GT3s. I don't do Oval at all. Um, I'll do, like, shitty, like, PCC or, like... Um, touring cars or like stuff that really doesn't have a huge following and then dirt road which nobody does my thought process is I'm gonna try and 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 show people this but yeah like once in a blue moon race crown but it's not beat scops I, no you're thinking of core and I did I did core this year but I did only did the road course and I won I wish I would have saved the VOD the big dumb idiot I forgot I got ass packed by Brad Perez and then won. I fended off Ryan Ryan Vargas due to a giga 
uh, shut up. Due to a Giga strategy call from Cisco after I got spun out. Yeah, I just like dri I like driving stuff pop that I can get into and be semi competitive without trying super hard. So like F fours and s super formulas and um. GT3 and GT4, like, I want to get into LMP3 for the longest time. My confidence cannot handle being, like, that far off in speed. Even in fixed. Like, I can't do it. Like, it makes me feel like I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm doing. Um... So, I, I don't have the heart. I think all the bike... <laughs> Like, I don't think I have the heart to just, like, accept my I rating is going to go down to, like, sub 2K, and then I'm going to be competitive again in what I want to do. I'm just, my, I'm too competitive. Like, I hate getting into a, into a rookie race or, like, a lower rank race, doing practice and feeling good about, like, my speed, and then going in and being two seconds off. And I know why I'm two seconds off. I'm just mad about it. It's a new account. Eh. I have another account. I just don't want to buy everything all over again. Okay. The only reason I use my alt... Oh, oh we're de racing now. All eyes are now back on the, real celebrity. the only reason I have an alt account is for, like, lower... Like, when I needed to go to the Daytona 24 and be in the same split as Ian. I didn't want to tank my main account, so I made another account and just got the I rating up instead, which was... The legal air quotes way of doing that, I guess. Ow. No, uh, I was doing Daytona 24, and I was doing it solo, but it wanted to be in the same split as my, uh, as Chevette or Ian. Uh, he, like, he's really good, but he just never plays iRacing anymore. And obviously, the, the average IR has gone up from where... Like, 2K used to be above average, and it's not quite above average anymore on road. Um, so instead of tanking my main account, which I would have been upset about, uh, and is technically against the rules, I made a new account and just got it up to where he was. Apparently dirt cheap now. It would not surprise me if the four-wheel drive system on, the, on those just did not work anymore. Like, fell apart. The first time. Let's go. I think, I think if I, like, averaged out, I'd probably be, like, a 2100 driver now. Charlie Keen? Isn't the Tiger Blood guy? Yeah, Pop, and like that, you said it earlier, that's another thing too, is like when I'm racing, I can't like read every chat message. Most most people get it, but there's absolutely some people that if I'm not responding to every chat message, or most of chat, they get upset and they leave. Take care, be well, I'm out. Like, I try, but if I'm in a battle or, like, especially when I'm doing, like, esportsy stuff, like, leagues and whatever, I'm sweating. Like, like the Pro 2 Series is coming back with Racecraft. Racecraft Rallycross new season just got announced. I don't know if I'm going to do Rallycross, but the trucks for sure. And I, it's people who stream iRacing racing every day don't need to practice as much, I think, maybe. I feel like I got to practice for an hour or two before I'm even somewhat competitive in, like, fixed Ferrari or, like, little stuff. And I don't know. It's not fun to run around alone in fifth when you're two seconds a lap slower than the top five and a second a lap faster than everyone behind you. 
or run GT3s and just get absolutely fucking demolished by everybody. So I, I think I have to pull my head out of my ass and just accept that it's going to be worse, but I don't know. I also have a lot of fun like play, going back and playing older video games and doing what I do here. I enjoy it a lot. Once, uh, once I've got her uh, Motorsport 2 done and don't have to like super focus on getting Let's Plays done, then I don't know. Maybe we'll think about it. Must be front wheel drive. I think I've got a Civic that'll fit those Turn qualities. When it is safe to do so. One of the like again, one of the big things too is I said this earlier. I shouldn't still be talking about this, but hey, here we are. For those who weren't around, I used to just play Forza Motorsport. That's it. That was my main game, either Motorsport or Horizon. Um, if I got to, and I was I had a job at the time, so I would usually stream between three and five days a week. It was more like three or four if I could do it. Um, I do like two days. Of, oh my god! Ow! I'm dead. I do like two days of Horizon. I would do two days of motorsport, whether that was drift practice, comps, um, uh, just general like dailies, weeklies, open lobbies. It was just Forza. And I genuinely hated it towards the end. I was like, it'd be I'm like, okay, we got to play Horizon 4 today because that's what I scheduled. I'm like, well, and I was not having fun at all towards the end of it. Um, just because I've been like in the franchise for so long and not into it anymore that And then I would try to do like stream eye racing and Nobody would show up or like anything that wasn't Forza or drifting related. Nobody was interested I'm in a really fortunate position now that like I had a normal amount of people watching the stream when I was playing sneak king You're halfway to becoming a household name. Go for it I wouldn't want to uh, I wouldn't want to go back to doing one main thing even though that's probably the way to do it I wouldn't want to go back to that so I'm, I'm afraid that I'm gonna get burnt out and hate it again but then people are gonna be like well that's what we want to watch though what are you now a, a miserable old man hi Taylor Was Sebring good? Again, I was... Every time I had a minute, I checked my phone. Oh, my God! The twink that sells me weed was at the wrestling. I got twink jump scared. No, there's like... I mean, this has a little bit of streamathon lore, I guess. Um, sorry, Mini. But there was a there, like the dispensary close to my house. There's a dude that works there. Uh, that's always super nice and gives me discounts and shit. Even though I'm, like, I you get a ten percent discount if you reorder the same thing within a month, and he just gives it to me all the time because I I make a point to go to this store other than like the other stores around it. Um, and like every time I go in there we end up talking for like 10-15 minutes and I thought he was just being nice like fishing for tips or something or like just being a like a, a good customer service worker but then I people walked in he's like yeah uh, people are coming in I, I'll talk to you another time I'm like alright man bye and I checked my phone around the corner and no it was just two random dudes, and he was like, yeah, no, what do you want? Like, just, like, not rude, but he was definitely being nicer to me. So, okay. And I bought weed off him, like, two days ago and let it simmer. Last night, I take a pee, and I'm going to get another beer for... I was going to go get a third beer. I was like, I probably shouldn't have three beers, so I got to drive. So I'm on the way back to my seat, and I just hear, Keenan! What? And I was, like, nervous. I turn around, and I'm like looking for like one of my friends faces and I see him wave at me I'm like what the fuck he's like I didn't expect to see you here I'm like you were the last person I thought I was going to see here so 
when I go get drugs again, I'm going to have be able to talk to him about the wrestling. Can you dig the long Dennis Ducka? I, I'm so happy that made TV. All of our funny jokes got on TV immediately. I was holding up Taz for a while, too, and every time anything happened, I like, pretended he was reacting to things. We put Taz between me and Will and just, like, put him at, a, a, like, eye line. Pop, I went to an AEW taping last night with a sign that said Long Dennis Section, and it was on TV frequently. Nick, I have not made a new real-life friend in a long time. I, I work from home. I don't... Are all of my favorite bars and places got closed down over COVID. I don't really go anywhere. I don't really hang out with people. I don't do anything. So ma making a new friend was... Very cool. Yeah, they were, they were watching the, the event live. There are screenshots. Yeah, I tweeted one last night. Uh, I think this car... I think... I'm not sure, but I think... It scales. Like, the AI gets harder the farther along in the campaign you go, which is cool. No, new forces don't do that. Um... Because I was able to win things with a 550 car pretty easily. And I am uh, in another league now. So I'm going to go back and upgrade that car. Where's the garage? This one? There was a wrestler called Shibata. And I had a sign that says, let's go Chibata, like the bun. But that did not make it on stream. So how's it going? There, and there's also a, a, a trio of like goth daddies. that I had a sign that said, too spooky, but... I didn't fill up the back half with another thing, and I didn't want to carry two signs around all night, so I left that one in the car. The stadium is half full. There's no other, like, arena they could have done that in in the city. Also, the one half of the arena is all TV stuff, and the tickets where we sat were, like, the same price as sitting in the boonies in the middle of nowhere. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know why they would, not because it's like an unaccepting group of people, it's just like that's not... I'm sure people have, I don't know though. I was like, there's too, there's too many people who do not care. And wrestling is already like a, a kind of haven for odd people. I say that as a compliment, not derogatory. Like, there's no way. Man, I should look to see if I've actually upgraded the car before I waste all my money on other shit. Well, that'll have to do. Yeah, I feel like you're paying a lot of money to not see anything be in the dark and hot. That dude... That's one of the commentators. His name is Taz. Uh, it's probably, and that version of him is from Botchamania, which is like, they, uh, what do you call it? They show, like, wrestling fails and stuff, I guess. Um, hot? Yeah, we were in an arena with, like, 6,000 people. It's going to be warm in there. A&W, A&W, that's a hamburger. It's still on TNT. Yeah, I wanted to write insipid Taz commentary on a sign to sit next to Will with the Taz. On the way there, I realized Taz does not commentate uh, collision.
the food here is pretty decent. Is the burgers are like I don't know how to describe it. They're like dry. I can't tell you how much I enjoy humiliating upstarts like That's yourself. Are you incorrect? I mean, I don't know about modern day NASCAR fans, but back in the day, the NWO sponsored a car. There is a wrestler called. Sp oh, there he goes. Oh, Win Steve Winfield is dead in the turn one wall. Thanks for reminding me, RK. Appreciate it. I think people like like motorsport, specifically the circle motorsport. The same reasons they like um what do you call it they like uh the wrestle it's like the drama right excuse me excuse me pardon me excuse me like, there's good guys and bad guys, and sometimes the good guy turns out to be a bad guy, and sometimes the bad guy beats the good guy, and there's stories that play that play out over the over the year. Like, what what is Dale Earnhardt if not just NASCAR's Steve Austin? What is Steve Austin if not just Na WWF's Dale Earnhardt? In the 90s, there was a ton of overlap. I don't know about now, but... I don't know. I think the more modern uh, fan actually cares about the racing now more than in the 2000s. But I also have not been a child in 25 years. What's up, Adam? Yeah, I mean, what's what's indies are a lot goofier and sometimes more violent than the stuff that's on TV. You can get away with being silly when you're not on the TV. Why is there like stripes? I did not put those stripes there. Enjoy Rast. Dude, I I thought I knew I was gonna like it. Because I've been a more or less a, oh he died again! He's he's honestly he's sleeping. Honk shoo me 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 me. Um, but I've been a lifelong wrestling fan. I've been watching since uh, the start of the Ruthless Aggression era. My parents would not let me watch anything in the Attitude era, but my mom started to concede. Um, like 2005-ish, so like... Um... Right about when John Cena was like actually getting big with Thugonomics is when I started watching, and I was a big John Cena fan as a kid. Like, totally believed it. Was it that Tyler Breeze? But I think a couple people do that now. But being able to, I didn't think I would enjoy it as much live. Like, I've been to a, a couple of like car races live. Like, I've been to the Molson Indian stuff. And being able to see one part of the racetrack was not as cool as being able to see every part of the racetrack from multiple camera angles and have, like... Uh, what do you call it? Having, like, details and, like, stuff, like, on the screen showing you what's going on and commentators explaining what's happening and... But being able to, like, heckle the wrestlers a little bit and, like, not say anything super insulting. Like, I told the... I yelled at one of the one of the lawyers. I yelled at Smart Mark Sterling because it was doing Ring of Honor before. 
that he looks like he wears a schmedium, and then he turned around and looked at me and said, put the hamburger, hamburger meat away, buddy. Nobody wants to see that. And he turned around like, buy some pants that fit, you bozo. <laughs> like, just saying, like, nonsense. And then have every, everyone around you getting into it and, like, being able to turn around and, like, talk about what you just saw with people there. Like, it was really cool. Would I, would I go to, like, a, a regular-ass TV taping again? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't want to, like, yell anything during the main show, but I was silly during Ring of Honor. JD Drake came out, and I'm like, you look like you sit when you pee! We're getting fucked again. Uh, a wrestler called Taya Valkyrie came out, and she was wearing, like, a red leather... Uh, like, what do you call the thing supervillains wear? It's like a jacket, but like a cape, like a cape jacket type thing. She's wearing one of those. Um, a trench coat, that's the one. And she had bright yellow hair. And I was like, why do you look like ketchup and mustard? And she was on the, she was trying to give a promo. So she's in the ring and like explaining something or whatever. I'm like, who peed in your hair? It doesn't look good, Taya. There's a guy whose like nickname was Big Shoddy and he kept beating up the other dude. So I'm like, more like Big Shitty, like, Basically getting free reign to be a goober, like, was really fun. I didn't do anything egregious. I didn't throw anything or, like, say a bunch of slurs or whatever, you know? Got picked up on camera. I mean, we won't know until next week, and it was Ring of Honor, so they could very well edit it. But I, I knew it was quiet. There was nobody there, so I just started yelling shit. There was, I think, Kira, Kira Hogan versus Diamante match. And at one point, like, one of them's getting beat up. I'm like, you should kick her. She's never going to see it coming. And then the other person kicked her. I went, no, not you. <laughs> like, I was just yelling shit, dude. I was so into it towards the end. I had to be a bit of a bully here. Like, I was so nervous of the, the, the idea of going to, like, a local, like, an indie fed. But the, a lot of the people I was sitting around were, like, regulars to that those shows. And they all seemed like really cool people. What's up, Joy Man? How you doing? Ow. I can't believe Tom Scott's in the video game. Well, I figured it'd be like, I, I don't really want to go and make friends, dude. Like, I just want to go watch a wrestle and, like, being invested in the story and, and, like, knowing the characters is a big part of wrestling to me. Like, there's a reason I don't watch New Japan because it's really good wrestling. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know, I don't know who's who. I don't know whose deal is whose. So going to, like, an indie fed, I'd have a lot to, like, catch up with and not, and not a whole lot of time. And I, I've explained it before. I was in a Walmart wearing a Macho Man shirt. And some guy stopped, like, stopped, like, Macho Man's big, bigger than wrestling, I think. Not as big as Hogan, but, like, I think it's bigger, he's bigger than wrestling. Like, I bought it because he had a picture of his face that said, ooh, yeah, on it. Like, I was not actively watching wrestling at the time. And some guy stopped me in the Walmart and was like, Oh, you like wrestling, huh? I was like, yeah, I used to watch it a bunch as a kid. I don't really watch much anymore. I just bought the shirt because it was funny. Yeah. Um, he was like, well, you should come to one of our local like local stuff. And it made me feel like like we were immediately best friends. I was like, I don't know. If I go to an indie fed, 
I kind of just want to like enjoy it at my own pace and if I want to make friends I'll make friends I mean every indie is different to be fair but that one interaction I was like I don't want to go to this indie fed now I have no interest in going But going last night and seeing the people that, like, there was a guy from C4 that was a jobber in one of the, oh, oh, that works, yeah, <laughs> legal, fair and balanced. Did you ever do, I've got all of them but one now, I think. Um, but yeah, seeing all those people last night, it seems like a good group of people. I don't, I still don't think I'd go, but if I could be talked into it now, I think. Listen up, there's more races with your name on them at Gladstone. Can you stop getting more races? Actually, there's so many. There's an overwhelming amount, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know how to check in how many barn finds I have left, and I don't even know. I don't remember how they unlock either. Do I have a car? I must have a car for that. But yeah, the, the whole TLDR from everything I just said was like, if you are interested in wrestling and like wanted to go to an IRL show and been on the fence, just go. It's fun. I don't know if I'd ever go to like just a regular TV taping again, but Oh, I'm good. We're good. We're fine But like me and Will had the genuine serious conversation of going to Toronto and trying to go to that dynamite next week and watch Christian and Ed beat the shit out of each other RK I thought I was gonna have to like try I went back and watched some of the highlights on YouTube. We were on TV like every three seconds. Like, those were prime seats. I think, I think, I think Edge is turning. You're not allowed to enter that car. I, I think Edge is going to turn. Your car is way too good for this event. Oh, for You'll fuck. Will let you enter. It's oh, no, that's stock, you buffoons. That would have been nice to know. I'm sure he's going to win the title. I think he's turning, dude. I said this to Will last night. If he was just going to beat up Christian and take... Oh, it is an S-Class car. Interesting. If he was just going to beat up Christian and take the title, he would have done it already. I think they've stretched out this long because he's going to turn and join the patriarchy. Source, my gut feeling. I think they're not going to wait around for him to be boring as a face. They're going to switch him before he gets to that point. Because this has to be like like the beginning of the end of their story at least. Because they've been feuding for a while now. And I don't know if it's going to make it to August. Hey. Hey. Patriarchy. I mean, like me neither. But what? What if? What if Adam Copeland? Oh, these are cool. Was this just make make it look like a regular Porsche front end? Then did not know Abplug made uh, parts for this car. Oh, the American bumper. Get out of here. I think we'll have the power to wait. but it's going to be all wobbly.
I don't know. I think something's happening. I don't think it's just going to be a, a, a match and they wrestle and somebody wins. Like, I think something is happening at that, at that match. That's my, that's my best guess. Like, somebody's turning or someone's debuting or something's happening. At, come to think of it, I don't know if they'd have Edge or Adam Goodwin turn in his hometown. I, I don't know if that's the best idea. But I don't know. Who knows? Something's got to happen, though. <laughs> It's going to be the wildest match we've seen those two in together since probably like TLC. I hope. Yeah, that was funny. He came back out after and put on Evil Uno's uh, fucking vest. He was, like, going to do this thing. I felt so bad for him. He was going to do this thing where he would go to kids in the crowd and, like, ask them who they were, how old they were, and, like, kind of get them involved because the show was over. The first kid he asked um, was not had nonverbal autism. And I, that's not me just coming up with that. Like, his parent was right there, or his, whoever, the sister or somebody. He was like, yeah, he doesn't really talk. He's got autism. He was like, you're doing amazing. And then immediately handed the mic off to Uno. And he was like, um, I was out of material. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Turn right. You have arrived at your destination. I, I'm loving. I wish I would have had a chance to walk down there and say something. Because, like, Edge was, like, my dude growing up. Whether he was a heel or a face, I loved him. I loved Lita, too, even when they were bad people. Um, when he retired, I cried. When he came back, I cried. Uh, so this, like, unhinged arc. Where he's like, yeah, you know, I know your real name, and you're, whoever you are is dead. And I'm going to fucking beat the crap out of you with a two-by-four with nails sticking out of it. Like, he's just tweaked out of his mind. I love this, whatever he's doing right now. Yeah, so how about you try to be a little competitive? Yeah, before you flunk out? Dude, you bought that shirt at Walmart. You take that back. I don't know. I'm stoked. Oh, and that's like in three days, too. Sweet. Listen, Mitch, there's nothing wrong with shopping at Walmart. There's a lot wrong with shopping at Walmart and pretending like you don't. I buy my underwear at Walmart now. They're, they're good deals. They're breathable. I'm a fruit of the loom man. My only exception for that rule is Corvette owners, because it's just, in, they're an easy target. The white New Balances, the Wrangler jeans that are like two sizes too big. Oh, fucking winga dinga 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 good times. Like, it's, I'm sorry. Why though? Aerotesh. <laughs> I'm stunned that's a real account. Hello. Welcome to Aerotag. Up. Oh! I hope that's an active Twitch user and they get to see in their notifications they were shouted out at twitch.tv slash aerotech and they're like wait a minute yeah, I literally shop at Walmart like two times three times a week 
It's not my favorite grocery store. Because they have, like, some stuff, but not everything. But, like, everything else, like, for my house, I buy there. Why would you go anywhere else? Are they a terrible fucking corporation? Yeah, but, like, just as terrible as every other corporation. So that's kind of a moot point. I didn't mean to fucking destroy him. I wanted to stick the nose in. Maybe give him a little rubs to the rubs key. Walmart and Target. Target existed in Canada for less than a year. Genuinely, I've never seen a corporation fumble the bag as much as they fucked up Target. Canada was so stoked for Target, dude. They were... People... I made a thing today. I'm gonna finish... I'm gonna finish my sentence and then I, so I can get the thought out and then I want to hear about it. So, I got my Xbox One at Target. Because uh, when they were opening up Target where I lived, it was after pre they took pre-orders for the Xbox One. And they opened, like, maybe a week or two. Unrequesting? Okay. Um. Oh, God. Like, the store only opened, like, maybe a couple weeks before the Xbox One was released. So they weren't taking pre-orders. And I needed one for... Because at the time, I played Forza as, like, that was my main game. So I had to make sure I had the new, the new Xbox, the new Forza the day of release and I wasn't cool enough to like get anything from Xbox early so I went to Target and I got off work at like midnight and I was like oh they'll open at 8 I'm gonna have to stay up really late but I like I have no choice so me and my girlfriend parked at in front of the Target at 1 in the morning and waited all night uh, they came out and they they're like hey we're gonna hand out slips uh, so you can go, like, get breakfast and do whatever you want and come back and, like, this is basically a voucher saying, I will be purchasing this console. Uh, anybody want to take a get Target, by the way. How many Xbox Ones they had for purchase on that day? Keep in mind, at the time, it was hype. Like, pre-sales were sold out everywhere right before holiday season. Literally four. They had four Xboxes, two controllers, uh, and a couple copies of, like, the Kinect games. Somebody offered me, like, 700 bucks. Because there was... You couldn't find one anywhere, and this was, like, your last chance to get one before the holiday season. Amazon and shit were, like, not really a thing yet, especially there. Like, you can buy it from Amazon, but it would take weeks to ship. Like, it wasn't what it is now. And Target was like that the entire time that I it existed. Like, they never had stock for anything. The things they did have in stock were, like, the same shit that you could buy at Walmart. Just slightly more expensive. And American Targets make sense to me because they're nicer stores on the inside. Like, they've got slightly nicer stuff for slightly more money. How'd I not get mugged? Because I'm Canadian? <laughs> And they had like we at the but before the store opened, we were all lined up in front of the store. People were just like, "Hey, I, uh, my kid really wants an Xbox One. Whatever it's worth, I'll give you two hundred dollars or a hundred dollars on top of that." I'm like, "I need it for work, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sure somebody sold their Xbox that day." But also, if you didn't figure that out ahead of time, that's on you, mom and dad. Like, sorry. They're like, but my kid seriously needs this for Christmas. I'm like, yeah, but I do this, like, for a living. Like, I'm sorry. At the time, I didn't. I was lying, but they didn't know that. Darius. I'm telling a story, Darius. Well, it's always, yep, pretty much. Same thing where I grew up. The Sudbury one was, uh, was an armpit. Like, it still looked just as shitty as any other Walmart on the inside. So it's not like it was just a nicer store and you pay a little bit more money to have a nicer shopping experience. Nope. It was like, what if Walmart had no stock in anything ever at all? Like, I went out of my way to go to Target just because it was new and then walked in there and nine times out of ten walked out and went right to the Walmart across the street. Yep, my Target took over the old Zellers. I've never seen it, Nick. I think I, uh, I camped out for, for Halo and that was it.
and the Halo was midnight. Where I grew up in Sudbury, there was a bylaw saying stores were not allowed to do that. So, like, we would go to, like, GameStop at 2 in the morning because they would open early. That's They could open early, but they couldn't open, like, at midnight, uh, do their launch, and then close again. They, they didn't let you do that. So, like, Modern Warfare 2, I remember there was probably 200 of us, maybe more, standing outside of our mall in, like, November in northern Ontario, and it was freezing. I'm like, why not? City bylaw. I have no other answer for you other than that. It was stupid, and people tried to get it fixed, and they just never budged. Um, stores are, were also not allowed to be open on Boxing Day on the 26th. Just not allowed. So people used to drive an hour to North Bay to do their Boxing Day shopping, which is basically like, uh, like the Canadian equivalent of um, uh, Black Friday. Yeah, it's just weird northern, like, bylaws and, like, this is the way we've always done it. You know how, like, there's some, some like, dry counties in the States? They're like, why is that? You're like, I don't know. It's just a thing. That's the way it is. Part of the reason I fucking moved. <laughs> I see Rick posting. Oh, my God. Goods and happiness in your community. Cisco, that's incredible. He made a, a like a, a Euro truck company called Crash Breaker. Actually, fucking in incredible. Boxing Day is. It's literally just the the the, the twenty sixth, the day after Christmas Day. Um. Everything goes on sale. It's the same as, as Black Friday, kind of. But it's also the same as Black Friday now, where it's Boxing Week sales. So instead of, like, a bunch of shit being super discounted, it's like everything's 10% off. Like, it, it, it sucks equally. Also, we also we get Black Friday sales now. We used to not get Black Friday sales before. Turn left. Yeah, Prime Day soonish, right? But even Prime Day, all the stuff I want is not on sale, and all the stuff I don't want is on Giga Sale. And then there's just, like, weird knick-knack shit that I don't care about. Now, I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, like, Commonwealth thing, Wander. So, like... British and British adjacent. That's a wall. To be fair, I don't know if the, uh, the U.S. also does sales on the 26th or after Christmas and just doesn't call them Boxing Day. I always thought it was just like the name. Oh, it's big points, though. You don't really? Huh. Which is weird, because, like, everybody gets gift cards and shit for Christmas, right? So you would think. Or money, or whatever. Isn't there only six cars? There's eight. Okay, not bad. Okay. Yeah, now, now they're like just as mid as every other big sale. Sometimes there's like one item in the store that's like the big discount and you're like holy shit so you go to get that item it's sold out by the time you get there and then there's just a bunch of other things but sometimes there's like random stuff that is on giga sale like sometimes there's games that are cheap but uh nothing it's never normally anything you'd actually want 
It's all like, well, I'm here, and last year's NHL is at like nine dollars. I guess I'll buy it because I'm here. Which I think is the logic, right? Like everyone's going to return like Christmas gifts or whatever. But at, while you're here, why not use that return money to buy this TV that's 15% off? Out of the way, Winfield! I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I thought that said rat. Oh, my wall. See what I mean? Like with the R3 stuff, all of a sudden the tracks just are the... The races get really long. Like the roads, and they're long and open and way more faster corners. So cars with a ton of downforce are more fun to drive. But race cars are still fun to drive slowly. Like, on narrow tracks or small, like, technical areas. Like, it's still fun to do that. In, in a video game, at least. I think that's where, like, a lot of modern race co racing game track design gets... Especially open-world racing game track design gets lost in the sauce. It's like, no, you want to be doing 200 miles an hour. It's like, well, yes, at some point... Get fucked, asshole. I didn't want to do that, but... I gotta fix the tune on this car, but you can't tune in this game, I forgot. Um, yeah, I think Mitch, Mitch actually made a good point earlier. I said, I don't know, but I think I changed my mind. I'd rather take an LMP car around the Nürburgring than, like, a Mazda Cup car around Daytona Oval. You know? Maybe that's not the best analogy, but you know, I think you know what I mean by that. Like, I'd rather take a car that's way too fast for where you're driving it, because you're like, oh, shit, oh, my God, 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 oh, my God. Listen up, there's more races with your name on it. was literally just on. one. Um, then just be full throttle for, like, three minutes. And a lot of time with AI, too, like, they're just a little bit faster than you, so if you don't get, like, a giga start, you're fucked. Where am I? Let's race here. R2! I'm gonna have to go car shopping. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Also, I'd like to point out Miatas at Daytona Oval, if you had like 40 of them, would be based. But I'm speaking within like this particular video game logic. It also helps, just helps with progression, you know what I mean? If you have tracks that are more suited to, like... Like that one track in the in the little town area, where you drive through, like, the, the, the park. That's so small uh, and twisty that little shit boxes are really fun to drive there. That car isn't eligible for this event. Select another one from your garage. So it made 2,000 or later in R2. Oh, there's an outpost right there. Okay. Well, let's go shopping. If I don't have enough money for whatever piques my interest, I will uh, go do some street races. Yeah, with the suck, probably 140 or so. With the... Okay. 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 R the right idea, but I will die. <laughs> Gumpert, two. Spicy haunts. 
somebody on Instagram today sent me a like a meme where it's like you've been horsed. It's just a picture of a horse doing like a goofy dance. It's like send this to your friends to totally horse them. His brand of humor is very like goofy. And I just kept saying haunts but spelled differently, like over and over and over again. And he was like, Are you okay? I went, Never. Never have been. I've been hit by, I've been struck by truck. Bow! <laughs> uh, uh, I want you. Daddy's got an idea. I think this was pretty good in terms of meta as well. Yeah, the ACRs were I always remember being really good in Forza. Granted, that's like after all we'll drive swapping it and finagling around with it a bit, but. I figured this will be more fun to turn into an R2 car with like an absurd amount of horsepower than it would be to get like the, the Ultima was a good idea. And then I thought of the Renault where like it looks at a bump and just goes goodbye. Like, uh, uh, maybe let's not do that. Maybe, maybe that's a, that, maybe that, that's the objectively the better idea, but I am not brave enough to do that. Okay, I don't think the game's that smart, so I'm just gonna. I wish I had the rally expansion. I'm so sad. At least he had headphones, by the way. Could have been worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was the ACR, then the ACR X. I think this was like, yeah, it's it's the car I thought it was. I think it's exclusively a um, track car. I don't think it was street legal. I think the ACR was like street legal, but meant for track days. This was like the track only one. I think. I love that. Thanks, Forza. Because the oil and cooling is like you add an oil cooler. It adds horsepower, but also weight, so it usually takes your PI down. And then, you just fix it again. Yeah, like, I'm source talking out of my ass, but... I think the ACR was, like, like a Porsche GT3, and then this was the track-only version, like, not street legal. Because, for some reason, in some U.S. states, if you have a roll cage, that means your car is not street legal. Figure that one out. I don't understand. Is there any undiscovered roads in this region? No, I've done my I've done my part. I'll go over here. All right, so we got good power, good grip, good downforce. I I think again, I think this car was pretty good in Forza in this era. This could either be a pro or a con, but it feels like a lot of the cars that are OP in Forza have just been OP forever. Like I did I did some racing in my time in Forza 2 and 4. I did some stuff in some leagues and you know, I get bored of drifting, so I jump around on the hoppers for a bit. Oh, big bounce. Uh, and I swear, all the shit that I remember being good in that era is still good now. Like, every bro- like, every busted car, every, like, way to cheese the PI system is all still somewhat relevant. I don't know on the new- like, the new new Forza, but- Cars that were good in Forza 3 and 4 were still good in 7.
cup spec cars are wild too. Hmm. Like Porsche cup cars are almost faster than GT3 cars in a straight line. That's isn't that nuts? Like isn't that kind of weird to think about? You would assume they'd be way slower. No. Darius driving. Unsurprised. I'm surprised it's not an R1 car. Well, less less downforce and more horsepower. And there's no TCE. There's no ABS. So there's less downforce, more power, and harder to drive. And heavier, I think. It's such a wacky, like, when you really stop and think about, like, one make racing, it's it's very silly. Matt. Skelly, stop hitting me. a bit ambitious. Yeah, for like the purposes of this explanation, we're going to just talk about Porsche, I think. Oh, the fire. The crackhead theory. Is it a theory a crackhead would have, or is it a theory about crackheads? just trying to clear You know, Nick, I think this is the only video game that the ACR X is in. So I'm going to go with probably not that long. I don't even think that's a crackhead theory. I think that's just smart. The Hennessy Venom is such a weird thing to think about. Some some guy in Texas was like, what if we put a big engine in a Lotus? Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be weird? And then did it. Fortunately, the newer Vipers weren't competitive in racing and Dodge didn't put, care to put it in IMSA. Well, this was a cup car. Like, it, it can only race with itself. Like, it's a one-make series. Like, you can't race a... Well, I mean, if there's multi-class, maybe, but you can't race a Porsche cup car against anything else. Well, it's not designed to be made to race anything else. I think there was a, a Dodge GT3 for a while, no? Or whatever they called it. In the... Dodge, like, the... G, the... Viper that came after this one, the Gen 3. It wasn't as successful as the GTS, but... Yeah, they were a thing for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're picking up what I'm putting down here, Mitch. But they were like a thing. I, they've been in Forza, Forza Motorsports before. Everyone made the, uh, the, the number 91 Areca livery on them. I, re I have vivid memories of this. Boobies. 
But a flash, I concur. I like my R2 car. I think we made a good call with this one. I also, I also, at least so far, like the idea that the higher classes are a little bit m less restrictive of what you can choose. I mean, we'll see. But the R3, and that was my first R2 race, but the R3 and the R2 races are a little bit more open. Mature. <laughs> Because they're more more expensive to buy, right? So it's not expecting you to go out and buy like three three million dollar supercars. Again, I could be totally wrong in this one, but I think I have something that fits Turn that bill. When it is safe to do so. Is Zach Speed a, a, an English company or a German company? German? Okay. That I did not know. I thought they were English for the longest time because they did the Capri. In yeah, I watched that whole story about like the VLN V8 Viper. I forget what channel did the uh, did the documentary on that, but I've seen that. But I just forgot if it was uh, a German company or an, an English company racing in Germany, or if it was just a German company. Mount Washington vibes right now. Do I have anything that fits the bill? Oh my God! Do I ever? Good luck, County Squire. Yeah, I needed a car from the pre-60s or pre-70s. And I was going to get, there was a, the GT40 was an option, a couple old Ferraris, but they were too expensive. What's up, Christian? Uh, and I was like, no, nah, I'm going to do this because this is stupid. I still need to do the FD, man. No way. Personally, I'm shocked. Some beef with the stranger. Nah, it ain't worth it, dog. You know that. Nothing, nothing. 13. That's is that is that an IR game position in NIS? Well, I guess it depends on your seating, but. All right, welcome to Rewind Central. All right, we take those then. As long as we don't go negative, we're we're good. 24x. Do you even need fucking A class or anything in Oval? Oh, duh. NIS. No, NIS is an A class. A fixed and A open, I guess. License classes are the biggest scam in iRacing. So stupid. I've heard people brag about being A class before. I'm like, okay. Like, I'm an A-class driver. I'm like, all right. The amount of times I've seen somebody A-class with, like, 1.6 safety rating and sub 1K I rating. It doesn't mean anything. It means you, you ran enough races and didn't totally clean the field out. It's a meaningless statistic. I, racing, I rating itself is already pretty meaningless, but, like, at least it's a genuine gauge of skill. A license level doesn't mean anything. The only reason I got... Dirt Road A, A class because it looks cool with everything being blue. Now I want Dirt Oval A class so I can have A class at everything. So it just it's all symmetric. That's it.
Well, yeah, there used to be so little content that like it took like it took me a long time to get to A and Road. But now it's like there's free shit in almost every uh, in every category. And even if there's not free stuff, you just wait for a week where it does have something you own and time trial the shit out of it and you'll win. Yeah, I forgot that there's actual things worth running in A-Class and Oval. Within a month. A month? I think if, you're, if it's somebody competent on an alt account, you can probably get A-Class in a week. If you do not care about your I rating at all, like... Like, if I took... I think my alt account's at C or B, C or D, C, I think. I think if I took my alt account, I can probably get B class or A class by the end of the week. I'd actually argue I can get A499 by the end of the week. It's not hard. If, I, if you just completely forget that I rating is a statistic, just start from the pits every race. Do all the time trials. Start from the pits every race. Do a lot of the Nurburgring stuff. And underdrive, and you'll easy. Holy shit. Especially an oval too. Just fucking sit at the back. Thank you, Ian. Appreciate you, man. Hope you had a good weekend. Road sports car because of IMSA, right? Shagging wagon. We are in indeed taking the kids to the pool. I may have to admit defeat here on this one, but because it's dirt, I just can't get the exits. It's too heavy. It's got a bunch. Of, if, if this was a road race, we'd be set. Well, like. There's a S2000 and stuff up there, but... Yeah, I mean, mine, like, again, that does not surprise me at all. Like, for a new player who's played other Sims before, like, you're not actively out there. Like, if you're an ACC player or, like, played a bunch of F1, I guess, to a point, and you're not, like, learning how to drive a car with a wheel, uh, just farm A class in everything that you want, and then worry about I rating after. Or farm up to uh, the license that you want to race in. Like if you're not interested in running the new next gen, or you're not interested in running IMSA, get your B or your C class, and get your shit up, and then worry about finishing well. It does not mean a fucking thing. On the topic of that, chat, I have something to announce, I hope. I have retired from iRacing arguments. It's just not worth it. Especially now, like... The amount of times I leave an iRacing session, like, look, I made a friend, is like zero. Somebody will take you out and then unironically say it was your fault. Like, run you over on the brakes, not lift. Like, the most blatant, egregious... Well, you know what, Flash? Transparency? That absolutely had something to do with it. I loved starting arguments on the voice, on voice chat. If there was two people arguing, I would try to get them to hate each other even more. I was such a little shit disturber. So, yes, that has something to do with it. However, like... It's like on like internet arguments, like Twitter arguments. The amount of times too I would like see somebody say something I didn't agree with and try to jump in and just say something. Why? You're not changing that person's mind. Like I love Rudy, right? I love I love Rudy a lot. I I heard him like and it worked ended up working out for him. So I guess like I think the only reason it worked out is because the Nim was in the session, and the guy he was talking with was swearing up a storm. And Nim was like, should you maybe not do that? 
and not curse, and the guy immediately like 180'd and relaxed. But I think in, in the heat of the moment, and on an online video game, you are never going to convince someone that they're wrong and you're right. It's just not possible. I mean, okay. I think that there's, there's a 5 to 10% chance, and I think that's being optimistic. It's just not worth your mental energy. Bitch about it to yourself or on Discord or on your Twitch.tv live stream and report the person and just fucking move on with your life. I've been muting my mic or muting the voice chat in almost every session now in iRacing, and my experience has gotten exponentially better. What is this? Oh, okay. So it's not as restrictive. Must be Italian. Okay, we can do this. Great. See you there. That's what I do. It's kind of sad though. Like my like my favorite part about PCC was going in and just making dick jokes and making friends with people. And like the regulars, like fucking Paolo and the other dude's name I'm forgetting who would throw a temper tantrum anytime anything ever happened to him, and he caused most of the incidents he was in. Uh, Gareth. Like, my favorite part was these dudes just like, uh, I know Jason was a nice dude I used to run into. Jason Ram was a dude I used to run into a lot. And like shit posting and like having somebody get mad at something that was their fault and like having the whole chat unite against them and say that they were small and ugly and very funny. But it's just like, I don't know. It's just like bullies now. How far am I? If I had to guess like high 50s, low 60s, I feel like we're progressing slower than the game is actually like doing. Oh, I'm dumb. It's I was R3. Whatever. It's fine. Guess what? Chicken butt. Fucking got him. I don't know, Flash. I'm, I'm guilty of that, too. We're like... Perfect example. I was doing a mud skipping race the other day. Um, which is like low rookie level, like, and it's for fun. It's week 13. And the one guy was like, everybody just runs me over and like wrecks me every race. This is bullshit. And I went back and watched the incident. I'm like, you turned down in front of that guy. He did not mean to hit you. You just have no spatial awareness. And then immediately I was like, you know what? Not worth it. And I just muted the mic. And I think I unmuted it later because the guy who ended up spinning, coming all the way down the track to recover and killed me was, it looked like they had intent wrecked this dude in question. So I was like, hey, dude, I didn't mean to snap at you earlier. But were you talking about so-and-so? And he's like, why? what? Why? I'm like, because they absolutely look like they hit you on purpose. He's like, no, that's not who I was talking about. I'm like, all right. So the earlier earlier thing, I think it was just a bonehead move. I don't think it was on purpose. This dude looked like he wanted to kill you. I don't know what you did to this guy. And this is the same guy who took me out. Also, like, nine times out of ten when you think something is someone else's fault you'll watch the replay and go oh fuck especially if you're on like a single screen and you can't see that much the amount of times i've like like super pissed at somebody for something and then i'll go back and rewatch it and go oh well you know it was just like a racing incident or like my mistake or not as egregious as i thought it was like they still fucked it up but like it wasn't like a demonic like, they weren't in their room cackling the entire time like a fucking supervillain. It was just like they made a little mistake and shit happens. It, I mean, like, Ian, it's it's 
general, I feel like it's human condition, at least on video games, to blame everybody but you, unless it's like so blatant and obvious it was your fault. Good example, the other day, I was doing a, again, week 13, I was doing a two frame race at uh, Okayama, and I was behind a slower car, and the guy lifted in the middle of the corner for the wreck. I did not lift, and I ran him over. Uh, and I just said, well, I can't, it's not my fault, because they just stopped in front of me. And then somebody went, no, dude, that was totally on you, and I stopped and thought about it. Well, I have, like, 14 other races to do, lady. Uh, I stopped and thought about it. I went, you know what? It was still on the faster car. It was still on me to, like, lift for the wreck. I knew there was a car. I saw he was spinning off circuit, so I wasn't really worried about it. I've got to confess. I've dreamed about this. The uh -huh. final race, eight drivers, you beating Darius and becoming champion. Make it come true. Please. That's, that's weird. That sounds weird. That, that's strange. Cost a million or more. Must be Lamborghini. Okay, so they are still pretty restrictive. I take it back. Let's go that way. But, like, I looked at it a couple more times. And I went, yeah, you know what? It was my responsibility to lift there. But... At the same time, like I'm, I'm not taking full responsibility for this, because the wreck was off screen, like it was off the track, and the guy in front of me lifted in the exit of the middle of the exit of the corner. But he saw the crash, and I didn't. I heard, I heard it on the radio, but I didn't see anything, so I was like, okay, it must be off track then. This dude was just like ah, and got off the throttle because he did see it. So it went, I went from, like, nah, dude, totally 100% your fault to, yeah, there's some things I could have done different. I still think it was a racing incident. Uh, but the context of this particular driver running me off the road twice before that corner, I think, was where I was biased and going, nah, fuck you. I didn't lift because I, you had already pushed me off track twice. But that doesn't really make it okay, right? This event in that car. Do you need to select another one yes. from your garage? But the long and, sh long and short of that story is I just try to keep my mouth shut now until I look at the replay. And even then, like, I have my own biases and whatever. Nine times out of ten an iRacing argument is just not worth it. You're going to come out looking like an idiot regardless of whether you were right or wrong. And the minute you start, like, raising your... Enjoy your Walmart shirt. That's from George, my guy. The minute you start raising your voice and, like, swearing, you've lost. Not that it's about winning and losing an argument anyway, but like, you're not gonna convince somebody's point of view, of your point of view. My 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 special favorite thing is like, people saying that you're mad when they're the ones getting upset. That's something I used to do in Call of Duty all the time. I'm like, you're so mad, bro, and I'd say that while I'm shaking. Like, <laughs> saying you're so mad right now to somebody speaking calmly is just like. I do not know how to get out of this argument while feeling the victor, and if I feel like if I lose this argument, it impacts me as a human being. I remember the the with the Clussy crew, with those British kids. Well, I assume they're from you know they were all UK. I assume they're kids. If not, they're not kids. They were child minded. That was like the best call out because I've been there before. Where I've been so mad that I start shaking and start making typos and just saying nonsense. So I said, dude, you're so mad you're shaking right now. And I'm like, finally, it's not me. So I was not upset at all. Like, we didn't do anything wrong. Like, I was more mad that they were getting on Steve's case because fucking Steve was just out there trying to do his best. And in his DMs now, he's got a bunch of, like, fucking prepubescent kids giving him shit for a mistake that they made. That's why I was mad. I was like, leave my fucking friend alone. He didn't do anything wrong. Like, you made a mistake. Own it. Get ready for the next one. Like, see, brings in a couple weeks. Fucking grow up. Do 
you want to get mad at anybody, get mad at your teammate that spun because they saw a slow car. Dude, having a license and, like, being able to jack off at any point of the day is really, really expanded my brain. Not having a load of cum in my balls at 24 hours a day has really, really changed my worldview. <laughs> Like you can really tell on the internet who nuts on a regular basis and who doesn't. It's funny, I always get like, like stun locked when you hear like 40, 50 year old dudes getting in an argument. And like 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 a petty argument, you know what I mean? Over nothing. Like they got lightly tapped in a street stock race and then they won't let it go, you know? I'm like, that's a guy who sleeps on the couch. <laughs> he asked his wife for a blowjob, she said no, and that's the last time they've been intimate. For the record, shout out to all my ace homies out there. It's it's the people who want to do it but can't, not the people who can do it but choose not to. Mitch, unless it's for money or like the most in, like intentional thing it's not worth it dude like unless it's for big money and even then like i i oh i'm not gonna touch that one actually because that's not my place but i've watched an event recently where it looked it, there was a race for the win and it looked like there was contact that was a little bit more intentional than i think it was and the dude who got wrecked was just like, fuck, whatever. Um, I'm sure he was pissed, but you're, like, pissed in the right channels, right? Oh, let's go down there. I'm sure I've got enough cars to where I don't have to make anything. Um, or, like, if it's a 12-hour race or a 24... Like, if those British kids had taken us out at the end of the Bathurst 20 or 12-hour, I would have been heated. Because, again, it wasn't our fault at all. And if you have to, if your version of, or like week 13 when people are intent wrecking people, that really unbutters my egg roll. That really makes me actually, no joke, very mad. It shouldn't, because it's unranked and there's new sessions every like 20, 30 minutes. But there's people that assume because it's week 13 and it's unranked, they can do whatever they want. So if there's like a fun car track combo that I'm stoked to like not seriously race, but I still try. And there's somebody in there that full throttles everybody turn one like it's Forza. You into this event. That like makes me mad a, a little bit, I think. Uh, I'm going to try the Peugeot again. Let's see if this works. It's like, if your fun is ruining other people's fun, you're not a troll. You're just a child. Or like, you're racing with somebody and you lightly door them by accident and push them like a little bit off track, but they're still right behind you and they can overtake you again. And they just go, fuck you, and bowl you over in the next corner on purpose. Like, you're just a baby. Like, you're an actual baby. I race dirt road, dude. I get hit for passes all the time. But, like, you can rub people back the way, like, you race people the way you want to be raced, and if somebody bumps me out of the way, I will bump them out of the way, but I'm not going to, like, e escalate it. Because it's coming back, you know what I mean? Like, there's no point. With rare exceptions. I've had times where people have, like, clobbered me out of the way two or three times, and I went, you know what? Or, like, bump, tried to bump me out of the way three or four corners in a row, and I'm like, oh, okay, I've had enough. And then they get sent to the Shadow Run. 
I think it was that Roush race at Crandon where some dude had, like, tr tried to take me, like, move me out of the way two or three times. And by the third time, he had finally, like, banged me out of the way. And I was like, okay, nope. <laughs> Next hairpin, I just sent it on him. And I hit him a bit harder than I wanted to. But... I don't want to, like, especially in competitive dirt racing, I don't want people to think they can push me around. So it's more like, like, it's a respect thing. Like, when I'm doing, like, racecraft and, like, leagues and rallycross leagues with the same drivers, I know, like, all it's, especially when it's a, it's a contact sport, like, on dirt road. The second I let one of them bowl me out of the way and don't respond, everybody's going to go, hey, aero is, like, a pushover. And we can race him hard, and it's not going to matter. We'll move him out of the way and get to, like, the real racing. So for me, it's like a respect thing. It's like if I let them walk all over me, they're going to continue walk all over me, walking all over me. But if I fight back, you know, I'm not going to escalate, but I'll, I'll serve you exactly what you served me. They're not going to fucking bonk me out of the way again because they'll, they'll know they're going to get it right back. Especially on new damage model, Ian, like it's perfect now. Because you can throw a slider on, a, on the Pro 4, uh, door the car a little bit, and both of you can still continue on in the race. Before, if you ever, like, especially on the hairpins and shit, tried to throw, like, a door, a door bang on somebody, there is a high probability they will just glitch and flip over. And the race is over. It's like a little bump to get uh, Wild West going uphill. Stick your nose in there, a little tap. They understeer and go wide, and that's the easy pass. Because you can even run wide in the last corner and get the run down the straightaway and, and, and clear them. I'm, I'm using the power of magic. But, like, if I bump you a little bit in that one corner and your response is to, like, throw a tantrum and full throttle me in the next corner, no, you're a child. Like, Does anybody remember the, uh, the off-road all-stars? I'm not going to say the name of the person, but the one person that was knocking people, like, they would get tapped, and then, like, it's like they would immediately go, no, and then get really upset, and instead of lightly tapping somebody back, they would roll them over on purpose, and, like, I remember this dude complained about dirty driving, so I went back in every replay of every off-road All-Stars race, and clipped every instance of, like, if I had protested this, you would have been banned. Or at least gotten a warning, you know what I mean? Like, it was all intentional wrecking or, like, driving people with no respect and... Do I... <laughs> I forget that was a Rallycross quote. Yeah, I'm not going to say who it was. I don't want to give the dude any more attention. But it was somebody who, like, farmed Pro 2 Lights got super high I rating, got invited to All-Stars because he was, like, a Pro 2 light champion, but couldn't drive the Pro 2 or the Pro 4 to save his life. So in the Pro 2 lights, he would do well, and in everything else, he would just get mad that people would bump him out of the way, which is how you drive those, especially the Pro 4. And instead of, like, a light tap as a response, they would just clean them out and then go dirty racing. Yeah, Ian, I don't know when am I ever going to delete this video because I'm waiting for him just to talk shit about me someday. I have a 10 or 15 minute long video on my hard drive that is all just clips of him intent wrecking people the whole season. Yep. Again, I'm not, not like I'm, I just, I saw, I remember I saw one quote because I was like, oh, maybe the dude's just like a hothead, but like still cool. But I remember I, I went into his Instagram once to, like, tag him in a, in a photo because I'd taken a screenshot that he was in. And it was like, yeah, the standards of driving here are terrible and, like, everyone sucks. So I'm like, dude, you are the roughest driver out here by far. By far. Everybody else who's rougher than you is, like, Jim DeChamp, who has no idea what he's doing. Like, he's out there just having fun. He's not intentionally running into people. He's just surviving. You're making a conscious choice to be an asshole. He's not. 
Yeah. And also, gym gets in people's way indiscriminately. Everybody has a gym to champ moment. I, I watched a race back from a couple seasons ago where I was leading at Wild Horse and Jim to champ got in the way and slowed the whole lead pack down to the point where, like, Knup and uh, Drapkin caught us. I had a chance to win a race and it got taken away because of Jim to champ. Did I get mad? No, I went, well, that's my turn to beat the champ and kept going. Like, I didn't even get mad in the moment. I was like, I'm a little frustrated, but it's Jim to champ. What are you going to do? This dude knows better and just chose to not do that. And then went on Instagram and said how he's such a good driver and everyone else isn't good. And I was like, okay. Okay. I've got nothing to do for the next 25 minutes. I'll go back in the replays and look at everything you've done stupid the whole season. I told Leone about it too. I was like, this dude's been complaining about bad driving standards and look at what, look at what he did. He's like, yeah, I know. I don't really want to do anything about it, but yeah, I know. Yeah, he's part of the reason why I don't race Pro 2 Lights in Yes 2 anymore, or in Vortex. Because if we have to race him, you can't. The, the second you do anything to him, he will escalate five times. And, like, completely take it, like, way too far. He takes a light bump, and you're getting flipped the next corner 100%. And the whole race, he'll be after you. You have to treat Dirt Road like a hockey fight. Once you pull away from each other, you're separated from each other, it's over. Unless, like, you get killed. Once the fight's over, it's over. You don't carry it on. Not this guy. Even if you're in a, I'm in a faster truck, I'm worried about him. Like, yep, he's going to pull out in front of me. I know it. I had run into that dude in officials a bunch of times. And, uh... Again, same thing. If you did anything that upset him... Just <laughs> this is the correct choice, I hope. So the only reason you're doing well in Pro 2 Lights is because everyone else is driving other things. <laughs> Paintball on ice. I saw somebody the other day, Aaron, do dodgeball on ice and went, why have we not thought of this before? Yeah, they do the they do the ice not like this, but like this. And just play between the blue lines. It looks so fun. It was S class, right, chat? Means I can probably do the stickies. Like, yes, do I have a bunch of that million kajillion credits now and build whatever I want? Yes, but I put in like 15 hours of time to get here. I want a rally tire. I want this, but like, I don't want it to poke out as much as it pokes out. Hold on. I want to respond to this. I've changed my mind. I saw the message and went, I'll respond to it in a minute, and then realized it came with a picture. My girlfriend has sent me a mirror selfie, and she's very pretty. Sorry. I'm a simp for my wife. I apologize. It will happen again. Clothed. First of all, you maniacs. Just going to the gas station. Nick, I owe that, I owe that woman a lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> 
I will not elaborate because I'll cry. But I owe her a lot. She's she's got her own stuff going on, but I try and like at least once a day, if not once every day or two, just my lo my this is a this is a lot, but I'm gonna try and leave as much detail out of it as possible. My old relationship, I made a lot of mistakes, but I think one of the big ones was not um Oh, yeah, what the hell? You're right. I even said it was A class S class and got totally detracted. Um but I think one of the issues I had was like not uh I could have loved more, you know? Like when I was busy, I just wouldn't text them at all and like instead of be like, "Yeah, I don't really want to like text you if I can only talk to you for like 10 minutes or whatever." And I did that in the beginning of this relationship and was like, this is stupid. Like, how would you feel if someone did that to you? I'm like, I feel really lonely. I'm like, yeah, no shit, dumbass. So even like, if I'm just thinking about her, she's my background on my fucking phone, dude. So even if I'm just thinking about her, if it's nothing, like I had a dream about her this morning and I just go, I love you. That's it. Doesn't have to be a whole thing. I know she's busy. I know she's got stuff going on. And unfortunately she's there and I'm here. There's not a whole lot I can do to help. So I just try to make sure that she knows and she, I can remind her as much as I can. She's got people down there that care about her and are helping, but... Oh, dude, it, I, every time I scroll through Instagram, she's got at least, like, six DMs. <laughs> I grew up, like, thinking it was uncool to just, like, be totally smitten by your partner and you had to be into them but like not into them like, you know how they like teach you dating tips in high school i was like yeah that's how that works right no <laughs> not at all so when we had our first issue with that um i told myself like man even if you haven't texted her in like a couple days if you're thinking about her or like a song comes on that reminds you of her. It just it doesn't have to be a whole paragraph. It doesn't have to be a conversation. It's just I love you. That's all. So I sat there and I thought about it. I'm like the amount of times like I was in a shitty place that if I just looked over at my phone and saw just a random I love you text would brighten my day up. It's something that I used to do all the time. Like, I used to text my partner good... Like, my partner in high school, I used to text him good morning all the time, and... Um, like, be super, super, like, communicative, and then, I guess, to high schoolers, that's a lot. Um, so I pushed a lot of people away doing that. I was like, no, this is the thing you're supposed to do. If they didn't like it, that's their, their, their prerogative. That's fine. Finish my coffee at quarter after 12 at night. I'm making mini pizzas tonight, so dinner will be quick. Dude! I wish there was grocery stores. I would just... I, I wish there was grocery stores open at this hour. It's the only thing I... Like, if there was a 24-hour Walmart, I would never fix my sleep schedule. At least two, Aaron. I need to go get garlic naan and see if that's any better. The pita bread I got is a little bit too thick. It doesn't crisp up as much. Dor said, I don't know if you've been here, but I'm going to say hi anyway. Garlic no, No, like naan. Like naan bread? Like N-A apostrophe A-N? How did AEW go last night? I knew I was going to have a good time. 
but I figured I would just like watch the wrestling and like clap and that's it. I got into it, dude. Like the people standing behind me were like shouting and like cheering and one fall and two and like booing the heels and cheering the faces. So I can only sit there and be a stick in the mud for so It's me. I'm in the orange car. I can only sit there and be a stick in the mud for so long. As soon as I got a text saying like we got Taz and Long Dennis on TV, immediately I was like, this is cool. I love this. I don't think I'd ever like spend a hundred bucks to go to a TV taping again. Like I'd go to a pay-per-view or something, but I had a blast, dude. I stayed for all of Ring of Honor. We didn't leave. I didn't get home until like 1230. I had a ton of fun. I was heckling the, the heels. I told Smart Mark Sterling that he wears a schmedium and that nobody wants to see his hamburger meat. And he turned and looked at me in the crowd and I did this at him. I forget who he manages now, but they like ended up doing a move and he turned around and said, how about that? And like to the crowd and they're all booing him like, your hair is still gray. Go get just for men. That's why they make it. JD Drake was beating up on our local guy and I was like, you look like you sit when you pee. I've never been to a live wrestling show ever, so I had a great time. I had a very fun. Now we get to wait and see if long long Dennis section gets put on Botchamania. So I, I had Long Dennis section. My friend Will Liarwire had the Botchamania Taz with the cry laughing. He went to the bathroom once and I held him up like he was sitting in Will's seat. And anytime anything happened, I was going like, whoa. I went and watched a bit of the uh, House of Black tag match. That's all you could see is Taz in the crowd. It's very funny. Um, somebody had a sign that said Julia Fart. And Saturday night's all right for farting. I think it almost, almost makes me want to go to Raw in July. Almost. Yeah, that was us. I, that was us. That was Tess. That was our Tess. But now we get to see if, uh, if any of that makes like Botchamania or anything. I had a blast, dude. I had a ton of fun. I don't think it's gonna enough to make me want to go start going to our indie fed, a local indie fed, but it was really cool. I'm glad it's something I've always wanted to do, and I'm really glad I got the chance to do it. Cause I did not want to go, and Will was like, "Come on!" I'm like, I don't know, dude. Tickets are kind of expensive. And... Shibata. Okay, no, never mind. I'm gonna go watch. Brian Danielson and some Japanese dude beat the shit out of each other. Guy behind me was trying to get, you're gonna get your fucking head kicked in. Trying to get that chant going and nobody did. He went, they've never watched the show before. And I was like, dude, I'm just awkward. I know exactly what you're referencing. I just don't want to scream it out loud. And then by the end of the show, Big Shoddy came out. I'm like, more like Big Shitty. I was very much obnoxious towards the end of that show. I, I, I'll take the failed pass, but I don't want to lose that much time. We only have 30% left. I, uh, I gotta tell you, it has crossed my mind more than once that I could just drive and go to Dynamite in Toronto. Like, it's just a thing I can do. Like, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. Yeah, they're in my neck of the woods, obviously Saturday, and then they're going to Toronto, which is just a couple hours away, and then they're doing Rampage right after 
uh, dynamite. And then I don't know where they're going after that. Where am I? Okay, is there any other races I can do without having to build anything? Oh, we could do that GTR or something. I hate how awake I am right now. Is my sake is frozen? Are you a warm sake or a cold sake enthusiast? I, I have yet to find sake that I genuinely enjoy. It's the wine taste is way too harsh for me. It's so dry and I'll have the shot and be like, I can't do shots in general though, like whiskey, anything. I always like, someone does a shot of scotch, like mm, the flavor. I do a shot of scotch, but mm, 97 octane. Like, I just don't have the palate. Oh, 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 we, oh, oh, I could stay in this. Sweet. I was like, I got a GTR. I forgot this was S-Class. Floral sakes, although they're more meant to be sipped. Yeah, normally if I go out to like a Japanese place, I'm driving, so I can't, I don't want to fuck with hard liquor. I'll have like a beer, maybe two. But I don't want to start pounding back sake, and then I'm like, oh fuck, I can't feel my legs. Indie cart? What's that even mean? What does that even mean, Darius? You big dummy? bunch of Assetto mods there and that were basically that. They were like Spa and Portimao all scaled down for carts. So same layouts, just tiny. Spa was hilarious because it had like, it was at like 25% size. All the elevation changed though. I mean, the, the mods still exist. I just, like, lost my Assetto file. I had to reinstall everything. Holy moly! Oh! Oh, shit, dude! So I was at... Uh, oh, there's a fly here. Man. Get fucked, asshole. I was at uh, the show last night. Three funny interactions. One I've already said before, where my, uh, not my weed dealer, but uh, the, the, the twink that works at the dispensary by my house recognized me and said hi to me. I am now convinced he's either trying to form a friendship or a winky face. Next time I go in there to buy weed, we'll see what he says. Um... But I got complimented on my fucking hair by some Chad. He's like, nice flow, dude. And I'm like, well, I, I guess that's what this is because I'm wearing a hat, right? So I guess this kind of is what this is. But it's bright purple, so I feel like it doesn't count as a flow, per se. Uh, and then he called me a Gen Zer. In the same breath. I'm getting my ID checked at the, the like, a little beer cart. And uh, he's like, dude, I love your fucking flow, man. I was like, cool, I'm depressed and don't get haircuts. <laughs> Not what I said, but um, I was like, gee, thanks, man. I never like never thought of it as a flow before. And then I'm getting my ID checked, and the guy went, holy shit, 93? And he went, oh, so you're one of those Gen Zers, huh? I'm like, that's not what that means, actually. I I'm, I'm almost certain I'm older than you. You just look like you're 26. I look like I'm 16. 
I was fucking stun locked. I didn't have a bunch of boomers call me a millennial my entire existence when my all my 20s to be called a Gen Zer or a Zoomer. Fuck you. No. I've suffered enough. Wee. Dye my hair purple. Do it. I I did not like this at first. I I I did it on a whim. Uh, I was going to Magfest and my roommate was, uh, was she helps me bleach my hair because I can't do that by myself, especially when it's long. Um, and she's like, I got extra purple dye upstairs if you want to get silly. I was like, fuck it. I haven't dyed my hair in years. Let's do it. Like, the color. Last time I did, it was like lilac, like light purple. So when I would dye it, it would look about this color. But within two or three days, it was basically faded. Like, gone. Uh, and it was like this weird pink... It didn't look good. It did not look good. Um, mine, you're, I think you're either gonna have to find a really good friend or pay someone to do that. Um, like if I need to dye my hair again, I'm gonna go get a cut. I'm gonna keep it long, but like this is getting out of control now. Um, but my roommate dyed it, and it was like bright purple, like the color of your yours, username purple, like fuck off purple. It's like God, I don't know if I like this. It grew on me over the weekend, and like a lot of my friends were like, I didn't tell anybody I was doing it. Yeah, why is there just three random lines down the front of my car all the time? Microsoft. Oh, it's that fly. I got you this time, you little bastard. Long hair is like growing out a beard. You're gonna look a little weird for a bit, but then once you're past like the transitional phase, it looks good. Maybe. Like when my hair is in between short and this length, I look a little weird. But once I can put like, if it's long enough where I can tie it up at the back, that's good, that's good stuff. A big weird, that's what I call my dick, baby. It's the same thing growing out facial hair. Like, I always thought I could never grow a beard because I'd look like a creep. And uh, I just said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not shaving for like a, two months. Let's see what happens. Uh, and the first month, yep, I did look like a creep. But then once it all grows in and you shave it like with a, with a razor to like a uniform size, it looks a lot better. I want to lose a little bit more weight and then try and go baby face again and see if I like it. I got too chubby of a face though. And maybe this week or next week I finally just say fuck it and get that gym membership. I'm tired of waiting for an excuse. I could never. I'd look like my dad. Slur derogatory. Yep, I always shave it a little bit too short, Wanderer, and then let it grow out, and then it looks good. Because when I shave it the length that, that looks good, within like three days, it's too long again. such a fucking fun part of the track. Give it a twink. I've, I've unironically wanted a figure like that since high school. I don't want to be, like, jacked. Like, I have no interest in that. Uh, I just want to be strong enough to hug my friends real tight. That's kind of it. But 
I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people resonate with this. But when you're told that you can't do something for so long, you just don't try. Charlie Keen, I said. It's me! Like, when you have people that you care about and trust say, like, you're weak and you can't do this and it's not for you, and you're like, oh, I guess it isn't. Then you just take their word for it. I don't know. I, 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 I wouldn't mind losing my, my man tit fat. That'd be, that'd be sweet. Uh, I was going to the gym in 2020, and I went to the gym February, like, for about a month and a half with my friend Heather and noticed... I didn't, like, notice physical changes. Is there, like, what I looked like? Size. Um, but health-wise, like, I was going up and down the stairs and I felt better. Like, little things. Like, I felt like I was getting winded less. Um, like, I just felt better physically. I don't know if there was, like, a, like, I was losing weight or whatever, but, like, I felt better. And it was only about a month. And it was so cool to be able to see, like... I did. Th I do 15 minutes of cardio and be winded, and then go back three weeks later and do the exact same cardio and feel fine after. Like breathing heavy, but not like holy shit, that's my day. Dude in mouth. I gotta get a nose hair trimmer, and I'm not happy about that. There's one little scraggly boy in there that just tickles the inside of my nostril, and it's driving me fucking nuts. I, it is driving me bananas. I'm normally always touching my face. It's like a weird thing I have. But. Lemon bars? What does that even mean? Yeah, dude. Like, that's, that's how I started, though, Flash. Was it like, I gotta look stupid for a while, then maybe I won't look as stupid. Viper challenge? I can do that, right? Yep. Uh, is there any roads I need to discover on the way there? No. So I'll fast travel. I have no idea what you're talking about. So no, I've never had them, and I have no clue what they are. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh, like just like a lemon tart. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I probably had what you've had, what you're talking about, but like not the same form factor. Ian, your name's Nick. I, I fucking want, I'd love a fast Audi like this. I see, like, Audis come up on the for sale market all the time that are cheap. And I'm like, dude, you could just, like, they're like five grand. And it's like an, all, old, an old S4 or something. And like, oh, this would be so cool. And I'm like, what if it breaks? Yes, me, you're right. And wouldn't Lloyd be sad? I'm like, Lloyd would be sad. That car isn't eligible for this event. Oh, it's an R2. All right, chat. I need uh, an R2 Viper, an R3 Viper, an R2 car worth more than what? A million, and a R3 Lamborghini Machine, if you can remember that for me, please. Or just type it out in chat so I can solve all that problem right now. An R2 T2, that's the one. R3 Viper, R2 car over a million, and a R3 Lamborghini. Any ideas for the Lambo? Not the Sesto, because that's I feel like that's an obvious choice. Oh, I dude, I love a Mercy. I'm gonna do the Mercy and upgrade it. That's probably not a good idea, but that's what I'm gonna do. Legitimately one of my favorite cars of all time. Again, 
anything that was cool and in Hot Pursuit 2 for the PS2 is like probably I probably like it a lot. And then Daigo made one of these drift. I know it wasn't an SVE, but uh, search. So R2 over a million. Spaghetti car. Spaghetti. The C8s, Aaron, like the new, like the not new but new. I hated them, and then I saw one in real life, and when I've changed my mind, I was like, "These are ugly. I don't like them. The, the proportions weird. It doesn't look like a Corvette at all. I don't like it." Uh, and then I saw one when I was in Charlotte, and just go brrr like up the highway. I went, no, no, I was it. I was the one that was wrong, as it turns out. They have SRT. Yeah, they do. Oh, what? Was this not in Dodge too? Am I am I losing it? Am I a crazy person? I I am a crazy person. Oh, because I had sorted it by like class. That's why. I needed one of these at some point anyway. You already know what it is, baby. I'm gonna get it in a slightly more gray just to be silly. SLS GT3 drift car for D1. I feel like Daigo's more of a car builder than a driver now. Don't hurt me. Is he still good or does he did he does he just make weird shit now? Yeah, I had to do the cover car, right? Well, I didn't have to, but I'm going to. The wing on this actually looks sweet. That's what I mean. Like, if you just have a generic looking wing, it looks a lot better. When you try to add style to it, it's going to work on some cars and really not work on other cars. What's the rear tire? That's that's a lot of meat. I think this was the last game with Forza Arrow that actually looked cool. Well, I wouldn't say cool. It just is there. So it's un it's inoffensive. So it matches most of the cars. So a lot of times when you do have to put Forza Arrow on your car, just to get it you know, to work or get to like, the top of a class or to race online or whatever. Um, it's not like, you know what I mean? It's not going to look as good, but it's it, 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 it does the, the job. I can supercharge it. I will do that, actually. Can I put wheels on it that aren't going to weigh enough to push it into another class? Levels on this car, but I will not. They're too light. No. Damn it. It's kind of racy. Oh, perfect. Some boobus. Yeah, Daigo. Daigo. It, I was going to say he's like the Jimmy Johnson of drifting, but not really. Like, he doesn't even need to be good anymore. He's been in the sport for, like, fucking 30 years. He's driven and won events all over the world in a bunch of different cars. He doesn't need to be good at it anymore. Well, let's like, it'd be, it would help. But I'm going to make the tire size in the, in the rear one size bigger. Uh, it looks it looks like a drag wheel. Is it a 20 in the front? It's an 18 in the front. Why does it look so staggered? 
That's odd. Okay, so we have our Viper. Um... We needed a R2 car, this one. R3 Viper, R2 car with more than a million, which is this. No exhaust upgrades, that's, I'm upset. Ah, that was easy. Uh, I think NHL 94, Aaron. If we're talking about the same thing. Today I learned there's a, on the PS4, there's an NHL 94 remake with a modern roster. And I, I, I'm gonna buy it. I don't know when and I don't know where, but I will. It's like 12 bucks. What's the other car that I bought, chat? I already forgot. So this was the Viper. Oh, the Lamborghini. I actually have to upgrade this. Yeah, I'm going to have to look for the song, the specific song, but they used it in a uh, some they didn't they didn't use it. It was used in a bunch of summoning salt videos. Oh, I should check tire compounds. Yeah. Not making that mistake again. 265 fronts, and then I don't I'm not going to upgrade the rear. Forza is weird, because, like, even though the rear tires are huge on this, and you would think you don't have to actually upgrade it, because you don't upgrade the rear tire, it assumes that, like, the front tire is wider sometimes. This was peak, like... That's why Gran Turismo really surprises me all the time. As somebody who grew up playing Forza, this game is so smart, but the PI system and stuff can be so stupid sometimes. It's not a, it's not foolproof. Again, I could be talking out of my ass, but I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm talking out of my mouth. Yugi boy. Perfect. 10 out of 10 handling and a Lamborghini. I died. Doubtful. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get out of here. So there's not constantly copyrighted music playing and see if I can't find the song that I think you're talking about here. Remember the time I said like three hours ago I was hungry and then I got wrapped up in something and stopped paying attention? Wait, no. I want to go... I, how do I go back to the... Do I hold it? No. Okay. It, it keeps the game running, I think. So I can't have the music... If the music keeps playing in the background, we might get copyrighted. When it's chunks, you're good. I don't think 9 HL 94 summoning salt gets me to what I need. Nope. 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 No. Okay. Uh. Oh, this song's really good. Patricia Tax and stuff that he uses is really good. This song? No. I remember I downloaded the uh that EP. Nope, 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 nope. I think it's a pregame. Yeah, I think it's this one. Negative. No, 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 not at all. Uh, intro scene, maybe? Good Lord, no. Jesus Christ. Where are you hiding? So it wasn't for the Genesis. Okay, here's the Super Nintendo soundtrack. Please, please be the one I'm talking about.
Chad, I might be fucking stupid. I'm 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 looking this up now. Somebody somebody is like I can't see you right. Somebody's screaming at me what this is. So I'm gonna go into the because somebody salts a nice guy and keeps all of like a uh, 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 Google Doc of all the music he uses. I think I remember hearing it in the Donkey Kong video, which is old enough to where he wasn't using like just Control F NHL. Ah, NHL '96, not '94. The menu theme. This. Oh, it's gone. What? NHL 96 menu theme. Is it this one? Yeah, there it is. I'll post the link. It goes so hard. Unnecessary. No need for that at all. Okay. I was like, I gotta look this up because it's gonna bother me. Okay. Uh, oh, that idiot. I want to fast travel and then check the stats. Because we are getting a concerning amount of close to the end of the game. And I also thought it was 94. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Keep in mind, we have done basically none of the street races. We still have two barn finds left. And I don't know when those are going to pop. Uh, we've done none of the PR stunts at all. And I got to imagine that's like a decently sized chunk of uh of percent how do you unlock barn finds in this game do they just happen turn around when it is safe to do so yards, there's none on the map are there sharp left. no No, nothing. Saturn also said that he got almost all the barn finds, and the last one never unlocked for him, so... Keeping that in mind. I was going to say, I feel like we should have all the barn finds now. I thought it was based off of uh, XP. But we, we, I think, are maxed out or almost maxed out. Uh, I thought maybe it was popularity, but no, those were showcases, and we're done all those now. Okay, kid, you've had your 15 minutes of fame. All eyes are now back on the real celebrity. 15? Try like six. Oh, Diablo would have been cool. Shout out to the person with the R3 Kuntash. That's got to be a weapon. My man is driving a coffin. Well, and I hope uh, I hope we figure it out cuz I I that's part of the 100%. I will say that if we're at the end of the game and we're done everything and I'm driving around in circles waiting for a barn find to pop up, you all know what the barn finds are. I'm not concerned with that. If that's the only thing that's not done on that 
Wee. That completion list, I, I can live with that. If there's like some sort of glitch or like a reason where we can't get 100%, I'm not going to like freak out about it. Also, I think if I really, really wanted to, I could save my game in the cloud and then go back and play it on the 360. Like, if I really, really wanted to, I think that will probably fix that problem. Rob Zombie's so underrated. As an artist, not a filmmaker. It's like, he's got some bangers, and then you go look through his music, and it's all, like, it all slaps. Some of it is just, like, sex sounds. I forget what, like, Rob Zombie uh, single, the intro, I think it's more human than human. The intro is just a, the sound of a woman masturbating. That's it. Or getting, getting frigged. I don't know. It is... It is uncomfortable to listen to. Like, I've listened to songs that have, like, a little bit of, like, uh, you know, and, like, that's it. But it's literally, like, 40 seconds or 30 seconds of just someone getting plowed. She enjoys her shampoo. My stomach. What'd you eat? What happened? Oh, uh oh. The crowd are loving you. Yeah, the, I just noticed the like tri, tri stripe lines on every car. Meatballs and spaghetti. How do you fuck that up? Oh, were they like, was the meatballs off, you think? Oh, shit. I can't play this on the 360. Yeah, okay. I've had that issue before, too. I get the toots. Usually it clears up the next day, but... Respect that's that's a low blow. Funny low blow. In four hundred yards, turn left. Turn left. Ow. I was gonna say I can go back, like I can uh put my save on, on the cloud and go play this on the three sixty. I can't. Because I'm using my main gamer tag. So my save game on the three sixty is like 100 percent and it's been 100 percent for years. I'm not touching it. I don't want to overwrite it. Because I'll get rid of all my cars, my save, my vinyl decals, everything. What I guess I can do, again, this is like, if I want to. I, I, I don't, if anybody watching this is going to be like, you don't unlock the last two barn finds, it's not a 100 percent. Suck my dick. Um, what I... If I it bothers me enough to where I want to do it, I can probably put my childhood save on a stick and back it up somewhere, delete it, or overwrite it with this save, get the 100%, put this save back on the cloud, get it back on the three, like this Xbox, and then fix it. Well, I mean, and I gotta tell you, my the one on the 360 is probably mostly drift cars. So I made, I did content on that game way more than I actually played it. But I still like 100%ed it and got everything. That's a wall. You have arrived at your Spaghetti! Sad part is, were they delicious? Dude, I've had, like, rough goes with pre-made meatballs before, too. One of my favorite, like, quick quick weeknight meals is just putting meatballs in a slow cooker with some sort of jarred sauce. Um, Meatballs. 
Blair, you've been hanging around here too much. Um. But, um, I'll just put, like, barbecue sauce or, uh, like, just shitty sweet and sour sauce and pretend like it's chicken balls. And it's a crapshoot, no pun intended, of whether I ride in porcelain. I don't know why, because they come pre-cooked. I don't know why they do that, but I started buying chicken meatballs much better, but they're harder to find. Which is weird, because they're like a main ingredient in Italian wedding soups. I guess if you're making a good Italian wedding soup, you're making all that by hand, to be fair. But. Possible meatballs? Are, are you vegan, vegetarian, or am I making that up? How the fuck? How did I not hit anything? Kind of edge. Okay. I was like, I don't know where I'm getting this from. Look how much faster this track is compared to the stuff we've been racing. So cool. We will change our diets. Fair enough. I was going to say huge on you for, like, doing that with her. But not like you have that much of a choice, I guess. It's like make two sets of meals every night. But the solidarity must be cool, too, like, from her. Yeah, no, that one. Well, Aaron, when will you learn that your actions have consequences? Chad, this time I hit the brakes before the corner. Yeah, the, the, the term wife, I assume, would not be thrown around lightly. I realize, like, referring to your partner, your female or femme partner as your wife, is like an internet thing. And that normal people don't do that. <laughs> and I have to be careful of who I say that around. I mean, years she hasn't killed me yet. You never know. Tomorrow could be the day. Could stink up the shitter, and that could be the thing that the thing that makes her snap. Oh, 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 oh! My, I'm not even married to my roommate, and she yells at me about being a stinky butt all the time. Like, listen, cheese is really good, and it makes me poop a lot. Coffee is really good, and also makes me poop a lot. You should be proud that I have a healthy... Whatever you call that. Poop shoot. Made do mead? I've never wanted to try anything more in my life. It looks so good. I love the, like, hard Mountain Dew. On ice? Chad, I think I'm getting old. I've, I've, I've come to a realization. And it concerns me. And I don't like it. But I think it's true. Soda is better on ice because the ice waters the soda down a little bit. I had a root beer last night with my with my chicken. 
I need to try Malort. I have to. I hope Joe brings some to uh, to Dallas. I was in the airport trying to find like a place that did shots of Malort, but all the places look really fancy. Or not, not like they served alcohol. Cream soda. I mean, it's too sweet for me now, but I used to drink it all the time. Too much sugar now. But there's my point. Like, I had root beer last night from uh, from the Golden Arches. So that's all that was open before somebody yells at me. And it was... I realized, like, wow, this is going down really good. It seems very, like, satisfying. And I realized it was because it was icy. And I kept, like, putting the drink down, eating a little bit, and then having a drink later. And as it got more watered out, I was like, I like this. When it's, like, all water, it's gross, but... So I bought caffeine-free and sugar-free Coca-Cola. Is it the best Coke ever? I don't know. Tonight, while I'm having my pizza, I'm going to put put it in a glass of ice and see if I enjoy it any more or less. Uh, both. Ian, depends where you go. A&W root beer is only sold at A&W, though. So it's Barks or Mug. I think I think McDonald's are, are mug people. I think that's a Coke product. Barks, I think, is hard to find in the wild. Like, in terms of, like, fountains. I like all three of them, personally. A&W Root Beer has, like, this, like, sweetness to it that makes it super unique. No, you don't have root beer. You have fucking uh, Dr. Pepper, which is arguably just as good, if not better. Turn around. I like Barks because it has a lot of, like, bite to it. Like, it's almost like Coke in a way. And then Mug is, like, in the middle of both of them. Like, I'll go through a phase where I love Coke products, and then I'll go through a phase where I love Pepsi products. Like, I'll buy nothing but Coca-Cola for, like, three months, and then I'll buy nothing but Pepsi for, like, three months. Dad's root beer. I see it all the time up here. It's a specific brand of grocery store, but I always, it's whenever I go to that grocery store, they're there. There's so many things that are, like, Canadian or, like, more popular here that because I live here, I would never know. Like, I, that's got to be my least favorite question. It's like, what's some Canadian food? I'm like, I don't know. Food? Our, between Canada and America, our shit is so similar that I don't know what is unique to us and what isn't. Other than, like, the stereotypes. Yeah, I, I used to be really bad with fizzy drinks. Uh, or soda, pop, whatever you want to call it. I realize I've, I've got fed up of hearing Americans make fun of me for saying pop. So I've just transitioned to saying soda, and that's what I say now. And I hate it. Well, I mean, yeah, I like the big ones. Like ketchup chips, Kraft Dinner, uh, A&W food. Um, like Nanaimo bars. There's like subtle, like, like little things that I'm like, yep, yeah, that's Canadian. And then there's shit that I would never know. And then you bring an American here or have an American or like me go to the States and go, well, where's this thing? I'm like, well, we don't have that here. Like America has 15 different flavors of everything. Here, if you want Mountain Dew, it's like Mountain Dew, Code Red. Uh, Mountain Dew, uh, like, Voltage, and that's it. You go to a Walmart, and there's, like, a whole fucking aisle dedicated to every different flavor of soda you could ever think of. Or, like, oh, I want, like, this brand of mini wheat, like, this brand of cereal, but in this flavor, but it doesn't exist here. You go to the States, there's, like, eight different flavors of everything. I've ne no, I have not seen a three-liter soda. Not all dressed chips. I forgot about all dressed chips. I love all dressed chips. 
I'm like I love salt and vinegar chips. Like I'm I chips are my my specific like my my vice. Like I could probably quit junk food. I would never be able to give up potato chips. I don't think. Especially like kettle cooked salt and vinegar chips. Miss Vicky's. Mm. I could polish off a fucking family ball, family bag. Like I might go buy chips and a drink, and then come back and make pizza. Um. That's my one fucking thing that I don't think I'll ever be able to give up. But if I get bored of salt and vinegar chips, I'll usually get ruffles all dressed. Even Miss Vicky's all dressed is actually pretty good. Sweet and sour cream. I don't like sour cream chips. I don't like dill pickle either, even though it's very similar to salt and vinegar. I hate dill pickle. I don't like sour cream and onion because I don't like sour cream. I don't like anything dairy based because I'm lactose intolerant. As soon as I figured out I was lactose intolerant, it's like my brain went, all right, everything you've tasted before, you like that. Everything new, no matter how good it sounds, yucky. Shrimp cocktail chips. I've never heard of those. That is an Ingerland thing. I, I may have seen it, like, in an international section of the grocery store before, but I've never... That doesn't sound bad, but I've never seen them in the pub in, in, in public before. Tim's? Tim's what? <laughs> the fucking I know I did that Austin Powers it's such a good Austin Powers quote got an issue here's the tissue I've seen gold member more than once Masala chips. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've had those here. They're, like, uh, uh, seasonal, though. Like, they'll come and go. Blazes Walkers. Yeah, same company. Weird that it's a different name, but for whatever reason, like, I, again, I, like, love salt and vinegar chips. In the States, they're in a blue bag. Here, they're in, like, a tealy green bag. Marketing's weird. Damn the Dutch. Zoomers who hate Max Verstappen. I don't really like people who are intolerant of other people's cultures, but fuck that guy, though. I gave my reasons. Oh, shit. Are we almost done? That did not take long. Oh, my God. We have this race. This race. Holy shit, that was fast. I think we have like 16 races to do. Huh? Okay. I mean, we still have basically every street race left to do. Like, like there's still lots to do. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Uh, I still have to discover all the roads, do all the PR stunts, which I'm not even sure how those work in this game. In the newer games, it's like get three stars. Actually, hold on. Let me fucking use my brain here. That's the leaderboard. So how would I 100% those then? I'm confused. Sponsor challenges to do, I guess. A lot of these are, like, done now. Like, that's done. That's done. A lot of these are ranked 10. I can't do either of these two.
Yeah, PR stunts completed. Zero out of 30. But, oh! The PR stunts are, like, unique to the outposts. I'm an idiot. I'm really dumb. Okay, I know what those are now. Because, like, speed traps are called PR stunts in the newer games. I get it now. I understand. My bad. We ba and then we all we have to do is trigger the speed cameras. We don't have to get like a fast time. It is literally just for uh, leaderboarding with your friends. Okay, understood. I was really confused there for a sec. So what I'll probably do is save that last race. Even though I know there's more after it. Like we gotta have a, a showdown with Darius, right? Ian, you're a serial killer. There's bodies in your garage. Under your under your garage. We. Under my under my garage. I heard that in a set, and it got stuck in my head for like a week. Oh, that's the cover. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 dude. I just heard that for the first time, like, recently, Aaron. And I was like, wait, they did a fucking indie band cover of this shit? And it's, it's, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that is not... That's a cover? Give me 90% of this race. You, I'm gonna show you the original and you're gonna be like, I, what? Let me, let me get to the end here. Uh, I had, I had a thought cross my mind here really quick. Hoonigan's like giga dead now, like extra dead, right? Like Zach left, nobody, nobody, None of the original groups there anymore. The, the people that are still there are questionable. Again, allegedly. I don't want to get in, anyone in trouble. But Gary, Gary does this thing where he interacts with people on, on social media. He really shouldn't. Like, people are in the comments of the Instagram um, and are like fucking hoonigan's dead or like the like or like not even being toxic like just like it's so sad to see where the company's fallen and whatever first of all just unfollow them shut up you know what i mean like like don't fucking comment on like oh it's dead now like yeah everybody's still working there i guarantee you it, and actually like their social media managers and everything like nothing they can do about this so you're complaining to the wrong people. So shut the shut up. Send Wheel Pros an email if you're that upset. If you're really upset, just unfollow their shit and move on. Like you're being a fucking child. But Gary goes out of his way to like respond to these people. And it's it's kind of sad. Uh, and I guess he had deleted a comment today. Cause somebody I forget what somebody had posted. It was like a generic like this ain't the company's not the same anymore or whatever uh and then gary had responded with something that was not there anymore um and the guy who had originally posted the comment went can't wait to see your leaving hoonigan video when it happens and then vin who obviously doesn't like Vinny, who doesn't work there anymore oh, i didn't even drive through that 
was like, wow, Gary, they got you in the comments. I guess Wheel Pros got to you too. And I thought it was a meme. And the more I read it, the more serious it sounded. Yeah, I was like, and, and I haven't really heard. Yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm citing my sources here. I think it was in the video of Gary doing a burnout. No. What? What comment was it in? It was in this video. I forget. I literally saw this comment today, unless they deleted it. Huh. You did well out there just now. But don't let the pressure get there it is. Gary and Mika, Mike are the shoulders of Hoonigan now. Let that sink in. And I guess Gary had responded with something. It's not there anymore, so he deleted it. And the original comment, his name's Randy. So Randy said, your energy will translate excellent into the next Hoonigan exit video. And then Vin with two comments. Lol, old Gary, nice to see you out there talking shit on the people that once helped you out. Will Pros really did get to you, crying emoji. Loki wanted to send us a message so I can continue laughing at the engagement on this channel, but this is more satisfying. What did he mean by that? What did he mean by that? I have so many questions. Yeah, we're done all the races, right? Oh, we got the one left over here. Yep. And I haven't, like... Uh, I haven't, like, uh, heard any of the OG Hoonigan people talk shit about the new company publicly. Or, like, the, the roster. Like, everybody is, like, kind of just professionally bowed out and we wish nothing but the best. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I have the, the FXX, I think. Right? Or is that already R2? Hello? Yeah, but, like, this is the first instance of... And I can't tell if he's memeing or not. Jason Depresso Expresso. Same. Thanks for the follow. Pop, did you hear what I read off Instagram? I'll, re I'll do it again real quick. So I think I still have the post open. Thank you, Scoot! I posted a name change to a new gas station being built and it made me the owner on Google Maps. Dude, congrats on your new business ventures. I missed it. Alright. So there's a dude named Randy who commented on one of the is the shout out to WiseFab for having us out this past weekend. Uh King Anytime and Mika Diaz brought their two thousand dollar BMWs out to shred, blah 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 blah. Um, he just posted a video on how he bought an ads. Apparently, not. You're gonna need to resend, re, re, restructure that sentence. I'm not sure what you mean. So yeah, on, in the call, in the comments of the video, Gary and Mika are the shoulders of Hoonigan now. Let that sink in. That's a comment from comment from somebody named Randy. Gary responded with something that he has since deleted. Because now there's an at underneath it to Gary, but Gary's not said anything on this post. Said, your energy will translate excellent into the next Hoonigan exit video. And Gary, like, I've seen him in the comments of Hoonigan Instagram posts, responding to haters when he shouldn't just, or responding to people like, Hoonigan's dead. And he's like, it's not dead, bitch. I don't know if he says bitch. But, like, he's, this is, it would, it would make sense. Um, And then Vin posted, LOL, oh, Gary, 
Nice to see you out there talking shit on the people that once helped you out. Wheel Pearls really did get to you. Low-key wanted to send us a message so I can continue laughing at this engagement. Or the engagement of this channel, but this is more satisfying. I don't know what he meant by that second post. The first one, like, if that's a, a meme, it's a pretty mean way to word that. Yeah, and like, that's the most I've heard any of that crew who left say anything about anything. Turns out it wasn't his. And Gary bought it. That's fucked up. I was like, I figured the company owns that car, but that's fucked up. How about Hoonigan dying? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, did you find it? Yeah, it's a techno song. Why is it not? Is it not on Spotify? Are you serious? Oh, it's not. I, I don't think it's on Spotify because I think the story behind this. Is the Blawan, the guy who made the song, hates it. So it's not on Spotify. Oh my god, that makes sense. That's really funny, actually. Well, I mean, I don't blame Gary for buying it. That's not a toxic thing to do or whatever, but. Yeah, Scotto probably got a bag. Uh, maybe Hurt got a bag because he'd been there for so long. You come and say fifth or sixth, and there's a free case yeah. of Jerry's Flint Cologne in it for you. Yeah, thank me later. I'm going to look up uh, Gary's Instagram after this and see what you're talking about. I saw somebody posted another it's because I was looking for like more Instagram comments to back this up. Um, instead of just spouting nonsense on the internet, right? I'm like, Gary, like Gary has a pattern of responding to people he probably shouldn't on Instagram. And like any mild thing anybody ever says negative, he's always like chirping them back, which just makes you look worse. Um, but I wanted to have like specific examples to prove this. I got over it scrolling back, but I know what I saw. I'm not gaslighting myself. And, uh, somebody was like, man, I remember I used to stay awake till midnight every night for the new, like daily transmission to come out. And I was like super stoked on their content. And now like I miss three quarters of their uploads cause they all just look the same. And it went from like having multiple videos every week to one once a week and I talked to Hurt briefly when I was at DreamHack Atlanta he seems much happier or he seems happy I don't say happier but he seems pretty happy he's bought a house it's a nice house he's got room for like his wife and son and it seems like Nappy Boy Automotive is just going to be him running drift events, which is, like, right up his street. Yeah, we talked about it a bit the other night, Ian. I think taking that their content and splitting it up was actually, like, a really bad idea in retrospect. I know why they did it. It's to, like, try and maximize, like, different channels and having different as many successful channels as possible and whatever, but having everything on w one channel, like, made it like there was a new video coming out every day. Now, it's like, well, I don't really care about the project cars, but if it was on the main channel, I'd watch every other, like, a video every once in a while, and maybe I'd get interested in something. Yeah, and I mean, Hurt's got all the freedom in the world now. Like, he can... The other day, he just streamed fucking... 
Apex for like six hours. And he's making his own stuff again. I hope he sticks to it because the amount of times he's tried to like start making YouTube videos and then stopped and then started and then stopped. He reminds me a lot of Drew, which who was helping him with his YouTube, or at least he was. Exactly. Like, I wasn't super into Larry stuff. Like, I respect Larry a lot, and like, it just the 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 video doesn't interest me. Like his uh, autofocus stuff. But if it was like a Saturday or a Sunday, and I had nothing else to watch, and it was sitting there in my sub box, I'm like, well, I'll watch it. And sometimes it was like, oh, this was a really fucking good video, and I never would have watched it otherwise. New idea and bail on it. And they didn't need to do any of that shit. They literally could have just, like, did vlogs from the office of them, like, throwing... Throwing, like, dodgeballs at each other, and I would have watched it. Oh, what a block! Well, that's what you get. You pinch, you pay! And, like, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm from... I don't care about drag racing at all. I don't give a shit about drag racing. I don't care. I don't want to watch fucking this versus that every week. I don't care. When it wasn't the main thing, when it was like something they uploaded with everything else, no, great, I liked it. It was, sh it was like daily transmission, but not really. It showed off some new builds and, and did some uh, different shit. Um, I might get all the roads tonight. But now, it's it's like the only thing they do. And it's the same people, and it's like a bunch of people that just come across as douchebags sometimes. And sometimes the races are fair. Sometimes the races aren't fair. Sometimes they're fun to watch. Sometimes it's just like a blowout. And even then, like, it's 20 minutes of, like, here's the car, and then the thing happens, and then in, t in two minutes, and it's over. in the light. It's more about the car and like I don't want to get into like a it takes no skill or whatever because I don't get it. Like I don't understand the discipline. Drag racing is cool if you're into it. It does nothing for me. Especially on that level. Like if you're watching like like I don't know. I like pinks and shit too. Like whatever but I'd much rather watch somebody do donuts and burnouts and like that shit with their builds than do the drag race and they're souped up R R8, Audi R8. It's just not interesting. Like, supercars were never why I got into Hoonigan, you know what I mean? Like, I felt like they were a counterculture brand. And it just seems like they're a culture brand now. Like, like, seeing drift builds or like weird rat rods or low riders and like you could see fast supercars anywhere on YouTube. That's not rare. The fact that they were doing something different made made them cool in my opinion. Um, is there anywhere like I have a ton of undiscovered roads? Oh, there's like a bunch here, here. I doubt that's it, but. Dude, even like, like, poo-poo drag racing. Like some, some dude named Cle Cleben. 
He's like, this is my Camaro and I love it. Like, cool. It, it's not for me, but at least I get it. You know what I mean? And then Nick, that's not, even that's like, I don't want to say toxic, but even that's like not it. Like, I want to see weird shit. Shit that from people like, maybe that, that don't have a social following, you know what I mean? But still have a cool car or whatever. But like, it seems like it's the same group of people coming back every time. Can I go through this wall? Nah. It seems like it's the same group of, of, uh, of people coming back every time. And it's like, I don't want to watch a, a Cybertruck race a model or a Cybertruck race a supercar. That's not relatable. A bunch of dorks be like, yeah, I don't know. I built this piece of shit in my garage and it might be fast or it might not be. I don't know. Like, that's way more entertaining to me. Also, again, like, I don't think that matches the brand at all. Like, it was always motorsports counterculture. Drifting, rally, rally cross, stuff that wasn't popular, like beating the shit out of stuff. discovered oh there's a couple over here too yeah, 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 yeah so i'm gonna grab this and then probably go north get yeah, us there 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 the the shitty part about finding all the roads in horizon too is sometimes it'll be like a, a pube hair of a road that you've already driven unpros was like the most fun thing they've ever done they did one season of it and they filmed for season two and it never happened And, like, not even necessarily, uh, like, cars. Like, introducing you to people that are big with this scene. Like, people didn't like Nads at first, and then they, you could hear him speak about the shit that was, he was interested in. Uh, and, like, how big that, dude's, that dude was with, like, car culture years and years ago. Like, was there day one when Honda started? Oh, where are you going? Hanson, buddy, do you want to talk about it? Do you want to talk about it? I don't think he wants to talk about it. I I didn't like Nads at first. I thought he was trying too hard. Like, whenever he was on camera, he would, like, crack a beer and, like, try to play a character. I'm like, okay, buddy. Which is funny because that's all it is now. It's just playing characters. Turn right. In yards. Ugh, I don't know about this guy. You know what I mean? But again, the more like the more episodes they gave him, where he could like just talk about shit, Turn left. and like the more he was on camera, the more he got comfortable with it. I came around. I, I was indeed a Nads hater for a while, and then I was like, I I will be incorrect. That's fine. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 400 yards, keep right. That's what I mean, Nick. Like he and like, too, like whenever he was featured on a video too, he had some comment of like, well, the people say I'm this. Da, 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 da. Like well, you're drawing attention to it, just makes it worse. Like, he was just, like, instead of being camera shy, he was the, the opposite at first. 
I talked to Drew about it. Drew was like, he's a great dude. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, okay, my bad. And then again, he had a couple episodes that were really like, not focused on him, but up his wheelhouse, where I feel like he wasn't acting. He was just like, I love Hondas, and this is why I love Hondas. And this person like is famous for this car. Like this car is famous because it was the first front wheel drive car built to this level at the time and blah, 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 blah. And hearing him like just nerd out about shit that he loves. First of all, I love hearing about people talk about shit they love. Even if it's something I don't understand or don't like, like just hearing somebody talk about their passions nine times out of ten is very fun. It's it's very rewarding. Okay, there's two roads left. This shit sucks. I hate this. This, this, this is the worst. So I'm going to, this is how I remember doing it. I would just do it by quadrants and then line up right here and then slowly go up. You saw one? Okay, I'm going to continue what I'm doing here and then go back to the left. Chat, I would, normally I would love your help, but the delay is going to make it fucking impossible. Unless you can specific... Oh, there's one. Unless you can specifically say where you saw it. Uh, okay, so there's one over here, apparently. I'm trying to keep talking as well so we don't get in trouble with DMCA. Oh, that's the one that you saw. Okay. So there's none on the left side of the map. So I'm going to go here, the off-ramps on the highway. I got those already, I thought. I'll check the highway again in a second. I thought I literally just did that. Oh, fuck. You're right. Good eye. Good eye. I wasn't looking at those at all. I was not even remotely looking in that general direction. Turn left. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're good. Well, I, like, I literally just did that. So I was like, no, there's not going to be one over there. And then you said south. Like, okay, well, I'll look. Not known for my... Uh... It's, it's not that bad in this game. It, Blair, in the newer ones, it's brutal. Because you need to drive the whole road to discover the whole road. So a lot of times you'll, like, drive to a point in the road, discover, like, half of it. Or it'll be on a track or something, like, on a predetermined circuit. And you'll have, like, that much of the road to discover. Ouch! I mean, you know what, though, Nick? That's not really any of our business. Though, to be fair, I think. I think if a company or an entity or whatever wants to be very open about what's happening with the company, that that's cool. Not necessary at all. I think it helps them because it makes it feel like you're a part of it a lot more. But they don't owe anybody that. You know what I mean? That's not a prerequisite. Being straight up with what the company was doing made you feel like you were a part, like a small part, but a part of it. But taking that away makes it a little bit more impersonal. Which is, I think, the just the biggest issue that the whole thing as a whole. Is it went from like, I know I'm not there hanging out, but I feel like I'm there hanging out, to this is content that is being made for me that I am consuming. Reminds me of what you lost. Just remind it should be reminding you of what we had. For a less than brief moment of time, we had a brand that had our best interests in mind in the car world, and that's rare.
Okay, and then where's that last one? So like a little corner up here somewhere. You! Shit. Oh, we got it. I'm still waiting for two barn finds. Which are uh, a concern. Oh yeah, you gotta do those at every every outpost. That's the PR challenges. I think there's ten outposts and they each should have three. Probably not. Is there still a Horizon 1000 challenge thing? So I have that DLC. I could get that DLC, but it's going to extend the length of this Let's Play like by a hundred hours. So I'm pretending it's not there. The 1000 Club is like definitely a thing I could do. I don't want to. So I am not installing that DLC. I don't think it affects percentage. I don't think it's a part of progression, but good lord, that's gonna take a 30 to 40 hour game and make it like 150. Cause there's what, like five challenges per car? Yeah, I told myself if I was at the end of the game and went, I wanna do this, I'll do it, but. Yeah, I don't have the Rally expansion. I never bought it, so I can't have access to it. There's nothing I can do about that. All I did was install whatever DLC I had. And I never got the season pass as a kid. So I was in high school and couldn't afford it. I'll say that the last time I was at uh, at Zoomies, all their Hoonigan merch was on clearance. Like the Ken Block license plates, everything. And they had some stickers that I like knew for a fact that they don't make anymore. What they did with the Instagram too really unbutters my egg roll. Apparently, they took the Hoonigan Motorsport Discord. Discord, I'm an idiot. The Hoonigan Racing Division Instagram. Got rid of it. Changed the name to the Rotiform Motorsports. And have now changed it back to Hoonigan Motorsports. Yucky. So something that was already Hoonigan, they made it un-Hoonigan and then made it Hoonigan again. Yeah. I, I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like more upset about this than I think I should be. I'm getting real fucking fed up of watching shit that I loved as a child to destroy itself from like greedy people and awful human beings. Like, bands, race car drivers, brands like that. Like, shit that I loved as a kid is just all destroying itself. And I'm getting really dejected about all of it. It was the first time I ever saw car shirts being sold in big stores. And, like, felt like I could, I could support a brand. And be, like, stoked on it. And... I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't support, but it's just definitely not the same thing. We're at 68%. Um, I still have three barn finds left to discover. I, um... That's worrying.
Like, I'm actually concerned now. Unless the outpost stuff is, like, barn find, like, it would trigger barn finds. Yeah, because there is no, like, open ones right now. I'm missing three. Hmm. Well, that's a mild concern. Rumors on the radio stations. Yeah, yeah. So, it'll, like, the radio station, like, if you're in a race and you despawn, it'll come out and say, oh, rumor has it that there's a barn find in this general location. But, like, those aren't happening. So, I'm a little concerned. So, I don't know if, like, just if I drive around and free roam more, they'll pop up. Uh, I don't know if doing the uh, PR challenges as part of it. Seems different miles you've driven. I fucking hope not. Unless there's like some sort of resource that says exactly how many miles you need to drive. How many map miles have I driven? Like this is the point where I would buy the treasure map but I can't. For a dollar, I normally just say fuck it, buy the treasure map, because it makes the, like, collectible part of the game a lot easier. I think I knew it need to do a certain amount of, like, roll-up race challenges, too. So we have 16 more uh, boards in the wild, too. And I've discovered every road, which is a concern. Because a lot of these boards are normally, like, right off the road. <sighs> That's worrying. That's a concern. I hope... I hope it has a lot to do with the street races, because I've done, like, none of them. Um, like, I've not touched Gladstone. I've not touched... I think I've done these. Yeah, I've done Carson. I've done half of these. I've done zero of Gladstone ones. And I've done no uh, PR challenges at all for any of the outposts. I'm trying to think of, like, what I would have the things I would have done as a kid. And I think I would have done those outpost challenges immediately because they save you money. Well, that's a problem that we'll figure out next time. Oh, Jim Connor. Oh, they'll do it again for sure with Travis. And it'll be like a bunch of shit they've already done. Uh, sponsor challenges. Again, these will just hopefully just happen on their own. I think a lot of these like that I need to get. Buy popularity spike. Oh my god. Like a lot of these I could just farm pretty easy if I really wanted to do that. Um... Hmm. I've got most of my achievements, right? 
Am I missing any achievements in this game? That aren't... Yeah, c collect all the discount signs. So I've never done that. That'll be a new achievement. Beat rivals in 10 events. Never done that. Uh, sell a design or vinyl group via the design storefront. Actually stupid that I don't have this. Uh, online races, online free roam challenges. Uh, can't ha can't do any of the rally stuff. Um, earn a medal in three different Shelby's. Shit. Oh, this is the Horizon fucking 1000 stuff. Earn a medal in Lamborghinis. Earn a medal in 146 different cars. So yeah, I have most of the achievements in this game, I think. I think I'm missing, out of the base 1000, I think I'm missing just a handful. Yeah, I got 920. So if I wanted the 1000, which would be cool, uh, I need another 60. So this is 20. So that's 940. I can't get that now. So the most we can get is 990. So that's, yep. And then, yeah, that this would have been the, the other 20. So these are the only two that I'm missing that I can get. These beat rivals in 10 events. And then collect all the discount signs. And then, I can't believe I never did that. Uh, and I can't, I, this is stupid. Like, I've absolutely sold the design or a vinyl group on the storefront. There's no way. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not. I'm thinking of, like, completed designs. I forgot it worked different. And I think this was base game, too. And then the rest of this is DLC. That I either don't own or too scared to download, because I know I'll just disappear and you'll never see me again. So, um, we can get this to 960. And then I won't be able to do any more. Well, that's a mild concern, chat. Um, that we are basically done the game and just have PR stunts, speed zones, speed traps, discount signs, and barn finds to get. And I really don't know how to get those last uh, discount signs. Uh, Chad has said multiple different things, either mileage or, or, or whatever. I'm hoping. Bobby, Holy thanks for the year. I reached a year. Hype shock and rare hogs, hake and rare stroke and rara hoggers and rare pogs, slide and rare Dave Angie high peak. <laughs> I'm hoping that doing the street races and finishing off everything. So you have one more star showdown, which is the last race. Uh, but we're done 70 of 70 events. We're done all the showcases. Um, I I really hope that all takes care of itself. Because if it doesn't, and I'm three barn finds short, I'm going to be a little upset. But that's a problem for another time.